this and uh, let me know how it goes, yeah? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I was reading something about iron tests, so I'm gonna get him to do one of them. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Are you off to see Peter? No, I'll, uh, let him come to me. Leanne really is sorry, you know. She had no idea Peter took that booze. Yeah, well, it's not just that. There's more to it. He's been acting weird for weeks now. Yeah, well, normally when they're acting weird, it's because they're up to something. When I think about all them times with him. Do you know what? Ignore me, babe. I'm just being Mrs. Cynical. Men do that to you. Yeah, they certainly do. Anyway, right, let's go. Yeah, see you later. We sent you for a pregnancy scan last year, but you didn't turn up. Yeah, um, yeah, sorry about that. Was everything okay? Um, I, I wasn't really pregnant. I faked it. Honestly, I really don't want to get into that right now. But it's real this time? Yeah, I think so, according to the test. Well, they're generally accurate. Yeah, 99%. I read the small print more than once. I just don't get it. I've had absolutely no signs that I might be pregnant. Well, the obvious indicators aren't always reliable. It happens more often than you think. So when can I have a scan? You'll get a letter in a few days. Um, is there no way I can have one sooner? Please, I really need to know how far gone I am. It's urgent. Urgent in what way? It just is. Please, I really need to know. Let me see what I can do. Thank you. Hey, I would have hung about if I knew you were coming. Oh, no, I'm just getting a takeout myself. All right, well, let's make it a breakfast date tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. How's Peter? Ah, you'll live. I don't think I'm cut out for a career in counselling for. <sighs> I'll see you soon, yeah? Someone looks worried. I've just been to the doctors. And? I've got a scan this afternoon. That quick? Yeah, well, I told her it was urgent. Practically had to beg her. Do you have anyone to go with? No, but I'll be fine. Don't be daft. I'll come. What time? Three. Are you sure? Of course, yeah. You don't have to do this, you know. I know I don't. But you can't be going for a scan on your own. I'll ask Ryan if we can knock off early. Thank you. Be nice to have someone with me. Have you heard on the ordering? Yeah, I said I would, didn't I? Oh, come on, Ty. I've already said I'm sorry. We can't carry on like this. We've got to work together. There's your order. Come on, can't we call it a truce or something? Good luck. Flowers, really. Oh, come on. Well, you can take those back where you got them from. Right, can we at least talk? Nothing to say, Peter. Not until you learn how to tell the truth. Well, I can't say I'm sorry to see him looking so miserable. Or we can go somewhere else if this is uncomfortable for you. Uh, I've only just got here. No, no, it's fine. Business is business. Ah, talking of which. Are we likely to have a working roof anytime soon? Mm-hmm. Spoke to feeling. Sound like a track. Oh, good. Ooh. I feel like I'm on one of them cookery programmes, you know, where you're waiting for the judge's verdict. Only I'm not handing over a Vicky sponge. I'm handing over... <laughs> a damaged pair of knickers. I don't suppose this is some clever alteration you've made to the design, is it? I checked them last night. They were fine. Yeah, well, they're not fine now. Oh, those flaming kids. We can't pay for these, Sean. No, of course not. No, we need something to show the client. The means arranged and everything. I'm sorry, I really am. Oh, wait till I got my hands on them two. Hey, I would have hung about if I knew you were coming. Oh, I'm just getting a takeout myself. All right, well, let's make it a breakfast date tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. How's Peter? Ah, you'll live. I don't think I'm cut out for a career in counselling for. I'll see you soon, yeah? Someone looks worried. I've just been to the doctors. And? I've got a scan this afternoon. That quick? Yeah, well, I told her it was urgent. Practically had to beg her. Do you have anyone to go with? No, but I'll be fine. Don't be daft. I'll come. What time? Three. Are you sure? Of course, yeah. You don't have to do this, you know. I know I don't. But you can't be going for a scan on your own. I'll ask Ryan if we can knock off early. Thank you. Be nice to have someone with me. 
Have you uh, done the ordering? Yeah, I said I would, didn't I? Oh, come on, Ty. I've already said I'm sorry. We can't carry on like this. We've got to work together. There's your order. Come on, can't we call it a truce or something? Good luck. Flowers, really. Oh, come on. Well, you can take those back where you got them from. Right, can we at least talk? Nothing to say, Peter. Not until you learn how to tell the truth. Well, I can't say I'm sorry to see him looking so miserable. Well, we can go somewhere else if this is uncomfortable for you. Uh, I've only just got here. No, no, it's fine. Business is business. Ah, talking of which. Are we likely to have a working roof any time soon? Mm-hmm. Spoke to feeling. Sound like a track. Oh, good. Ooh. I feel like I'm on one of them cookery programmes, you know, where you're waiting for the judge's verdict. Only I'm not handing over a Vicky sponge. I'm handing over... <laughs> A damaged pair of knickers. Mm. I don't suppose this is some clever alteration you've made to the design, is it? I checked them last night. They were fine. Yeah, well, they're not fine now. Oh, those flaming kids. We can't pay for these, Sean. No, of course not. No, we need something to show the client. The meeting's arranged and everything. I'm sorry, I really am. Oh, wait till I got my hands on them two. <sighs> I'll put the kettle on. You're so much stronger, to be honest. Well, you can forget that for a while, unless... Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world, isn't it? Flaming knackered. And I swear my ankles have got fatter already. Look, you just need to make your mind up about what you're going to do. The sooner you've got a plan, the better you'll feel. I wish it was that simple. Well, the first thing you need to do is speak to Adam. It's none of his business. Well, of course it is. No matter what you decide to do, we've still got a right to know. Shona, just leave it, will you? Well, what, would you really be happy keeping something like that from him? Look, I really appreciate you coming to the scam with me, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. OK. Fair enough. I was only trying to help. Sorry. No, oh, don't apologise. I understand. No, you don't. Not really. The reason it's none of Adam's business is because... It's not even his baby. Well, me and Adam have been super careful every time. And the scan says I'm 17 weeks, so... Aiden. Aiden's the dad. Not Adam. I know there's a deadline, yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> well, you know me. You know I love a conversion. Yeah. And thanks again. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Bye. 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 Hope you're not one of them builders who starts a job and slopes off to finish another one. Listen, Aiden, I know how important it is for you to get this place up and running, so no, I'm not. But to be honest with you, business is pretty good at the minute. You're lucky to get me back. Mm. So how's this conversion? Oh, it's this, uh, it's this mill. They're looking for a site manager, so... Anyway, if you've got a copy of that signed contract, we're all systems go. Windata, what would they do with him? Just give her a pill and that's it. To induce the labour, yeah. Jackie reckons they'll keep her in overnight because apparently it can take a while for the baby. Yeah, yeah. Look, don't bite my head off. I know you're sick of me banging on, but do you not think you should tell Peter? Hey, you shouldn't be going through this on your own. It's his baby too. I'm fine. Well, you're not, are you? But even if you were, do you not think you should go through this together, eh? When you've lost a baby, you both need to grieve. <clears throat> hey. Any more tea? Yes, yeah. Great. They were just uh, playing these Leonard Cohen tracks on the radio. Oh, is that that dead depressing bloke? My mum used to love him. Yeah. Anyway, he sang this song, Suzanne, and I thought it might be a nice name for the baby, you know, sort of after my sister. Oh. To be honest, because my first thought was Susie. Hmm. No? You're not keen? Thanks. No, 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 I, ju I just hadn't thought. Oh, <laughs> OK, we'll have a think. Hmm. Right, uh, I want to try and finish the attic before Si and Leanne get back, so are you OK to hold the fort? Oh, um, I'm going into town to uh, meet Stacy for a coffee. You remember my mate from the vegan group? Yeah, OK. Yeah. But um, that's OK, um, Eva can cover, can't you? Great, thanks. Right, well... Have fun. Toya, he's picking up baby names. I know you're right. 
I mean, it's his baby and he deserves to know. Of course he does, but I can't. I want to, but I, I just can't. What about Channings? Well, I've got new supplies here. Do you want me to give him a call? Sorry. Sorry. Listen, you're going to turn this around. Do you reckon? Yeah, no question. So why don't you go and finish getting that roof sorted? Cheers. Valia, she's just hurting, isn't she? It's like all your nerve endings are exposed above the surface. Yeah, I know that. Oh, Maria, sorry, of course you do. Listen, I've got to go, okay? Right. Ah, hey, you haven't seen uh hey, never mind. Peter. Oh, sorry, uh and uh ham on rail, please. Okay. It's so lonely being the ex agent, it's like I'm not allowed to grieve. It was all new for Alia and Luke. She hadn't had time to be disappointed. That don't matter. Never mattered to me. It's just so hard when you lose someone so suddenly. Yeah. Don't have a chance to see. Hey. <sighs> Something could have happened to them for a while, not back yet. Uh, no, sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, um, Aiden was just supposed to pop in for a chat. Aiden, I've just seen. Oh, right, where? With Maria, all over each other. But you're not bothered. I mean, you're with Adam, right? Yeah, no, do I look bothered? Is it the same again, love? I just think it's rude, that's all. Eva. So you and her back on then, or what? Who? Maria? Yes, Maria. Apparently we're all over each other. Why do you care? You're with Adam. Yeah. Yeah, I am. So that's what we needed to talk about. No! Do you know I don't matter? Hey, 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 don't play that. Eva! I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. Are you hurt? Don't let me carry on over to the bed. No! I just want to go home. It's okay, I've got this. I'm sorry, Eva. if he's being an idiot you should have told him about the I baby. know all oh, right well, I thought that I decided this morning I thought all right come on Eva be a grown-up he's the kid's dad he has a right to know the thought of doing the whole shared parenting thing with him especially if that cow Marie is back on the scene no thank you you're pregnant how long have you known I'll tell you I'm sorry how long not long, it wasn't planned, so... Look, she's had a fall down some steps. I really think we should get you to a &E and get you checked out. I'm fine. Yeah, but you can't be too careful. I'll look after her. OK, if you're sure. But do me a favour, any twinges, get yourself to A&E, OK? Thank you. Hey, I presume it's Aidan's. Pretty ironic, isn't it? Are you sure? I mean, what about Adam? No, it's Aiden's. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. How could I? And I didn't want to admit it. Not even to myself. Yeah, well, I know now, don't I, so... I'm here if you want to talk. You should have told me. I was going to. Yesterday. Then you got your news, how could I? I'm sorry. Hey, don't be daft. No, I should have been there for you. I should have been the one you were confiding in, not blooming Shona from the calf. I didn't. She guessed even before I did. So what are you going to do? I honestly don't know. I was all ready to tell Aidan and then... Oh, so he doesn't know? No. 
I was going to tell him, but if he's back with Maria, I... is he? I think so. I just, I don't think I can handle him wanting to be part of the baby's life. And you think he would? What a mess. So flaming angry with him that I started having a go and went flying down the factory steps. Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just. Oh! Right, there's only one way to be certain. If Shona was right, you need to get checked out at the hospital, whether you like it or not. Come on. Wait. Are you okay? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Let's just go, eh? No. No, you need to get the baby checked. You can't be too careful. What will you do now? Will you get another surrogate? I'm not sure. It's like everything goes into it. I mean, you know, you... You go through the motions, work, family, chit-chat, but... Really, it's, it's all you can think about. I'm so tired. Sorry. Hey, your baby is going to be absolutely fine. I know I should want it. I can't believe I'm going to say this to you of all people. I don't feel anything. Not love, not happiness, just nothing. I wish it never happened. Eva Price. Everything okay? Baby seems fine. As I explained in A and E, you've got a bit of bruise into a couple of ribs. So if you saw for a few days. Do you want to look? Would you like to know the sex? Um, is that possible? Of course. If you want to. Eva? It's a girl. Are we finished? Oh, yeah, all done. Thank you. For coming, I know how hard that must have been for you. Yeah, well, uh, as long as you're okay. Far from it okay, even without the bruised ribs. Look, Eva, uh, I know how daunting this must seem, having a baby on your own. Yeah, I... That's just it. I, I don't think I can. I'm sorry for saying that to you, but it's the truth. You mustn't confuse how you feel about Aidan with how you feel about the baby. How can I not? It's his baby. Everything that he did, everything that we went through, why would I want a constant reminder of that? Well, you've just got to look past all of it. What if I can't? Hey, hey. Look, you're still hurting and he's still angry. But it will pass. I mean, you're already moving on, aren't you, with Adam? <gasps> That's just it. I actually want to move on. Just don't make any rash decisions that you might end up regretting, OK? And for what it's worth, I think you would be a great mum. Can I start popping and say hello? Well, the thing is, I'm working till close. All right, well, uh, maybe I'll pop and let's see. Yeah, I'd like that. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. The whole thing was my fault, as no, usual. No, Aiden. You could have really hurt yourself. I'm fine. Like, I should have been more sensitive. You were upset about Maria for some reason. Could we just forget it? Please. Yeah, but the thing is, we're not even... Aiden, you don't have to explain. <sighs> I suppose not. You and Adam are obviously loved up, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's face it, it could have been worse for you than I was. Look, I, I want you to move on. Be happy. Yeah, well, um, that's what I came to say to you earlier. It is. It's good that we can still be friends, though, eh? Yeah, um, the thing is, I, I don't think I can. Why not? I just feel like too much has happened. You mean Adam? He's happened. Sorry. <sighs> Me too. See ya. Eva, if you were to tell him about the baby, 
then he'd resent us both for the rest of our lives. He wants to forget him and me ever happened, move on and be mates. What well, mates could work. I mean, look, whatever you are to each other, Aidan has a right to know. Pot calling kettle, do you not think? Could we just drop it, please? Eva, a baby could be the making of you. Toya, I can't have the baby that you wanted, all right? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, nothing's gonna replace the baby that you lost. Of course it's not, but if I'm being honest, I just don't know if I can have this baby. In my head, in my heart, I just don't feel it. Okay, so what then? Uh, a termination? Because time's running out. I know, I know. This is such a mess. What we like? You want the baby you can't have, and I'm having a baby that I want to get rid of. You don't have to. What? You don't have to terminate this pregnancy. I don't have a choice. You do. You do have a choice. So, Steve's refusing to buy Amy a new mobile. He reckons she spends too much time on it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I sympathise. Our size is just as bad. I'd get more conversation out of that sauce bottle most days. Yeah. I don't know, maybe too much mobile. That might explain his behaviour lately. You know, but if I tried to get it off him, I'd have to prise it out his cold, dead hand, wouldn't I? Are you all right? It's gone off, eh, and there's still no sign of it. You're still mithering about Eva, are you? I've told you she'll be staying at Adam's. <laughs> or not. Hey, you're in for it. Staying out all night. You want to watch it, you, or she's going to ground you. <laughs> Ignore him. No, you don't need to. I'm going to crack on. That attic won't finish itself. Hey, hopefully, it'll be finished this week. Er, uh, just hang on a minute. I, I was going to ask you a favour, actually. <sighs> Go on. Well, um, I've got this beauty course today, you know, for lashes and eyebrows, and I was just going to see if you'd cover for me. Well, I covered for you last night. I need to crack on with the attic. Yeah, no, but you make up the time. I'll do some of your shifts next week. Oh, come on. I've shelled out for this. I'm not going to get my money back. All right. On one condition. As long as you trim these bad boys for me. <gasps> hey, look, if this is about avoiding me... No, uh, I just needed to clear my head. Oh, I just hope you don't feel like I was trying to put pressure on you yesterday. No, no worries. Cos I want you to feel like you can talk to me. I mean, I said that you had a choice, and you do, but it's your choice, it's not mine. And I won't think any worse of you, whatever you decide, OK? Carla? Carla? Thank you. Hey, why didn't you call? I could have picked you up from the station. I didn't want to put you out. You daft. So, how was it down there? You all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, much better, thanks. Who needs counselling when you've got cream teas, eh? <laughs> so, how's Alia? Well, I don't really know much, but from what I've seen. Go on. She found out the garage was looking to replace Luke. Oh, I suppose they had no choice. Well, exactly. His life goes on. But not for Alia. But she's totally lost it. You know, it was frightening. Right, well, I'll talk to her. Thanks. <laughs> Alga? It's a bit loud. Can I do it down? How long have you been? Have you had any breakfast? I'm fine. I'll well, stick the kettle. No, I said I'm fine. Welcome home. We'll be wanting some. I'll check her again. <laughs> well, you don't look too bad considering the amount you put away last night. Yeah, well, I need a bit of such courage, didn't I? Made everything seem very straightforward yesterday. And today, Eva. Right choice and always the right thing, is it? But I've got to do it. I don't want to do it, but I've got to do it, so... If I have this baby, it's not fair on anybody, at least of all the kid. You know, if you're having doubts, you shouldn't go through no, with it. 
I've made my mind up. Stop, I can live with myself. Time's your appointment. I have to. I just wait to be over. Have you got anyone to go with you? Um, Toya can't make it, so there's not anybody else I can ask, really. <laughs> oh, is there not? I am not asking you to do that. Look, what, what type of friend would I, what type of woman would I be if I let you do this on your own? Are you working? Yeah, only till two. So I'm coming with you, no arguments. Hey, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get back up into that attic, you know, and get it finished. Are you running a temperature? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, normally it takes you a week to change a light bulb. You've not got a crate of scotch sashed up there, have you? No, no, just me and my orbital sander. Has it just me and my orbital sander? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Si's si gonna love it when it's finished. It's gonna look fantastic. So sure, I've never seen you like this about DIY. Well, I never really gave a stuff about wallpaper and paint before, but, you know, I want to make a nice home for the baby and my family. Mm. So that's all that matters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon. Mm, I know, I know. I couldn't believe what time it was myself. Last time I slept this late, Callie and Jason woke me. Sorry? Clock radio. You know, last time I had so much kip. I was a teenager. Ah, yeah. It's your condition. Increased fatigue. It's a classic symptom of deterioration. I've got a condition, all right. It's called a bad case of lazy cow. Personally, I, I would diagnose denial. You need to speak to your family. I will when the time's right. The right time was several weeks ago. Your dilatory approach is utterly inexplicable and tantamount to recklessness. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, when I've had a chance to consult my dictionary, I'll get back to you on that. In the meantime, got a meeting with Aiden. See you later. Uh, ca Carla, 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 look, you need to take this serious... Seriously. Here we go. I only want to be with you. Oh, you're up. I was about to call the undertaker. Oh, well, there's no harm in stopping up with beauty sleep, is there? I mean, goodness knows I need it these days. Give over. If that were the case, it'd be no hope for the rest of us. You look great. Appearances can be deceptive. See you later. See you. Hi. Hi. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. Um, you and Michelle can consider yourselves unbarred. I shouldn't have accused you. No, you shouldn't. You know, if Peter were the last man on Earth, I'd be building myself a rocket. Well, you don't have to worry about Peter. No, I don't. It's your job now. You all right? What can I get you? Uh, coffee, please. Make it a strong one. Is everything all right? Trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, I, um, I already do. Eva told me. What? Oh, no, don't worry. She's not going to be on her own. I'm going to head to the clinic once I've finished here. Clinic? Oh, sorry. I thought you knew. Which one? I need you to tell me, Shona, which clinic? Toya. Hey. Shona told me you were here. She wanted to come, but I thought three might be a crowd. Look, if you've come to change my mind, I don't... No, I haven't. I haven't. It's your body, and I respect your decision completely. I just thought you might appreciate a friendly face. Hey? Yeah. Thank you. How quick can you get it done? We've got a couple of orders in already. Well, from where we are, we can go one or two ways, depending on what sort of job you want to do. Well, there's soon not be range on the office. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, the framework got damaged when they had the cladding away. So I can either work with what we've got, attach the panels as best I can, or I can put in a new steel framework. And what difference does that make price-wise? About 25K. Ooh, you might have to buy an umbrella. Mm -hmm. But I promise you once it's in, it will withstand the hurricane and it will see all of us out. Well, that's a relief. So, what do you reckon? It's up to you. Aiden, it's your baby. And it's your money. You decide. As long as one of you does, I'm a busy man. We'll let you know by the latest tomorrow. Okay. As long as you do. See ya. See ya. Aiden, this money belongs to the business, your business. You're going to be in charge, aren't you? I mean, that is what you still want. Of course, yeah. Look, I really appreciate the bailout. I just feel really awkward asking you to shell out all that money and you know, to undo all my mistakes. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't lend it. Yeah, even so, it's more than I deserve. 
Look, if there is ever anything I can do for you in return. Billy, it's so wrong this, leaving me to stew. It's only five minutes. I know, but I just want to get it done. Frightened you might change your mind. I thought you were here to support me. Yeah, I am. Look, if you're sure about this, then I'll back you all the way, but... It's all happened very fast. It's now or never. This has been the hardest decision of my life and I hate myself for it, okay? Hey, it's not your fault that you're in this situation. But you can't let how you feel about Aiden or, or anyone else cloud your judgment. The baby's all that matters. And if you're sure that you feel absolutely nothing for it. <laughs> I lied about that myself more than anyone. I always thought I'd be a mum one day. Just not like this. Hey, listen. Plenty of single parents do a brilliant job. And you'd have me and Leanne. Leanne's dead busy and you've got a pub to run. Well, there's always adoption. It's easily said, isn't it? It's all time comes for me to give my baby away. I don't think I can do that. But you can have a termination. It's not the same. If I go through with this pregnancy, how am I going to explain things to Adam? Aidan's bound to find out. I can't cope with that. I just can't. This is it. This is the only way now. Miss Price. I'm so sorry for the delay. If you'd like to follow me. Um, hold on. Um, she'll just be a sec. Sorry. OK. Come through when you're ready. Thank you. What's up? The other day, you said that I wanted a baby that I couldn't have. And you're having a baby that you don't want. Can you honestly tell me that in that moment, you didn't have the exact same thought that I did? So what are you saying? You would pass my baby off as Jackie's baby? As ours, yeah. Um, would that change things for you? Or... Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you're as good as family. Mm -hmm. I know that baby would be loved. Oh, no child would be wanted more. So what do we do? I mean, it's all right talking about it, but... Well, yeah, I mean, we'd have to send you away when you started getting bigger. Well, what would I tell Adam? We'd come up with something. What if Aidan finds out? Well, we, we just have to make sure that he didn't. I mean, oh, this is back of an envelope stuff. I mean, I don't know, it might not work. I, I just wish we had more time. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry. I, I've, I've changed my mind. Eva. If I have to reschedule, then I'm rescheduled. But if I stay here now, it's final. And that's something we might both regret for the rest of our lives. I think. Hey, hey come on, I've got one young Barlow who wants feeding. Make that two. Uh, you've not been playing football and you're not young. Hang on, what is this today? Open season. I'm not over the hill, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, the view can't be as good as it was, can it? Oh. oh. All right, come on. Si's going to be eating the centrepiece. Come on. Hey. Oh, uh, you just off out for your meal. Yeah, we are. You sure you don't want to come? Here, give him here. No, I'm done in. Yeah, me and all. Well, you've been plucking all day. Hey? You know, eyebrows, eyelashes. Uh, your beauty course, you said it wasn't much cop. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. But um, thank you for covering for me. Yeah, no problem. Right, shall we rock and roll, kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Thank you. I didn't know whether I was coming or going there. Do you know, if we do this, we're going to be lying to them for the rest of our lives. Not to mention Aidan, Adam, any other partner that you might have. I, I didn't think of it like that. Well, you need to. We've got to be certain, Eva, beyond any doubt. Excuse me. What, what are you... <laughs> um, oh, there's a mix-up at the clinic. They sent us away. What? Yeah, no. I mean, Toya kicked off. I've had to drag her away. I don't blame her. Yeah, so they, they're going to phone us up with a, another appointment. Are you all right? Yeah, well, I'll have to be, won't I? Mm. 
Thanks for lending me your place. Do me the world of good. But then you came back here. Don't worry, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Doubt it. Sophie just asked me out. Ah, well, granted, she's never done that to me. What do you say? No. Still got feelings for Rana. Well, when you've loved someone, there's always something lurking in there. Don't mean to say you have to take a vow of celibacy. It won't be fair on Sophie. She's asked you out for a drink, Kate. Okay? She's not proposed. <laughs> Go out with her. Life's too short to overthink things. You never know, you might enjoy yourself. So she only bought it? Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna have to lie low for one day next week. Jackie! I wanted to make sure you and Peter were all right. Oh, you shouldn't have done. Um, listen, uh, come through where we'll talk in the back. Yeah. Just go on through. Uh, right, okay, put the bolt on the back door and uh, keep an eye out for Peter. Do not let him come through, yeah? <laughs> It's so good of you to stay with me at the hospital. Even after... Oh, as if I was going to leave you. <laughs> Felt like I'd let you down. Hey, it's not your fault. I know that better than anyone. <laughs> How's Peter managing? Yeah, he's not with you. He said much. He's just keeping himself busy. You should talk about it. Mm. Yeah, when the time's right. Will you try again? I don't know. Um, it feels like I've been here too often. There's only so much heartbreak that one person can take. No one deserves the luck you've had. But I know you and Pete had made great parents. Maybe some things aren't meant to be. Toya, what happened was a tragedy. But it'd be an even bigger one if it robs a child of a loving home and a mum like you. Okay. One of them days. I'd get 365 a year. Well, clinics can't be the happiest place to work. At least I do some good there. Let's hope it makes it for the rest of the time. Um, you can go out this way. Call me any time. Thanks. You take care, yeah? You too. Thank you. Oh, my God, what would we have done if Pete would have come back? Oh, don't even. Do you mind if I put this poster up? What? Oh, I was for a charity boxing night. Memory of Luke Britton. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Cheers. So Jackie getting on the bus? Yeah, she dropped in. Is everything all right? Toy, is everything all right? Uh, she had some news, actually. OK. Her husband's got a job abroad, um, so the whole family's going. Where? When? Dubai. End of the month. Well, is she going to be all right to fly? Yeah, to go out, but um, she can't fly back until the baby's born. Well, but hang on, this this is not what we agreed. What if there's a problem? Oh, she was really sorry, but she said they couldn't turn it down. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm not sure about this. What was I supposed to say? The deal's off? But there's no reason why it shouldn't work out just fine. <laughs> Did you talk to Aidan? How could I bring it up? Yeah, you can have your 50 grand to save your business. Oh, but do you happen to have a spare kidney I can have? You don't have to present it like that. The money is an entirely separate and, if I may say so, comparatively trivial issue. It's Aidan's livelihood. He'd feel obliged. That's because he cares about you. I'm sure he'd far sooner that you withdraw the offer if it meant that he was able to help you. Losing the factory would be nothing compared to losing you. I'm not putting him in that situation. What about your sister, then? If it's OK, Aidan's bound to find out. And don't even suggest Johnny. He's in no condition to help me, even if I wanted to. It's excuses, Carla. Look, I don't want to buy a kidney from my brother. Is that... is that so wrong? OK, look, I'll wait a decent interval after I've given them the money, and then I'll sit them both down. Well, you'll be dead by then. Tell it like it is, why don't you? Oh, the time for delicacy's gone, Carla. You're dying. Just like Haley was. Except you have the chance of survival. That's a luxury that she never had. But through fear or pig-headedness or 
that's both. You have decided to spurn this golden opportunity. And if you die because of that, I will find it very difficult to forgive. Wish I could have one of them. I suppose I'll have to knock that on the head for a bit, eh? Could kick myself for getting half cut last night. Well, last night seems like a long time ago. I wanted the ground to swallow me up before spinning all those lies to Peter. Oh, you spun him pretty well, I've got to say. I'm not proud of it. But seeing Jackie again, it just... reminded me what hope felt like. I don't want to give up on having a baby. Well, you can't. Not now. Is that all right? I mean, I know we hadn't actually signed off. And... We had. And we both know it. The question is, what do we do now? Well, uh, sending Jackie to Dubai has bought us a bit of time. Best holiday she'll never have. But it won't be long before you start showing properly. I mean, you sure about moving away? Well, I'd rather not, but I haven't got much choice, have we? Mm. And it won't be for that long, anyway. And you can come and get your baby. Yeah. My baby. Wherever you want. Well, except where anyone might know, yeah. Okay. So anywhere, so long as I've never been before and there's nobody for me to talk to. I'm sorry. You'll have great health care. Hey. I just want my baby to have two parents who are going to love it. And it will. A hundred percent. I know. So, uh, what are you going to tell Adam? I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> Yeah, Luke was a very fine young man. But funerals are for close friends and family. I, I should remember him in my own way. Uh-oh. Hey, should I make us a brew? Raise a mug to Luke? If you'll excuse me, I'll just take this up to Carla. Oh, it's becoming a bit of a habit of hers, these long lions, living life a luxury she is. Uh, I was just bringing you up a cup of tea. It's a day, Roy. Can't sit around here doing nothing. Right there. You'd be spending every waking moment sight in the factory. Aiden's a big lad. I'm going to let him take the lead. You? Taking a back seat? Bet you're five you don't last the week. <laughs> OK, yes, you're right. I'm late. No, it won't happen again. I'm so sorry. Mm, just don't make a habit of it. Been out partying, have we? I wish. Actually, do I? No, uh, I'm writing a novel, and I'm a bit of a night owl when it comes to creative stuff, so... Impressive. Not really. I feel a bit like Jude the Obscure. I don't know who that is. It's... You know what, no, it's just some bloke whose life's pretty depressing. Oh, come on, not having that. The girl you love is now free and single. All you got to do is go for it. Stop being a wuss. You shouldn't pick on him. I am not picking on him. I'm just trying to make him see the world's his flaming oyster. Deserves to be happy, poor kid. Ta. You all right? Me? Yeah. Well, you don't have to put on a brave face with me. I know it must be on your mind, the uh, determination. Yeah. <sighs> must be awful to prepare yourself for it and then have to wait. Look, um, tell me to keep my beak out, but honestly, if you need anything, like a drink or a chat or, you know, a custard slice, you know where I am. Thank you. No offence, mate, but you look terrible. You coming down with something? No, it's probably just all the coffee I've been having, you know. Makes me feel a bit peaky. You've hardly had any. I've got to get off. I've got myself a massage. I'll just settle up. Carla? Carla? 
It's Brian. Can you hear me? What are you doing? I could have knocked you over. It's Carla. She's collapsed. Oh. Carla, it's Roy. Can you hear me? I've tried that. She can't. I think she had a few too many. This is nothing to do with drink. Look, look, help me get her into the car. We'll take her to hospital. Oh, don't mention this to anyone. I'll explain later. Come on. Come on, Carl. Just pop your finger on there for me. Right, we'll run some tests on this and see how you're doing. So how have you been feeling generally? Yeah, fine. You have not been fine. As well as collapsing, she has also been lethargic and exhausted. Not to mention exhausting. Have you met my dad? Well, the sooner we run the tests on this, the sooner we'll know what steps to take. I'll be as quick as I can. Is there anything I can get you? A large glass of Merlot would be nice. I wish there was more I could do. Oh, don't be stupid, Roy. You've been brilliant. There's nothing else you could have done. I could have given you a kidney. Unfortunately, I wasn't a man. You were tested? When? When you told me you were ill. I'm sorry, Roy. For what? Dragging you in here. Let's not be gay. I'm here because I want to be. Will you marry me? Can't think of anything more disturbing. <laughs> Talk about kick a girl when she's down. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. It's all right. So, what's the score? Am I going to be able to finish my latest box set? Your EGFR levels have fallen considerably. In English? The test we carried out was to see how well your kidneys are functioning. So, how did I score? 16%. Doesn't sound like a pass to me. Anything below 9% could be critical. What can you do? We need to start thinking about a course of dialysis. And then what? You'll need a transplant as soon as we can find a suitable donor. Do you have any family? Yeah. Are they aware of your situation? Not yet. All right. Okay. Hey, what have I missed? Oh, what, apart from uh, Gary Windows threatening to knock out Pat Phelan? Ah, let me guess. Women's trouble. Something like that. Fancy enough, Pine? Uh, actually, I think I just want to be on me. All right. Have it your way. All right, usual. Actually, I'm fine, babes. I just wanted a quick little word. OK, go on. So, in between pursuing my very important legal career, I've been looking at holidays. I think I found us a bargain. How do you fancy two weeks with yours truly in sunny Portugal? Um, I might have to take a rain check. What? I, I just don't think that now's the right time for me to be going away. You were out for it a few days ago. I know. Well, well, that was before I checked my bank account. <laughs> I'll stop up the cash if that's what you're worried about. Well, that's not the only thing, though, is it? We've promised Pat and Eileen that we'd look after Billy when he comes out of hospital. Can't just be jetting off on holiday. Look, babe, I, I promise we'll get away. It's just not right now, OK? I won't hold my breath. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, I just wanted to see how Carla was doing. Is she here? She's in the spare room. Oh, so she's OK? Uh, no, no. The fact of the matter is she, she, she's sick. She's very sick. Well, what's the matter with her? Well, uh, her kidneys aren't functioning properly. She's going to need a transplant. Oh, knock me down with a feather. That's terrible news. Yes, it is. But she hasn't told anyone yet. A anyone. So, Mum's the word I understand. If there's anything you need... Well, at this moment, all I want is for her to be better. Oh. Hey. All right. Oh, is Dad not here? He's out with Jenny. What are you doing? Looking through some old photos. <sighs> not like you to get nostalgic. Well, maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. <laughs> so, that was the funeral. It's just really sad. Yeah, he was a, he was a good bloke. He's better than me. You're not so bad. Tell Eva and Maria that. 
to Luke. Yeah. <laughs> look at you and me on this. Oh my God, look at the state of my hair. <laughs> yeah, you were a bit of a monitor. Hey! Hey! <laughs> You'd have thought you'd grow up to be so beautiful, eh? Okay. Why are you acting so nice? That's so not like you. I know. And I'm sorry. For what? For not being a better brother. Aiden, has something happened on you're acting really weird? No. Promise? Cross my heart. Hope to die. <laughs> wow. You look like you needed that. <sighs> I did. <laughs> it's it's gonna take a while to get over what's happened. This isn't just about Luke. I might as well tell you because you're gonna find out sooner or later. I've been having an affair with Rana. Rana? It's over now, Zidane found out. And how did he take it? As well as you'd expect. <sighs> Hi. Yeah, what's up? Uh, no, but Kate's here. Okay, yeah, we'll be over as soon as we can. Hi, right, bye. It's Carla. She wants to see us. Why? Well, she wouldn't say, but it sounds serious. Why didn't you tell us? I didn't want to worry you. So what happens now? I'm going to need dialysis and then... I'm going to have to have a transplant. When can I get tested? What? When I'm family. I might be a match. Hang on, look, I didn't tell you all of this just so I can get my hands on one of your kidneys, all right? Oh, Aiden's right. We need to get tested as soon as possible, okay? I don't know what to say. Except thank you. Have you told Dad? No. I will. Hey! I was walking through town the other day and this woman actually asked me to lend her £2.99. Sorry. Lend? Yeah, lend. Like, was I going to see her again? Was she a homeless person? No, I don't think so. And what did you say? I said, no, I cannot lend you £2.99. Like, I was going to see her again the next day and get it back. Cheek for some people, honestly. I bet she makes a right good living out of it. I very much doubt that. Oh, what would you have done? Well, uh... Depends on the circumstances. Oh, Mr. Generosity. Well, life throws up these small dilemmas. I wouldn't say it was actually a dilemma, Roy. I mean, had she been destitute with a couple of kids with no shoes on, then maybe I would have reconsidered, but... But she was just a stranger. Yeah, so she could sling her up. Of course, if Aidan and Kate don't prove to be a match, you might well be relying on the generosity of strangers. I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Should I have lent her the 2 then? I'm sure it doesn't work like that. You are very benevolent and warm-hearted. But what goes around comes around. Uh, don't rely on pat little proverbs. Then what should I rely on, Roy? For now, look. I don't want to talk about this today. I don't want to... I'm gonna deal with it. Why don't we do something fun? Let's close the cafe and go out for uh, model trains or something. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid that's really not possible, but however appealing it might sound, I need to go down, open up the cafe. Just try and relax. Yeah. It's easier said than done. Hey, uh, don't suppose you got out for the old fella? Let's have a look. Connor, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give it to him. He'll put me out of business, you. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Are you pinching Dad's post? Uh, it's my credit card statement I used his address. <laughs> Better than putting Norfolk to the bold. <laughs> you ready for later? Are you? Just look at they've got a cancellation. <sighs> How are you? Over the moon. Fly trap in an effort to win her back. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, so that wouldn't wash with you then, I take it. I wouldn't be ripping my clothes off, no. Right. What time do you knock off? Uh, just after lunch, why? Right? Hey. Because I'm bored stiff. Do you fancy doing something? Like what? I don't know, bowling. <laughs> bowling? 
Shopping? Oh, I was just going to laze around at the flat. Can I come? Are you serious? Oh, I've got nowhere to be. I've got no job. Well, the flat's a bit of a state. You should have seen mine. Well, no, I mean, if you really are that bored, then, yeah, you're welcome to. Believe me, I am. Only questions? I wasn't looking forward to the blood test, but it'll be a field day after this. Oh, no, so if you see a clipboard, you're in trouble. Are you scared? Not being a match. What if we both are? Should we toss a coin for it? No. I'm so going to beat you in the physical. <laughs> oh, I hope you got your tracks ready. <laughs> Hang on, what do you mean, no? What? I said if we're both a match, we should toss a coin for it, and you said no. Yeah, if we're both a match, I'll do it. Oh, so you can be the hero. So my little sister doesn't have to lose a kidney. And my big sister doesn't die. And I know you don't like needles. <laughs> and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Golden Bow. It's abridged. You're a chip off the old block, aren't you? Ken always had his face in a book. You used to have to say everything twice. Hey! I said you used to have to say everything twice to your dad. Ah, uh, yeah. No wonder he thinks the sun shines out of your backside. You're like the last great hope, mind you. The other two aren't going to amount to much, were they? What makes you think that I will? Well, the worst thing you could do is hang around here. So why did you come back? I miss a hot pot. No, you didn't. No, I didn't, you're right. Although I did miss certain friends and family and, you know, a factory over the road. I miss that, if you can possibly believe it. Mm. Did you know you like something out about Elizabeth Gaskell? <laughs> why do I get the feeling you're making fun of me? Because I am. Oh. I think you should advertise for a maid. I think you'll find that I do most of it myself. I can see that. No, actually, in my defence, most of this mess is Adam's. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I stayed up all night with Roy, putting the world's right. The odd couple? Yeah. I could do with the lie down on your sofa. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. No, put the kettle on. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. So no, I'm not getting any way, am I? No, not at all. Another. You do that for me. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna have one. Yeah, go on. How are you getting on with James George? I'm still looking for the pictures. <laughs> Look, uh, I was thinking about making a sandwich. Any interest? Oh, if you're offering. Let's see what there is. There's a bad smell here. Hey? There's a bad smell around here. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's Adam's. That's right, that's Adam's. Oh. He's as bad as me. Mind you, I get it from my mother. She she was allergic to cleaning and sobriety. Did Nick do all the cleaning? Mm, yeah, he was very particular. I nearly bought him a penny for his birthday, but I didn't think he'd find the funny side of it. Well, no, we are very touchy about that sort of thing. Are we? What about Sinead? Was she house proud? Well, that's academic now, isn't it? Oh, is it now? I'll just crack on with these sandwiches, shall I? Can I ask you something personal? Will I blush? You scared me. Of course not. OK, there's ham, mm -hmm. cheese, or peanut butter. <laughs> you know, with Sinead, I think she was just trying to save face because if I were her, I'd have been your hand off. Unless the Venus flytrap bit it first. I think it was plastic. Mm. Thanks for looking after me. And if you just stop fussing for one minute, tidying and stuff, then you'd realise I've been trying to flirt with you. <laughs> That's a bit rich. I've been waiting on you hand and foot. Oh, he changes the subject. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, it's okay. I'm the one who should feel silly. You see, Daniel, I used to be able to snap my fingers. 
I'm too old for you now, aren't I? No. Just not your type. I slept with my boss a few weeks back <gasps> at, at the newspaper. She's probably about your age, and she was married. Oh, bravo. And then she sacked me right after. You that bad? Do you know, I think that you are my type, actually. Mm. Well, that was just what the doctor ordered, literally. Huh? It's just a figure of speech. Listen, I'm um, really sorry if I messed up your day. You didn't. What was she called then, this boss of yours? Cindy. Cindy? She sounds like a doll. <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous. Mm. Well, it ended badly. I'm glad. So, what are we going to do next? I don't know. You got any bright ideas? One or two. Which one's your bedroom? That one's right there. Do you want to lead the way? Mm hmm. Claire. <laughs> that was a turn up, wasn't it? It's just a bit. Nice, though. <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? Of course it was. Of course it was nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure you were quiet. Yeah, well, I, really, I never really know what to say. So. Oh, well, you don't have to worry, you know. I'm not about to put a ring on your finger or anything. I mean, it was strictly a one off. Good. <clears throat> I mean, okay. Fun. Yeah, you kidding me? For a Friday afternoon, or any afternoon. Good way to pass the damn day. What are you doing later? Well, I'll probably spend the evening cringing, wondering whether I made a proper fool out of myself in there and you two like to say so. Oh, well, as fun as that sounds, how do you fancy going for a drink? A drink? With you? Yeah. Just as friends. I can have a bit of a debrief, maybe. Post-match analysis. Oh, wow. Do I have to fill out a form? Mark's out of ten. I was thinking it might be a bit more informal than that. Yeah, right, go on then. So, um, I guess I'll see you later then. See you later. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Well, you've got some colour back in your cheeks. Have I? Well, it's about time, isn't it? It's a busy afternoon. It was very uh, invigorating. Well, some things done the trick, as they say. Mm. And as a consequence, I'm absolutely shattered, so I'm going to go and have a snooze. Oh, good idea. Oh, and then I'm going to go out again. Really? Yeah, just for a drink. Well, obviously, a soft one. You don't think you're doing too much? Too much? No, not yet. Well, um, I'm glad to see you in such high spirits. Yeah. To be honest, Roy, I feel like a 17-year-old girl again. Oh, marvellous. With 10 minutes to live. No, you sit down. I know what you young graduates are like. You're up to your neck in student loans. All right, well, I'll have a pint, but I'm going to get the next one's okay? OK. So what's all this, then? Oh, what, then? You've been with him all day. Who's asking? Me. Why? No, I'm just curious. Stroke. Amused. No comment, then. Do you want a drink? I'd love a lime and soda. And a glass of milk for the nipper. Oh, dear. Are you feeling a bit sensitive? No, I'm not feeling sensitive at all. You can be friends with whoever you like. Well, that's kind of you. I thought I wasn't asking for your blessing. So what have you been doing all afternoon? I read The Golden Bow. I'll bring your drinks over. Thank you. When will you know? In a couple of days, they reckon. Oh, thought it might be quicker. I'll give them a chance before they go slicing us hard. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. <sighs> That's what it boils down to, though, isn't it? I'm not even sure I want you or Kate to be matches now or not. Well, let's hope we are. It's really pretty what you've done for me. 
And whatever the outcome, I won't forget it. I may not be around to forget it. But even if I am, then I'll, I'll say this to Kate. I'm totally undeserving. I'm not fishing. So you were just hanging out, were you? What's wrong with that? And what were you doing while you were just hanging out? Nothing. We just talked, drank tea, that was it. It's funny. She said she read a book. Did she? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, no, she did. Well, maybe read is a bit of an overstatement. Not a bedtime story, was it? Life's there to be lived. Maybe just not at the speed I've lived it. People have hurt the men, the drinking, the goodness knows what else in. I don't know, maybe I should have been a librarian. Who says librarians don't drink or even enjoy themselves? You know what I mean. No, I don't. I, I, if you're saying that you should have denied yourself life's pleasures, it's... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. It's got nothing to do with the way you've lived your life. <laughs> it's just bad luck. But now we need some good luck and we'll get it. And you'll be OK. You gonna stay for a drink? Uh, no, I've got a lot of emails to respond to. So, who are you here with? Oh, Daniel. Osborne. Right. It's nothing, I just... Oh, thank you again. <laughs> what have I found this for, eh? Now I've been wondering the last 40 years. Mm. Good night. Night. Hey. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Because she got the giggles, I started laughing. And then it spread through the seminar like wildfire. <laughs> Everybody was laughing except Mike. It was Mike? The lecturer. You called your lecturer Mike? Yeah, look, he said that he'd come back in when we'd all got ourselves back together. He walked out, everybody collapsed. James Portendorf literally wet his pants. Also, the future of our country is in safe hands, <laughs> How many qualifications have you got? Two GCSEs, food, tech and gem. Bet you make a belt in Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> That's Austrian. Well, I know that, but I didn't think you'd notice. Uh, excuse me, I might be thick, but I'm certainly not stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Told you. She bought you a fly swatter today. Who did? What? My niece. She wanted to give things another go. A fly swatter? Yeah, we used to sell them in the shop. <sighs> look, yeah, look, look, let me... Just, there's nothing going on between me and Carla. It's not, it's not like that. Exactly, it's just a friendly drink, and he was just telling me how much he still really liked it, so... And how friendly was it when the pair of you were necking on his doorstep? Oh, <sighs> uh, well, um... Who we? It's a good job she needs decided not to come, so she didn't have to see you rubbing her nose in it again. You don't like the grass crow, do you? Yesterday you wanted her back. Today, you're going out with her old boss. Whoa, we're not going out. Read a book. Look... Make your mind up, will you? I asked her yesterday. She was playing out to get. Can't you read between the lines? You deserve each other. He can help you across the road with your shopping. Mm. Sorry about that. Well, I think you make a lovely couple. I chopped it up last night, I put it in this tub. Is that my melon? Um, well, I thought it was a communal melon. What does that say, Leanne? Peter's melon. Exactly. So I'm sorry if that was confusing for you. I'll do it in a bigger pen next time. Well, since when did you have melon for breakfast, anyway? But I'm trying to be healthy for the baby. What well, does muesli? I don't want muesli. What is wrong with you? No one gets this upset over melon. Yeah, you've been in a right grump since you found out about Carla and Daniel. Well, it's ridiculous. Sleeping with me brother. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is a uh, hypocrite. That's different. Oh. She's my sister, he's your brother. But are you sure you still don't have feelings for Carla? No, of course not. We've been through this. Why are you so bothered about it, then? Well, why were you so bothered about me and Toya? Well, because it's just not right, is it? Oh, it's not, is it? No, no exactly. And it's not right that she's messing him about after everything that he's been through with Sinead. Well, just like Leanne had to accept me and you, you are going to have to accept Carla and Daniel. Fine, that's fine. But I don't have to like it. Oh, mm. on a lighter note, here's Mrs. Robinson. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. Have you laugh? I I'm so sorry, Daniel's not in today. Can we pass on a message for you? <laughs> My sides are splitting. Hey, what's all this? Oh, you mean you haven't heard? Carla loves Daniel. You are so childish. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I wouldn't have thought. Well, 
He's nice. Oh, look, it was a one-off thing. <laughs> yeah, apparently Sinead didn't seem to think so. Yeah, well, I would have explained that if Foggle and Beth hadn't have shouted their mouth off. Mm. Seriously, though, you're going to see him again? Stop it! No! Oh, I feel really terrible. I didn't know Sinead was trying to get back with him, did I? Oh. Shell, I thought you even got myself into this mess. Mm. Can't even blame the booze this time, can you? Nice one, Chief. Oh, yeah. You right? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have been. Okay, look, I'm sorry about Carla. Not bothered. Don't bother me. Well, she's your ex. Look, do what you like. You're a big boy, aren't you? Okay, look, I don't know. We were just talking one minute and then the next we were in bed. I don't know what happened. Bit of advice, brother to brother. Go into this with your eyes open. Well, what do you mean? Well, what she's doing, uh, it's not fair to you. Oh, right, OK, I see. You think that she's doing this to get back at you? No, no, I don't think. I know. Right? You know what I think? No, I don't read minds, Daniel. Sorry. I think that you need to get over yourself. What was Audrey's lunch for her? Well, I feel a bit bad. Me and David are going over to Rovers and she's holding the fort. Right. <laughs> so, um, how's your training coming? Well, I haven't done anything yet. Why have you? Yeah, you know, just some, some push-ups and some weights. You are joking. I have no idea why anyone should wish to hit their fellow man or woman in the name of sport. Well, sometimes it's just fun. Mm, yeah, it's for a good cause, right? And that. Commemorating one act of violence with another seems utterly barbaric. Egg salad and gherkins. Mm. Cheers, right? Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Um, look, about yesterday. Oh, you're always fine. I'll speak to you later. OK. OK. Have you seen Sinead anyway? Why you don't want to challenge her to a duel, dear? Oh, not you as well. What is so funny about me and Daniel? Uh, I'll tell you what isn't funny. The earache Beth was giving me this morning. Well, that's why I want to find Sinead, to tell her. It meant nothing. I was working at Fresh Girls till later. I'm not airing my love life at the checkout. Why don't you make a tan eye announcement then? Oh, since when have you been doing stand up? Strikes me there's nothing amusing about what I've just heard. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Roy. You should not be wasting precious energy on whatever you and Daniel are doing. Boy, I'm a grown woman. You're a grown woman with a very serious condition. Yeah, which sometimes I just want to forget about and enjoy whatever time I might have left. Thank you. It's embarrassing, you know. Biggie Madden. What are you, twice his age? Oh, um, about the same as you were with Tina. Don't drag that up. Truth hurts. All right, fair enough, but he's my little brother, right? So you stay away from him. You don't own me. And you don't own Daniel. He's a kid. He's had one girlfriend. He doesn't need somebody like you using him for a midlife crisis. Like you had on a wedding night. Ah, uh, I knew that'd be the reason you were doing it. Oh, don't flatter yourself. You're so far in my past, I can barely remember you. <sighs> you can deny it all you like, but remember, I know what you like. You don't know anything about me anymore. You use people. Just remember, I know you too, mister. So I suggest you have a think about what's really going on in that head of yours. Do you feel sorry for Toya? Hi, Johnny. How are you? This tea's delicious. Sit down if you're sitting. <coughs> Came here to escape the gossip. In here? What gossip? Peter. Get me a morality lecture about sleeping with Daniel. Well, he is his kid brother. Oh, not you as well. You're as bad as he is. It's in my sex life, my business. Well, if it's stressing you out that much, maybe you should steer clear of that family. All of them. Hey. Dev's got some local ciders, so I got us a couple in. Don't say I'm not good to you. Ooh, you're more than good. You've got a visitor. Anyway, three's company. Two, three's a crowd. Quite a mathematician, aren't you? Look how embarrassed he is. Can't wait to see his face when Grander and Tracy find out. Anyway, see ya. 
Sorry about that. What? Him. Why? Because he's him. <laughs> At ease. I haven't come to jump your bones. Oh, I just would have thought my day off was looking up. <laughs> really? No. I'm just trying to act unembarrassed, aren't I? Ah. Well, listen, I've come to actually say sorry about Peter. Maybe I did wind him up a bit on purpose. No. Really? Well, can you blame me with our history? You know, Adam's right about Tracy and my dad. Oh, I know. So in for a penny. Yeah. Mm. See, fun. Mm. You know, there's a theory for fun. There's a theory for everything. Ah. Is it to do with climbing stairs? Yeah, it is. Don't act so surprised. I've been around twice as long as you have. I know stuff. Mm. Yeah, you definitely know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, annoying my family definitely isn't fun. But all this is, so maybe I should care less about what they think and try and make this even better, if possible. The Daniel Osborne theory of fun. Mm. So why are we staying in? Let's go out. <laughs> and they said we were the odd couple. Mm. They don't make you twenty less odd. <laughs> oh, Chasey's face. Yeah. Well, I heard you were cougaring my little brother's brains out, but I didn't believe a word of it. Oh, uh, yeah? Why is that? Because you are an oddball, Daniel, that goes for dopey wallflowers, and she is more than an handful. So is your brother. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you got an opinion on this? She sounds happy. It's good enough for me. Hmm? Hey, how do you like the look of your new son-in-law? <laughs> Oh, Jill, Jenny. I'm going to say the day I marry again, but the day I give up drinking. Speaking of which, can I have a bottle of Marbeck, please? You sure about that? I thought you were off the vino. Well, I am over 18, just, and I'm on a date, so I'm going to have a glass of wine. Look, what you're both doing for me is amazing, and I'll be eternally grateful, but if it comes with the condition that you run my life, then I'd rather you backed out now. If that sounds harsh, I'm sorry. OK. What else? The downward dog. Do you know what that is? I thought it was a rapper. <laughs> You're funny. See, there's not just a big brain in there. You're funny. Just like I'm not just a big, massive cougar. Hey, Chase. Be like I'm young, don't I? Also, I'm somebody who can do... The perfect downward dog. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, are you all right, love? Hey? It'd be embarrassing if it wasn't so hilarious. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I'm fine. You're losing it, babe. You're hammered in less than an hour. Have you got anything better to do? I think we should have had something to eat first. Mm. You know, you're like on an empty stomach. Do you want me to take you home? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you should sleep it off. But let me know, eh, when you're back for round two. You're home, not mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course we can, yeah. Hold on to me. What a stay. Hello! Morning, morning. Is Daniel in? He sure is. He's in the kitchen. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. I was just on my way to the library to return these books. It suddenly struck me. I thought you might really enjoy this one. It's not actually due back for a week, so... Uh... Yeah, great. Thank you. Why don't you stick about for a coffee? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sure you'd much rather get going, eh? Well, don't want to miss my bus. <laughs> oh, uh, make sure you let me know if you need more time, then I can uh, ring up and renew it, mm -hmm. OK? Dan, have you got any paracetamol, baby? I'm... Morning, Ken. Have you heard anything yet from the hospital? No. Have you? <sighs> they said we should hear by today. Still time yet. I suppose. So, I hear you and Sophie are together. You what? We can't keep a secret around here. Well, yeah, we have been seeing each other. And? Well, it's going pretty well, actually. Nice one. 
morning. No lecture. Well, they didn't get me very far last time. You're a quick learner, or I'll give you that. Right, this time I'm going to have a bath and get changed, and then I'm off out again for lunch with my toy boy. I'm sorry if you're worried. I should run. Why does she do it? Trying to make us all worse. Oh, you know Carla. She's not used to sitting on a subs bed. Maybe she'll listen to Dad. Uh, no. It's up to her to tell him, not us. He deserves to know. Yeah. Like I deserve to know that he had a mess. Look, you respected his wishes. And now we've got to respect hers. Some meetings with ex-clients. Thought we could split them between us. Is that right? You're the boss. Yeah. But you're the manager. So get used to being consulted. <laughs> well, it's a great plan. And... Thanks for the promotion. Well, it's long overdue. So hopefully this way we'll have some orders ready for when the factories up and running. Well, can't come soon enough. I think most of us have maxed out our credit cards already. Sorry, that wasn't me. I'm going to go. I oh, know. It's fine. Do you think the clients will even come back to us? Well, the good news is Hanlon has. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well done. He was our biggest. Uh, well, I can't take the credit. He heard Carla was back and he's always rated her, so... Oh. I do think the others will follow suit. Well, that's brilliant. I just... I wish we'd got her back sooner. Maybe that way we wouldn't have been so desperate to hang on to the Parker contract. I'm sorry, I've got to take this. It's fine. I need to do anyway. Hello? Yeah, it is. Right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Bye. Hiya. Hey. Guess what? What? Hospital rang. I'm a match. You kidding? No. Nope. So am I. Really? Does it make sense both you and Carla laid up? I don't care. I'm doing it. If it means that much to you. It does. Thanks. Don't thank me. I'm relieved. You did brave. Nah, not really. Stubborn then? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Ah, two of my favourite people. Lunch? Oh, yeah, go on then. I'll grab a menu. Everyone's hero. Yeah. Wash it down. Yeah, go on yeah, then. Yeah. When are you going to tell her? Oh, as soon as I can get her alone. <laughs> I have to say, I was somewhat shocked. It's not just the age gap, particularly. It's, um... A bit close to home. Well, exactly. Yeah, well, don't let it get to you. She's just making a show of herself, that's all. That's it? Yeah. Just obviously, yeah. I think it's you doing that. Just having a go at her just because your pride's hurt. Grow so up. Is everything all right? Yeah. Fine. Uh, same again, please. <laughs> Another for the road. No, I'm fine. I think I'm out. <sighs> hey, can I have a large glass of red, please? Oh, I think you've had enough. Excuse me? I've had one drink. Yeah, in here, maybe. I just saw you staggering. I'll spend a lot of time watching me, dear. Uh, you heard him, you've had enough. Oh, now you're ganging up on me. Look, why don't we just leave, eh? Well, I just... No, I... Carla! Call an ambulance. She's not drunk. She's seriously ill. Call an ambulance now, please. Ambulance to Rover's return. Coronation Street. Quick as you can, please. And you can join Carla in hospital in half an hour. What do you mean, seriously ill? I'm not, I'm not sure it's for me to say. Well, could she be dying or what? We need to know. It's kidney failure. How do you know? Because she told me. And who else knew? I did. Did you know? No, I didn't have a clue. Well, thanks for telling me. Ambulance. Yeah. 
She has advanced kidney disease. She's been aware of it for about three months. OK, what's her name? Carla, Carla. Carla, yeah. can you hear me? She, she had a kidney function of 16%, but I imagine that might have dropped in recent days. OK, that's brilliant. Yeah. Open your eyes for me, let me know you're OK. Mm. All right. That's it. <sighs> Secrets out then. There you go. Came as quick as we could. How is she? They're just running tests. Did you know? No. I begged her many times to tell you all, but she wouldn't. I had to respect that, otherwise she she might have stopped confiding in me and that would limit how much I could help her. Well, does she need a new kidney or what? She will need a transplant, yes. And how long will that take? Well, I'd have to find a donor first. I'm not a match, unfortunately. Me and Aidan are, though. We found out this morning. And I'm giving her one of mine. Well, that, that's excellent news. So now you know as much as us, all right? Back round the head. I still don't get why she didn't tell me. She didn't want anyone to know. I'm a dad, for God's sake. Well, perhaps because you've enough on your plate with your own mess. Or that she didn't want to ruin your plans for Spain. Did she say that? Well, I'm just guessing. Did you know? No. We haven't just told anyone. Well, oh, that's something. I'm starting to think that Milton and the paper boy were in on it, too. I'll get up. I'll walk you out. It's fine, you need some space for your family. Look, I did want to tell you. Really, I swear. Carl, I didn't want anyone to know. Yeah, well, now I understand why you've been so distant. No, I'm sorry about that. As long as it is all of that, and we're okay. Yeah, we are. And no worries. How is she? Better than when she came in. Do we know what caused the collapse? She had an infection. We've put her on antibiotics. So she can come home? Not till she's over it. I understand the search is on for a donor in the family. Uh, I'm a, a match. I got the blood test results back this morning. I'm her half-brother. Oh, good. Then we need to fix you an appointment at the transplant centre to make sure everything else is all right. How soon are we talking about? Your daughter's relapse has raised the stakes, Mr Connor. If we're going to save her, we need to move very fast indeed. I'm so sorry. Still, if Aidan's going to do the noble thing, it don't be something I'd want to do. It's not something he's going to do either. What do you mean? Because I'm not going to let him. Well, then how does she... Oh, no! I've been absent for most of her life. This is my chance to make up for it. No! It's my responsibility, not my kids. You are in no fit state! It doesn't matter. Aidan's got all of his life ahead of him. He doesn't want one hand time behind his back. And you have got all of our life ahead of you. She's right, Dad. This is major surgery. I'm better having it than you. I don't care. Look, plus, it's my chance to do something good for a change. After all the cock-ups I've made in my life. But please, Dad, you don't know how much I need to do this right now. I'm putting myself forward for tests first thing tomorrow morning. No, you are not. This is all set to go. But there's your MS to think about as well. You know, things could get worse if you do it. Just when you've got a chance to enjoy your life with Jenny. You listen to him. There's another reason why we didn't tell you. It just doesn't seem right. This isn't all for discussion. I want to do it. And I'm going to do it. Still, you know, people asking you how you are morning and night. Yeah, all the same. Look, if bubonic plague ever strikes me down, you'll be the first to know. Well, it's good news. Me and Kate are both matches. 
You're joking, really? Provided all the next tests are okay, you'll be getting a little present from me. I offered mine, but Aidan reckons he'll be more butch. You could have had one of mine, but their next stop's the knackers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aidan, seriously, thank you so much. Okay, it was a no-brainer. I want you to live, sis. Come here. Oh, 30, eh? Yeah, that's a milestone. Oh, don't say it like that. You make her feel old. Oh, she already feels old, babes. Do you not want your books for his? Oh, no, it's barely for me. I'll have it. Oh, what yeah. happened to the party girl? Oh, that all stops once you're out your twenties. Did you get out of bed the wrong side this morning? No, no I'm just I'm just saying we all get old, don't we? You know, if we're lucky. Mm. I hate having a birthday in February. I wish I was born in summer. Mm. But you do like your present? I mean, yeah, I love it. Thank you. Mm. Hey, maybe you could wear it tonight. <laughs> well, what's happening tonight? Uh, well, I don't know, a, a date, a party, whatever you want to do. I'd rather not make a fuss, to be honest, Lee. I mean, Peter's right, it's no fun coming out of your sweaties, is it? <laughs> but I love this, and I will try it on later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, she's a right misery guts, just like you. Oh, give her a break. I mean, imagine how you're going to feel when you turn 40. Uh, I'll feel like having a party, that's how I'll feel. <laughs> Actually, love her. Uh, I've got something for you. It's not my birthday. No, I know, but we uh, we do have a birthday coming up. You know, I, I thought I'd give you a bit of time to learn to love this as much as I did when I saw it in the mm. shop. Oh, that's totally adorable. Those girls can play football too. It's gorgeous. <laughs> have you got all the details? It, it's yeah, it's all sorted. Nine fifteen at the transplant clinic. Ready and willing to give a sample of any bodily fluid they want. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm hitting my muesli. And you know where it is? I mean, that hospital's massive. I've got lost there more than once. Relax. I've got it all good. <sighs> I feel so flaming useless. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's a bit late for any of us to retrain as a transplant surgeon. Look, I have to go. I could drive you. No, no, it, it's fine. But there is something you could do. Yeah. What? Stop whinging over your breakfast about how you feel useless. And go and visit Carla at the hospital. Keep her company. While well, I let the medical profession examine my credentials. Yeah. You're right. He's right. I know he's right. I should be with Carla. That's my place. My work here is done. I'll see you later. Yeah, best of luck. Thanks. He's a good lad. He'll come through for Carla. Is everything okay? I want you to know that I'm here for you. Anything you want, anything at all. As am I. I don't suppose either of you could sneak me in a nice bottle of Ryoko, could you? I, I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I was joking. <laughs> Just having you pair here with some Satsumas and a bottle of Lucas Aid makes me the luckiest girl on the kidney ward, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, Aiden should be getting checked out at the transplant clinic right now. Takes all day, apparently. Lots of tests. I wish I could do this for you. Uh, I think given your age and medical history... Uh, yes, I know. Thank you. I think if everybody had the way, I'd have more kidneys and fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking maybe we should delay the move to Spain for a bit. At least till you and Aiden are back on your feet. No, Johnny, there's no need for you and Jenny to change your plans. We need to get the factory open as soon as. Yeah, well, once I've got my new kidney fired up, I'll be ready to go, won't I? You, you will need time to recover after the surgery. I can handle reopening the factory, get things up and running. All you need to worry about is getting better. I, I agree. Oh, you're ganging up on me now, are you? If we need to. <laughs> Carla. Hello again. Can we talk? You can talk. There's no secrets in here. 
OK, well, we've been looking at the numbers and I'm afraid your kidney function has now dropped to 11%. That's not good. No, it's not. We're testing your brother today, but if he doesn't qualify as a donor, we'll have to consider dialysis sooner rather than later. <sighs> OK, whatever it takes. Don't worry. Aiden will come through. Yeah, we're back in Aiden. Prezi from me, Mum, all the way. Poor thing. Hey, come on. Just let it out. You don't have to bottle it up. <sighs> no, I've got no choice. I've, I mean, I have to bottle it up. I can't let them see. <sighs> I know you are doing the most incredible, selfless thing for me and Peter, but I, I look at this and our child died. Feels like I'm just trying to replace one baby with another. Hey, no, come on. You're helping me out here and all. And I know, I know you are going to love this baby so much. Oh, well. I promise that I'll... And just think how happy Peter's going to be, OK? <laughs> I know that you're really hurting now, but... one day, very soon, you're going to be a proper family. <sighs> Why don't me and you go out today, eh? Do something to remember this one. <laughs> like what? <laughs> go to the park, feed the ducks, plant a tree. It's your birthday. This is more important. Oh, hello. Where have you two been? Um, town shopping. Uh, well, that's obviously a big fat lie, isn't it? What? No bags. I know you, and there's no way you've been shopping and not bought out. Yes, well, actually, I've got a pair of earrings in my bag, I've ordered some shoes, and I've got a couple of dresses being altered for this week. <laughs> and that's the Eva I know and love. <laughs> Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, wow. By rights, I should be angry with you not telling me about your birthday. Good job a little birdie <laughs> for me. Mm -hmm. Are they for me? Of course they're for you. Now, go and get yourself changed because I've got your favourite sushi restaurant booked. That table by the aquarium that you love. Sushi? Mm. She loves all that raw fish. I can't stand it myself. <laughs> oh, babe, it sounds lovely, but I, well, it's, it's a bit short notice. I haven't got anything posh to wear. Uh, hello? Wear that dress I bought you. Oh, we have been walking around the shops all day. I don't know about you, but I'm dead knackered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, you're 30, not 60. Right, go on, get yourself changed and get yourself gorgeous for this lovely young man. Yeah, of course. Well, I, I won't be a minute. Hey, take your time. It's your day. Right, don't say out, but later on, when she gets back from a sushi, I've organised a little surprise party. <laughs> well, when I say little surprise party, of course, I mean a great monster booze up. <laughs> So it's the ECG next. And after that, we'll do a chest X-ray and the renal ultrasound. OK. We'll be back when we're ready for you. OK, thanks. Are you, are you allowed a coffee yet? No. Uh, what are you doing there? I'll come see you, aren't I? Make sure you didn't do a runner. <sighs> All right. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, but I don't need you keeping an eye on me. I'm joking. Yeah. You know, me and you have had our ups and downs. But I'm impressed. You were stepping up to the plate. And because of that, it means your dad doesn't have to, and I appreciate that. OK. And I imagined you'd have quite a bit of waiting around, so I thought you might like some company. Or, uh, or a magazine. I've got one on men's health, one with lots of cars in it, and one on travel and adventure. And we can just donate them to the waiting room if you don't want them. Sorry, it's going to be at least half an hour. They're a bit backed up. And I've booked you in with the independent assessor after your ultrasound. Is that who makes the final decision? More of a recommendation. It's really just to make sure you understand all the issues around being a transplant donor. OK. Have you ever fancied doing a Gobi Desert Ultra Marathon? Not right now. Ah, oh, you look great. Uh, can't quite get the zip up. I'll give it here. Right, breathe in. 
Oh. Oh, have I bought the wrong size? Sometimes they label them wrong. Oh. Do you know what? I'm not feeling very well. I might just cancel Adam. No, 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 no. I've got something that'll fit you. Just, just give me a sec. Sushi. I can't eat flipping sushi. Have the tempura. This is a nightmare. Yeah, it gets worse. Why? Leanne's arranged a surprise party for after you get back. Well, her actual words were... Great big monster booze up. No, 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 absolutely not. You're going to have to get me out of this. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> she was all right a few minutes ago. Yeah, well, it came on just like that. Maybe she should see a doctor. No, I think uh, a hot bath and an early night. Mm. Well, she'd seem a bit fed up before. Oh, I'm pulsing. Mm. Right then, I better cancel the party, text everybody. Uh, I'm just going to nip out for a bit, love, if that's OK. Yeah, yeah. OK, see you in a bit. See ya. You have a word with her. Yeah, why not? Oh, a bit of peace and quiet is what she wants. That's fine. I'll be quiet. You all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Right. Might be food poisoning. Yeah, sometimes what I eat just gives me a bit of a migraine. I had a friend in Canada that suffered from migraines. Yeah? Yeah, he had to hold himself in a dark room for hours. Couldn't be around noise or bright lights. I, I, I think it's just a mild one. Eva, I know you're lying to me. It's fine. I just... I just want to know why. It's complicated. Have I done something wrong? Are you going off me? No, no. I just, um... I don't, I don't feel great about myself. I've, I've put on a few pounds. You look great. And you know what? Turning dirty. I know Leanne's done all this for me, but... I just couldn't face it, and I didn't want to upset her. You're absolutely gorgeous, do you know that? You're always thinking about other people. I tell you what, how about you grin and bear your way through this party? And when you're feeling better, we'll do something special, just me and you. What do you say? Okay. Come on. See you there, okay? My job is to make sure that you fully understand all the risks involved with being a living donor. I've read all the pamphlets. <laughs> yes, we do like to show our people with pamphlets. <laughs> The other thing I need to be confident of is that no one is putting you under any pressure to do this. No, this is my decision. In fact, my sister was a match too, but this is something I want to do. Well, that's good. But there may be some things you haven't thought of. Like, for example, the transplant might not be successful. It's always easier to imagine a good outcome rather than a negative one. Look, all I can do is this. You can stop this process at any time. And we don't need to disclose to Carla or anyone else that it was your choice. Are you saying you don't think I should do this? I just want to be confident you're making a fully informed decision. The donors back out? I wouldn't call it backing out. But yes, it does sometimes happen that when people allow themselves to think through all the possibilities, they do come to the conclusion that they're not ready or not capable of doing it. Here we go. There you go. Is that it? You? Oh. What were you saying? Yeah, I've got your back. Here you go. Ginger ale. Hey, Tony, you won't believe this. You mm. want me to go back to work at the medical oh, centre? Sorry, Liz, not, not now, eh? Yeah, but it means I won't be able to do lunch times here. Still do evenings, but not lunch times. Oh, no. I am so in demand. <laughs> Obviously, they can't manage without me. I, I said not now, eh? <laughs> uh, everybody, a toast to the birthday girl and her almost miraculous powers of recovery. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eva. Thank you. To Eva. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me this. Ah, so are you coming to terms with the big 3-0 then? All right. You're not going to let that drop, are you? No, nah, have another drink. You'll soon forget about it. Why not? Mm. Cheers, sis. Cheers, babe. Mm. Take it easy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hello. Bottoms up. <laughs> this is nice. <sighs> Did you share a taxi? I know I was planning a visit. Okay. Next time, just uh, let me know. I'll give you a lift. Okay. Listen, I'm sorry about how I've been. I said to you, if I'd have known. Yeah. You should have told us. Because people care about you. I know. 
So what happens next? Mm. We've been testing Aiden all day. See if he's suitable to be a donor. I don't mind being tested. What good would that do? Aiden's a brother, he's a match. I could be a match. Listen, I didn't tell you because I didn't want you thinking of treating me like I was ill. It was fun. It was fun. And I didn't tell you because it was none of your damn business. But just because what happened in the past, that doesn't mean I don't care about you. You didn't bring me grapes. You brought me books and grapes. You don't like grapes. That's not the point. Not even the seedless ones. You don't like the way the skin pop when you bite into them. <sighs> yeah, well, my taste might have changed. In fact, I love grapes now. Don't knock. Hello. Oh. You're popular today. Yeah, look, uh, I think I'll get going. Let you have some time. Left. Let me know if you need anything. It's all gonna be fine, you know. It's you don't have to do anything at all. Okay. Um, I'll come and see you again soon then. She's giving you a get out of jail card, you dodo. Did anybody ask you? <laughs> Bye. Shouldn't you be going at all? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, if you want to go, just just say. Go. I'll be thinking about you. Did I miss something? So, you sure it's all right, then? What? Me, working at the medical centre again. Hey, mm. apparently. They've got this new doctor starting. They want me breaking him in. <laughs> Word is, he's quite hot. Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah. I love a girl who knows how to have a good time. Oh, baby, say the loveliest. Is... <laughs> Hold up, dodgy dance floor. Get DIY Peter on it with his big hammer. <sighs> or maybe you should take a break, eh? Well, I have not even had enough cake. Look, I barely touched it. Oh, I love this song tune. So, what's the score? Well, I'm six quid in, I'm having my backside handed to him. With you and Carla. Oh, well, you were there, you heard, just good mates. Hey, I think she might like me a bit more than you, though. Yeah, today she does. Well, you were tired. Yeah, I know, but I still care about Carla. I don't want to see her get hurt. But you think that I'd hurt her? I think she's upset, scared, confused. I don't think she knows what she's doing. I think she knows exactly what she's doing. Hey, she's cheered up a bit since this morning, eh? Yeah. Not care in the world, look. Oh, she needs another drink. Hiya. Hiya. Is she awake? It's about half past eight, isn't it? I should be getting ready to go out. <laughs> you should be resting. Oh, fine, I am. Well, I've got another visitor for you. It was tough. He's been poked and prodded all day. And? Passed our tests with flying colours. So you can give a kidney? Say when. I'll be there. Hey, 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 come on. This is good news. Thank you. It's, it's no worries. You did the same for me. I'm kidding, it, yeah. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should be so proud of yourself. You're saving a life for you. I think it's time we talked about the future then, as I seem to have one. It's time to rest. I will look after that kidney, you know. No late nights, no boozing sessions, no binges on pizzas. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm going to drive that kidney like a Formula One race car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, did you have a good birthday? I have had the bestest birthday ever. <laughs> oh, I think I need to go to bed. 
Well, I think me and Tara are going to have a nightcap. Or oh, maybe a black coffee. No, hey. well, don't stay up too late. All right, see you tomorrow. Night, night. 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 Yeah. <sighs> Well, that was very impressive. That was an absolute nightmare. <sighs> I mean, I'm knackered to bits. I saw you and Adam dancing. Yeah, I know. I'll, um, I'll get him to back off till after the baby's born. If he's really keen, then he'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed your birthday, but judging by the look of you, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah, I've got a right hangover. Five-day hangover? You know what's a party. <laughs> so, uh, I take it you had determination then? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should have told me. I could have come with you. Oh, it's done now, innit? Look at the state of him. Makes you look good. Oh, love. You should have repetitive strain about a text you sent me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't apologise, you're obviously in pain. It's that. Now you told me I should lay off the strong stuff, but... Don't worry about it. You shouldn't have to suffer. You're obviously suffering, aren't you? <laughs> so? The hospital's been in touch. Operation's on for next week. Seriously? Yeah. Our system's gone. Oh, you must be breaking it. Mm. Norris said he saw you come in here. I need a word. Yeah, yeah, go on. Must be nice having a sister that works here. Well, she doesn't give me freebies, if that's what you mean. No, but I bet she can squeeze you in on a night like tonight, you know, Valentine's. And what am I going to do? Book a table, then sit on my own like some big sad up. Ask my mum. Look, you've both been through a rough time recently. You could cheer each other up. No, no, no. I don't think so, Bethany. I mean, look, your mum is lovely. But I'm not in the right place for a relationship. Well, all right, I'm not asking you to marry her. You just take her out, have a laugh. And you might even enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm, um... I am sorry if this is a bit weird. <laughs> what, your daughter pimping you out? <laughs> Don't say it like that. <sighs> She's a great kid. I can see where she goes. <laughs> nice to see her smiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad she's dating again. Especially now Gary Windass's history. This is outrageous. How can you tell me you had a date? Oh, well, Bethany sort of railroaded me into it. What do you think I was going to do? Book a table and then sit on my own? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Do you need a few more minutes or are you ready to order? Oh, um, I've not had a proper look at the menu yet. We're too busy chatting. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for the steak medium rare. Okay. The Valentine's Day menu is really nice. Everything on it is an aphrodisiac. Yeah, asparagus, pomegranate, oysters. Oh, no, I don't really like oysters a lot. Uh, slimy things. <laughs> Can I just get the mushroom risotto, please? Perfect. Thank you. This is a bit awkward, isn't it? First date on Valentine's Day. Well, strictly speaking, it's our second. Well, to be fair, you might have uh, wiped the first one for you, know, you? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Oh, but totally smashed. <laughs> Look, don't be embarrassed with all that. Wow. He is going to start licking her face in a second. I know. When are they going to come up for her? <laughs> she's going to feel like she's been through a car wash when she comes up. <laughs> With the windows down. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about going through any car washes tonight. Too right. Nice bit of dinner. As mates, no complications. Cheers. Hope you don't mind me asking. Um, what really happened with you and Eva? I thought everyone would be over that by now. I know what happened, but what I mean is, why? What made you cheat? Honestly, ego, stupid, <laughs> stupid male pride. Two gorgeous women on the go. Thought I was living the dream. At least you're honest. Yeah, well, it's better late than never, I suppose. 
I was such an idiot. No, I threw away a life I'd give anything for right now. Is it not too late to go back? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's too late. What about you and Gary? Think you two will ever get back together? With his pregnant mistress living across the street, what do you think? <sighs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Not for me, Ta. I'm supposed to be taking it easy. Oh, please, you need to help me out because I'm determined not to get legless this time. <laughs> no, 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 I've got an operation coming up. Oh, wow. Um, nothing serious, I hope. And I'm donating one of my kidneys to Arcana. Wow. What a hero. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to tell them what you like? You're getting married. Oh, who told you? No one. It's written all over your big smug faces. Oh, oh, if it wasn't on meds for nausea already, I'd be sick. Come here, you. Mm. I'm pleased, then. Yeah, of course I am. Apart from the fact you're totally stealing my limelight. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Mm. So, welcome to the family. Right, now try saying that without sounding like a mafia boss. <laughs> mm, the Colleonis have got nothing on us. Obviously, if you hurt her in any way... I'll... You'll hunt me down and kill me like a dog. Yeah. Understood. <laughs> so what are you doing to celebrate? Ooh, well, we're going to work. You're not throwing her a party? Well, yeah, maybe, when you and Aidan feel up to it. <laughs> what are you doing? Ugh, I'm inviting Johnny and the rest of them to the bistro this afternoon. Well, no, no, you, you can't do that. I'm not having you waiting around on a kidney for your engagement. No, he's saying you can't. And we haven't told them yet. We swore everyone to secrecy, the fun run. Oh, you mean I've just blown your big news by group chat? Uh, yeah. Ooh, Johnny seems very surprised. You're unbelievable, you. You have to go now. We've only just got here. I know, but you're boring me already. Ah, OK, we'll leave you to it. <laughs> OK, bye. Mm. Have fun at the bistro and uh, spending the rest of your lives together. Johnny! Ah, yes, surprise! No, it's not quite as you planned, though. Oh, yeah. Not to bring you any flowers. Not because of us, obviously. We're just mates, I know that. But because of, uh, well, hospital hygiene protocols, probably. That's probably the most romantic thing anyone's ever said to me. Listen, um, sorry about the other day. Things must be pretty awkward with Peter. He's fine. I'd say there probably is a part of him that isn't. That part's his problem? Mm. Adam did a runner. No. Mm. Family. So I thought that I'd come and see you. Mm. You know, as a mate. You want to talk or anything as a... Mate. Shall I just go? No, silly. You're right, it'd be good to talk. Sit down. Okay. About you and Sinead. Really? Yeah, I'm really bored. I think you know everything. Um, well, after I spoke to Beth, I went to go and see her, but she didn't want to see me, so I'm keeping my distance. To be nice? To be... Not Peter? You still love her, right? Yeah. Bacon, sausage, egg. Hello? Come in, Sinead. Hiya. Hi. You look uh, awful, I know. No, you don't. Maria spoke to you then? Yeah, um, the taxi was a surprise. Oh. At least I could do something in your ear like this. So... Then I'll get straight to the point. Right. I'm not going to apologise for sleeping with Daniel. OK. But neither am I going to stand in the way of true love. What? He loves you, Sinead. The only reason he said he didn't before the wedding was because he... Well, he thought that's what you needed to hear. And because he's a bit of an idiot. No, he's, he's not. I'm pretty sure you love him. Well, actually, it's just... It, it's not as easy as that. Well, you don't love him. 
I mean, you bought him a flat as well. I... You... Look, I, I... I don't really understand why you're saying all this. Oh, yeah. Truth is, um... I might die, Sinead. And I don't want my last actions on this earth to hurt anyone. I want you both to be happy. There's just a... a lot of stuff that's happened. Yeah, so I understand. But fortunately, I have the answer to that. And the credit card. Is that for me? Yep. What is it? I told you. It's the answer to your problems. And the answer to everybody else's problems as well. Take a look. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello? It's just me. Uh, right, so the Valerian route wasn't a big success, was it? Should we, um... Should we try some Carver Carver? Says here it's good for neuropathic pain, so... Oh, we could watch the telly. Hey, that'll take your mind off it. No, oh, it just makes me feel sick. How are you doing, love? Mm. <laughs> I've been better. Did Dr. Gadda suggest <sighs> anything? No. Oh, you've been to the medical centre? Well, I'd said it was for Brenda, but I said you should see a doctor. I couldn't say what, though. I've been taking illegal painkillers. But, darling, they're not going to tell the police. No, no, it's too risky. Not with everything. Just, just keep Summer away. I'll get through this, OK? <laughs> Do that. How'd you fussing? Make the most of it. <laughs> so, uh, how long will you be in for? Uh, depends how quickly I recover. Could be just a few days. You nervous? Nope. Freak? Yeah. Well, I suppose, um, hogs in order, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers, he says, like he's going to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> We're all way more nervous than you. Don't be daft, it'll all be good. I reckon he's converted to Buddhism on the quiet. <laughs> well, I want hourly updates, all right? See you later. Good luck. So today's the day then? Yeah. Aidan goes in first and then Carla. You know, the operations overlap. Yeah. My Johnny's hiding it well, but he's beside himself. <sighs> Didn't mind you. See you later. Yeah. If the fashion police could see you now. Hi. If anyone can rock tight white surgical stockings, mm -hmm. it's me. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, you got very shapely legs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good pins, top of the range kidney. Basically, I can walk on water. Yeah, inside white surgical stockings. Mm -hmm. This is before he saved my life. It's gonna be unbearable. Yeah. You okay, Dad? Never better. Okay, folks, you've signed the final consent forms. It's time for you to go back to your room now. We'll uh, give you two a minute. You do for me. I'd like to think so. We'll never know, though, will we? <laughs> Thank you. It's a privilege. It's the best thing I'll ever do. Sorry. I promised myself I wouldn't. I'll be fine. I love you so much. Especially, Especially when, when you're asleep. asleep. <laughs> Yeah. That was Carla. She's playing Scrabble with Roy Cropper. She's OK. No, she's playing Scrabble with Roy Cropper. <laughs> she said you'd better give you your best kidney. Chicken now. Couldn't be more proud, son. Makes a change, eh? Don't be daft. Would you like to come with me? OK, Aidan, this is the official bit. Before we take you to pre-op, it's my responsibility to check if you have any concerns and if you're OK to continue to theatre. There's no need. 
it's important for you to understand that if you've changed your mind for whatever reason, there'd be absolutely no judgment made. We'd never disclose it was your decision to pull the transplant. Now, do you understand what I've just told you? Loud and clear. But I want to do this. I need to do this. For me. Will you stop doing that? It's making me nervous. I'm timing. Professor Cropper. Oh, he's thinking. He takes this very seriously, don't you, Roy? Apologies. Fetch. Don't question it, just give him the points. Thirteen? Ah, disappointing. <laughs> Would you like another pillow? No, she should be in bed, resting. I agree. Oh, step aside, Roy. Shall we leave you in peace? No. Uh, good idea, you scoot off home. Dad! What? The man's got a cafe to run. I can update you on my daughter's progress. Roy, would you, uh, be a love and go and get everybody a cup of coffee? Kate'll help you. Uh, well, I meant you like... Come back here until I go under the knife. I want all three of you with me. You hate Scrabble? And he loves it. It might be the last game I ever get to play with him. Oh, don't say that. Well, it might, Johnny. He has been a magnificent friend to me. More than that, like a second dad. I need you to promise that you'll look out for him, for my sake. Okay. Okay, I'll do my best. Make sure you do. You do realise you're a magnet for oddballs? <laughs> yeah. You. Thinking that I should be saying something profound. Uh, <clears throat> I disagree. Trifles make the sum of life. Nigella Lawson. Charles Dickens. Mm -hmm. ah. Time to take you down a pre-op call, eh? Aiden's doing well. Thank God. Okay, no tears, no force. I love you, you, and you. I've seen a few hours, yeah? Goodness. Love you. Beautiful. Hey, your turn, Roy. Oh, uh, well, I, I know that the past few months have been a haze of fatigue, but all being well, it will be a thing of the past. Basically, you'll be skipping out of here. Nicely put. Um. <laughs> How's Aiden? He's doing really well. They're stitching him up now. It went very smoothly. <sighs> and it just went for me. Okay, Carla. Nothing to worry about, just a cold sensation. Excellent. Now, I'd just like you to count backwards for me from 100. Oh, it's nine. Ninety-eight. I'm going to join you. Oh, no, no, please, please, be one. Nothing makes time drag more than watching it. I don't know how you can stay so calm. My ticket's going 100 miles an hour. Well, you have two children under surgery. It's only to be expected. I'm sorry I haven't... I haven't spoken out of turn. No. It's not that. <sighs> Truth be told, I... I still struggle with the whole daughter thing when it comes to Carla. But don't get me wrong, I... I love her to bit. But it's not like we really know each other. Not deep down. And that makes you sad. And useless. What is it you'd like to know about her? I don't know. I guess I just want to 
understand her a little better. Well, I, I can't guarantee that, but I, I might be able to fill in a few blanks. You do that. It would help pass the time. Of all quality. Well, she might have got that from me. There are worse traits a child can inherit from a parent. Except I've never been a proper parent to her. And yet, here you are, feeling a pride in a daughter that only a parent could possibly understand. Thanks, mate. Gratitude's not necessary. Simply stating a fact. Even so, I'm sorry about earlier. The truth is, I'm a bit jealous of your relationship with Carla. I know it's daft, but she has some major love for you. The, the extent of her affection for me is born out of a shared experience. There's more to it than that, and you know it. Well, be that as it may, to see our relationship as a threat is foolishness. I will always endeavour to offer Carla friendship and honest counsel should the need arise, but that is where my role in her life ends and yours, if I might be so presumptuous, begins. He's out of surgery. How did it go? Were there any complications? None whatsoever. Went like a dream, according to the doctors. <laughs> one down, one to go. Let's hope we can see him. What are we waiting for? <laughs> he looks so peaceful. For him to do this, to give Carla such a gift. I know. And he didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Not for a second. He's amazing. Mm. You know what makes me most proud, though? It's the fact that over the last few weeks, I've seen Aiden finally become the man I always knew he could be. If he can do something like this, then he can achieve absolutely anything. And when he wakes up, I expect you to tell him exactly that. Ah, don't be soft. <laughs> Your brother knows how I feel. I just thought you'd want to know Carl is in recovery and awake. Ah, uh, thanks, love. You would not believe the amount of tat I've managed to shift today. Talk about making a killing. What? Her ladyship has got herself a new kidney, and I have taken the afternoon off. Everybody's a winner. Yeah, and here's me thinking you've grown as a person. Your compassion is a thing of beauty, Tracy. It really is. Oi, I am carrying balloons for a woman I would have gladly buried a few years back. Trust me, I'm showing the love. Oh, my God, she's dead. She's died, hasn't she? I told you we shouldn't listen to the satin oven. We should have taken my route. Carl's not dead. The operation went very smoothly. She's in recovery as we speak. Sorry. Idiot. It's not my fault, it's his fault. Roy, you really need to work on your happy face. The waiting area is still there. What? Uh, we left Roy with her. I thought they should have some time alone. It's so unfair. Three hours of surgery and she still looks gorgeous. <laughs> Well, the matter is that she's OK. Thanks to you. And as soon as you're both well enough, we'll have a party. Too right. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm sorry. Look, you two should come home. You're both look at We're OK for a bit. Yeah, I'm just getting my second wind. No, I, honestly, I could do with calls in my eyes anyway. Are you sure? I'm sure. We'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well, son.
She feel a lot better already. Aiden's kidney must be turbocharged or something. Well, you certainly have a little more colour. Mm, do I? So, did anything uh, interesting happen while I was under? Well, it, it wasn't an uneventful few hours, if that's what you mean. And? Your father and I spoke at length. What about? Well, you mainly. Care to expand on that? No. Oh, it can really annoying sometimes. You, you have told me this on more than one occasion. Let's just say that uh, we came to an understanding. I'm glad. People are going to be seeing a whole lot more of me. I don't follow. I've decided to sell the house in Devon. I'm afraid you're stuck with me. For good. <laughs> I'm really not hungry. Just a couple of mouthfuls. Maybe later. I'm causing trouble already. Mm. Try to get him to eat something. Hey, cute nurse. Well, donating the kidney does have some perks. Mm. <laughs> so how are you doing? Uh, I felt better. You on the other hand, you look ten years younger. Oh, well, that's all thanks to you. If anyone would have done it. <laughs> that's not true. Ah. Oh, you're still in so much pain. Yeah, yeah. It, it comes and goes. I'm sorry, Aiden. Oh, don't be daft. Besides, it's nice to get all the attention. Mm, that's more like it. Yeah. Seriously, though, I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you. Like you just being here with me now is payment enough. Mm. Eat something. Eliminate. Never felt better. Stop worrying. Some habits are difficult to break. But I, at least I leave you in the knowledge that you will be in the best possible hands. As will your allotment. I've agreed to look after it. You are joking, right? I've always fancied myself as a man of the land. Hopefully be able to uh, rope Jenny in. <laughs> She's going to love that. I, I, I really ought to go. My, my train departs in an hour. Come here. Don't overdo it. Don't let Sylvia push you around. Take care, mate. And likewise. <laughs> you already missing your new best buddy. Behave. <laughs> so, mm. a few of your old contacts have heard you back in town and have asked for meetings. Well, I'm not the one they need to talk to. Do you respect, love? You're the major shareholder. Not for much longer. I'm transferring my shares to Aidan. And before you say anything, I've made up my mind. Crikey. You don't do things by halves. Well, it seems only fair. I mean, it's down to him. I've actually got a future. What if he refuses? <laughs> Since when have you ever known me to take no for an answer? <laughs> Any word? You want to delay our move to Spain for three months? But I know I've bought flights. I know. I've even bought a trikini. The situation's changed, love. In what way? Well, Roy's mum's had an accident, and it's more than likely that we'll have to look after Carla until she's back on her feet again. What, and that's going to take three months? No. Then what? I've also agreed to pick up some slack at the factory. That is crazy. What am I to avoid in stress? Well, it's just to take the pressure off Aiden until he settles back in. Yeah, but I thought Carla would take over him and she practically owns the place. Not anymore. She decided to give all her shares to Aiden. You mean sell? I mean give. Look, I know it's not ideal, but I just need to be there for my family right now. Of course. I'd expect nothing less from the man I love. I love a queen. Two. Come on. <sighs> it's like taking candy from a baby, this. Mm. So, what's the first thing you're going to do, then, when you escape from this place? I don't know. I've not really given it much thought. Hmm. Three. Unbelievable. It's just not your day, is it? Mm-mm. No. You must be looking forward to getting the factory back up and running, though, aren't you? 
in our cell for not taking half an hour to reach the toilet. <laughs> oh, come on. We both know you must miss wheeling and dealing. It sounds like you are as well. Me? Mm. Uh, no. That must be your kidney talking. <laughs> you seem to forget we've got a special connection now. It's almost psychic. Oh, so that must be how I know that you're cheating then. Beg your pardon? Because you've already shown me the Queen of Hearts. Pretty sharp, sure, little brother, pretty sharp. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here he is, hero of the hour. Hey, all right, our kidney. <laughs> oh, stop it, Miss Stitches up. Oh, hey, come on, sit down, both of you. Uh, we'll look after you. Uh, Jenny, could you get us a couple of cushions, love? Yeah, yeah, coming up. So, uh, how are you? Ah, you know, knackered, but uh, alive. <laughs> hey, I am. Um, I heard you had to postpone your, your move because of this. I'm really sorry. Hey, you're much more important than some villa in Spain. Isn't she, love? Yeah, of course. Now, do you want a drink or anything? Oh, I'd love a brew, Dad. Carla? Oh, yeah, same if it's no trouble. Don't be daft. Uh, Jenny, would you mind? Yeah, no, I'll put the kettle on. <sighs> Now. <laughs> 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 Don't make him laugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, Don't make him laugh. Are you sure you want to like another sandwich? What? Are you like one of those feeders? If I eat anything else, I'll burst. Hayden? Oh, no, no. Michelle? Oh, no time. I'm going to go soon anyway. Are you sure this is what you want? Yeah, he saved my life. I know. And I'm proud of him. But once you've signed your shares over, there's no going back. That's the whole point. I don't want to go back. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, just boring factory talk. <sighs> See? I'm even boring, Aiden. <laughs> oh, I'm just tired. But I think I'm going to go and have a lie down, if that's all right with everyone. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'll show you where you're sleeping. Yeah. When I sleep, cos... <laughs> hey, Kate, who was that, um, who was that auntie of your dad's? You know, dead tall and thin. Oh, you mean Bridie? That's her. That's her. Do you remember? Every time she visited, she'd bring loads of cakes and then practically falls feed you with them. Yeah, the next time she came, she'd poke you as you were putting on weight. <laughs> yeah, I remember her totally. She never actually ate anything herself, though, did she? <laughs> Always had a drink on the go. <laughs> she used to have one of those hip flasks. Perhaps that's where you get it from. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I've just remembered I need something from the shop, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Just be long dead here now. Oh. Oh, Bridie, no, she's still alive. You're kidding me. Right, that is it. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting myself in the flask. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when you invited me in for a brew... Oh, beer is brewed. Unless you want a tea. No. Well, this is a much better idea. Besides, you'll tell me what's on your mind a lot faster with a can of excellent inside you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you know, I've no reason to complain. I've, I've never been up here. But... Even though I'm Johnny's wife, I just... I still feel like there's stuff going on that I'm not party to. You know, it's like they're all whispering in corners. I feel like an outsider. We've only been married a few months and there's already secrets. You know what? I bet it'd be gutted to know you feel like this. I'm sure he doesn't mean to have secrets. You know, but he's got history with his kids. You're just gonna have to try and barge yourself to the front. You married a Connor. I know this is nothing compared to what you've gone through. Whoa, if you're referring to the latest chapter in my disastrous love life. The one door closes. Yeah, well, I'm locking this one. Then you're right about Johnny and his family. I think I just underestimated how low down the pecking order I'd be. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad. Watch up. Of course I'm not annoyed with you. I just thought you wanted to go out. How's about a swift one in the Rovers and then back to mine? Best of both worlds. Unless you need me. Uh, no, uh, I'll look after the patients, don't worry. I could do the drink. Well, wait ten minutes. You can have some lovely kale juice. Oh, water's good. It's a very stingy thing to juice, is kale. It's not like apples and celery. I mean, I've done a massive bag and you just get, like, a titchy bit in the glass. Can I just have a brew? No! From now on, my family's health comes first. Before I lie down. Seriously? Well, it's all right for you. You've got a new kidney. I'm down one. I don't know where Jenny's got to. She said she was just nipping to the shops. 
Well, she's taking her time. Do you want to know what the truth is? I'm jealous. Jealous? Of how he is with his kids. And I know what you're gonna say. Every parent puts their kid first. They do. I was the same. But the difference is, these kids aren't even kids. They should have flown the nest by now. I mean, I know Carla was never in the nest, but he's worse with her than he is with the other two. And you know, the one consolation of not having any more kids of my own is that I could meet somebody who's in the same place. He wants the same things. I mean, how are we ever going to get our dream home in Spain? He can't even walk to the corner shop without one of them getting twitchy. And she... Sorry, did you want to say something? No, no, you carry on. It's terrible what they're going through. It is, I know that. And of course, he has to be there for them. But he has to be there for me too. And I'm just not sure there's enough of him to go around. Is there enough for you to go around? That's what matters. Well, yes. I think so. Well, you've got to hang in there, haven't you? And then he can make it up to you when you're finally on that beach in Spain. Here he is, Rip Van Winkle. Mm. What's going on? Ah, just talking shop. Yeah? Ah, nothing for you to worry about. You concentrate on getting strong again. Mm -hmm. Juice. Ah. I love. You okay? Yeah, sorry I'm late. I, um, I had a beer with Kevin. Oh, lucky for some. Oh, he's a good listener, is Kev. And he talks a lot of sense. So, can I give you a hand with whatever it is you're doing? I'm scrubbing out the juicer. My favourite pastime. <laughs> mm. Another three weeks. Well, maybe two if they get a move on. Mm. Oh, though Pat's for hanging sick today. Yeah. Hey, how's it feeling? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is he behaving himself? Oh, he's having a whale of a time. <laughs> Listen, I've got a shoot, you've got to make me shout. Mm. OK, take it easy, remember? You too. Getting shot? Yeah, ladders and all. How come? Well, I've realised there's more to life than cleaning windows. And what if there isn't? Then I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Look, we, we could use it. Is uh, 1100 Owen and Wilf? 1200 it is. Sounds. Okay, I'll pop around later and I'll write you a check. <laughs> Mind what you're doing, Sophie. It's brave having a change of direction. Yeah, well, I couldn't be a window cleaner forever, could I? I mean, it's embarrassing for a start when you're talking to your mates or someone says, oh, what do you do for a living? Mm. You know, I thought it might have been quite hip these days. You know, lumberjack, window cleaner. I thought those jobs are all the rage. No, I want a fresh start. Well, <clears throat> I'm jealous. You know, everything that I've done has just been so, I don't know, local, like shop girl, window cleaner. You know, it sounds bad, but I just don't want to end up like my mum and dad. <laughs> None of us want to do that. <laughs> Uh, look, um, I know it's awkward, but I'm sorry about my sister. Oh, listen, that's not your fault. Although maybe that's part of the problem. You know, I saw myself through her eyes and thought, what would I even see in me? Yeah, I always think that. Yeah, it's a bit depressing. <laughs> look, can I uh, make you a cup of tea? With what? Well, uh, I don't know where the cups are. I mean, I might have to pop out for some milk, though. I mean, I only got back here yesterday. Been recuperating at my dad's. I'll tell you what, I'll drink it black. See? The new you. <laughs> I actually did pretty well in school. I think I surprised them all. But instead of going off to do my A-levels, I went and got married. Kate said. <laughs> I fall in love all the time. It's like I'm destined to be a 16-year-old forever. That never changes, believe me. I'm, um, I'm sorry to unload on to you like this. I, I, I don't mind. Um, you probably shouldn't mention anything to Kate. Of course not. Thanks for the tea. Hey. Yeah, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, yeah? OK, there you go. Any problems? You know where I am. The amount you charge would be floating on a yacht in the Bahamas here. Well, now that doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Of course, I'd need paying first. Ah, don't worry. I'll transfer the rest of the money tonight. Sooner the better. Well, you must have a lot on your plate in a while, so good luck. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong. We could be up and running in about two or three weeks' time. We can't wait that long. We've got jobs lined up already. 
It's an alloy of the machines. You sort out the machine. It's... I've already put an ad in the cabin. We'll talk to the girls. See who's willing to come back. Look, it might be easy coming from you. I mean, I'm not their biggest fan, am I? Aidan, they might not want your autograph, but they will want the jobs back. And as fence mending goes, that's not a bad start, is it? Right, come on, let's get cracking. OK. A new scientist. A bit advanced, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, I don't get all of it, but it's quite interesting. Yeah. Can anyone apply? You can do better. Do you not want to go to uni? Well, I want to do astronomy. Wow. Brian Cox, look out. <laughs> Yeah, but that won't help Billy now. If I could earn some money while he's still recovering. Listen, I'm sure you'd make a brilliant machinist, but that'd be a waste. But the best way to help Billy is by hitting the books, going to uni, and becoming that astrologer. Astronomer. Astronomer, right. Look, what I'm saying is, follow your dreams, Summer. Make Billy proud. Hey, how's the world of stargazing? Oh, it's good, actually. <laughs> I spoke to the girls. Oh, and? It's a no for Eva, obviously. But the rest are up for it, for Sean. Why, what happened? Did he get a better offer? Uh, apparently. He's got a job as a receptionist at some social media startup in town. <laughs> I love that, talking for a living. Mm -hmm. So were the others suitably grateful? More than I deserved. Give over, you're the comeback kid, aren't you? Hero of the hour. Plus, you did save my life. That's not a bad month's work, is it? Mm. Imagine letting someone have one of your kidneys. It's amazing. Yeah, totally. And you know he's reopening the factory. He said I'd make a good businesswoman. Get out of here. No, really, he said that. Really? Really. Hey, good timing. You're up early. You wet the bed. <laughs> No, I just have to work. I'll get in early. Uh, get a few things done for my dad, guess. Oh, Tanner says he's there already. Oh, it won't surprise me. Well, you won't have to put up with that for much longer, will you? Guess not. Hey, guys. Hey. Right, you've got everything you need for school. Coffees, gentlemen. Oh, cheers, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, I say, it's looking very nice in here, isn't it? Must be exciting now everything's almost up and running. Yeah, tell me about it. He can barely contain himself. I am excited. I'm just busy. So, what can we do for you? I just thought I'd pop in, see how everything's going on. Getting there, just about. Oh, good. So does that mean you're free to look at villas? Oh, Carl, love, not today. We're getting some new machines delivered. I need to be here. Well, Carl, he didn't do that. He's busy chasing up some new contracts for us, aren't you? Yes. I haven't forgotten. You'd never think he was just helping out temporarily, would you? No, you wouldn't. Uh, you missed me. Is there not something more productive you could do with your time? <laughs> Maybe. But it wouldn't be as much fun as standing here winding you up. Hey, afternoon all. Someone is in a good mood? No, hardly. I just, uh, just nice to get out of the pub for half an hour, to be honest. Mm, why? Trouble in paradise? No, there's a few things going on, but I won't bore you with it. And on top of that, Toy is talking about making the place more family-friendly, you know, concentrating on the meals side of things. When will this be occurring? Well, soon, I think, really. Well, did it not cross your mind that this change you're talking about could have an adverse effect on my livelihood? Well, to be honest, it's more Toya's idea than mine. I just do what I'm told. Unlike your son, unfortunately. All right, easy, Roy. That's a bit below the belt. Is it? What was all that about? Oh, it's nothing. No, no, no. If Simon's upset, Look, boy, I'd just leave it, please. It's, it's complicated, OK? No, it's not OK. What's that about? All right, I'll tell you, but not here. Well, come on, then. Hey, I'm just thinking about you. Ah, nothing good, I hope. Have you got a minute? Uh, I've just got to grab a sandwich, then I've got to get back to the factory. Can it wait? Yeah, sure. Mm. Oh, great, thanks. Come on, then, Spill. And I mean the beans, not the coffee. <sighs> All right, um... You know how Audrey got mugged by that gang of lads? Mm. What about it? Well, Simon was one of them. Hey? What? 
I knew something was going on, but I wasn't expecting that. No, oh, me neither. Does Audrey know he was involved? Yeah, we made him go to the hospital and apologise to her. She said, luckily, she's not going to go to the police. Well, I don't know, saying that, you know, part of me thinks, well, maybe we should give him a shock. Made him realise how serious this is. Anyway, that's... That's what Roy was talking about earlier. Hmm. Listen, I, I know you must be worried, but... You know what? It just sounds like he's... He's got in with the wrong bunch of kids. I mean, it's not like he's ever been violent or anything before, is it? That's just it, though, Carla, he has. I mean, admittedly, it was a while ago, but he lashed out at Leanne. Hurt her. He hit her? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I should have seen this coming. I mean, he's been acting up for a while. You know, he's been nicking booze from the pub and conning people out of money. Mm, yeah, we tried that with me. <sighs> OK. But, you know, Pee-wee is not a little kid anymore. You can't blame yourself. Oh, I'm not sure about that. With everything that's been going on, I've not been there for him. But then again, what's new, eh? Are you getting all glammed up for? Oh, well, the chance would be a fine thing. I'm just getting myself ready to go up to the hospital to see Audrey. Oh, I'll give her my best. I will, love. So, any more news? About what? Spain, what else? Oh, well, I have seen the most beautiful villa, which I have completely fallen in love with. And has Johnny? Oh, well, he hasn't seen it yet. He's been too busy with Aidan and the factory to spend any time thinking about the rest of our lives together. He's probably making sure everything's up and running before you go. Or he's having second thoughts. You know, maybe I should just stick a deposit down on it without telling him, make his mind up. Not a good idea. You know, this isn't a pair of shoes you've seen and fallen in love with. This is your future. And John is as well. Talk to him. When he sees how enthusiastic you are about it, you'll be on that plane before you know it. Vegetarian sausages. What's going to eat then? Well, vegetarians, obviously, like me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that vegetarian sausages and butternut squash and sage risotto on the menu is a bad idea. Just not a good one. Not for a place like this. Look, people's tastes are changing, Liz, and we are going to change with them. Oh, you took your time. Where have you been? Yeah, I just thought I'd have a bite to eat the calf. Did Roy say how old you was doing? I, I didn't get a chance to ask him, to be honest, love. Hey, Lee, you OK? No, Si's not back from school yet and he's not answering his phone. Well, maybe he's just missed his bus. So why is he not rank like he normally does? Town, why? I think you should go on. Not your mum's side. That's yeah, not bad, eh? No, I'm not his mum. I just don't think he should be hanging around with a bunch of wasters like you. What did you just say? Do you honestly think I'm scared of you? Well, maybe you should be. Nice watch, that. Can I have it? <laughs> Someone got out the wrong side of the cage this morning. All right, come on, let's get you back. Wimp. <laughs> Oi, fancy. It's bad enough we've got gangs of yobs wandering the streets without you turning into one. They're not a gang. Why did you have to start winding them up? Because I wasn't impressed, Simon. Or scared. Why, do you think I ought to have been? Oh, but. You've only been out of hospital a couple of weeks. You should be careful how you go. You see? There's a Simon I know and love. <sighs> What's up, eh, Si? Come on, you've gone from being one of the funniest ten-year-olds I've ever met to right gobby so-and-so. Look, I get enough aggro as it is from my actual family. And it's bad enough that my dad's girlfriend's come and go through a revolving door. You're nothing to me. Fair enough. You know, I, 
I have heard the police have got this zero tolerance on gangs now. You know, they want them off the street. I might just call them. Don't. The reason I go out with my mates all the time is because I hate being at home. It can't be that bad. They're all baby mad. First mum mad Ollie. Now my dad and Toy have got a bun in the oven. Granted, it's someone else's oven. <laughs> They're just obsessed. They put me way down the list of priorities. Now, come on, I know that's not true. I know that Peter really cares about you. What right has he got to go heavy on me? <laughs> like he's a doing parent. How you doing at school? Fine. Please tell me you're not bunking off school. Oh, Simon, you're too bright. And you told me you used to go around selling fake handbags when you were my age. Yeah, well, the... The school couldn't wait to see the back of me. OK, it's a deal. If you promise to stop hanging around with that gang of cretins... Deal. I told you, they're not a gang. They're just mates who like the same computer games and that. Yeah, computer games. I hate computers. I hate them. They're going to take over the world. They are. Aiden's sent me this new... Invoice set up and I can't even open it. Is that on your laptop? Yes. Let me to have a look. Yeah, would you? Hmm? That'll save me having to admit how inept I am. Is that it? Invoice fix? Mm. Oh, okay. It looks like a generic package. You've not even made for the business? No, I don't think so. Oh. And there must be some sort of tutorial around here. There you go. You're really good at this, aren't you? If he'd ever hire you for 30, you will mentally I'm a lot older and he gets that. He didn't give you a job though. No, but he's selling yeah. Dustin for bigger things. Eva! Yeah? What are you playing at? Does Aiden have a new girlfriend? Just ask him for a friend. I've got no idea. It's been out to do with me. So you've heard of Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. Meet Simon Barlow. And when he becomes a gazillionaire, remember, I gave him his first job. By job, you mean work experience. He's still at school. Yeah, and I know that, and he'll have to keep going to school, otherwise the deal's off. But he could work evenings, weekends. Doing what? You can't have kids scuttling under machines anymore. Look, if I'm treading on anyone's toes, then uh, tell me, I'll just I'll go home. Oh, of course you're not. I want to work for you. No offence, I. But why exactly does she want you to work for her? Because he's a techno genius. He's 14. Yes, he's bright, but he needs challenging. This is all very noble. Well, I I'd like him to know that I'm here if he needs me, you know? Listen, it was just a thought. Uh, no, I'm, I'm a great one. I, it'll be a lot better than I ever was in the factory. Yes, and I'll pay him. Well, if it's money he needs, why don't you just work here? Look, no offence, Leanne, but I think getting out from under your feet is part of the appeal. And also, it would prove a healthy distraction from other things, Lee. All right, fine, we'll give it a go, thank you. You're welcome. Glad I've help. <clears throat> it's just a nightmare. We just clash over the slightest little thing. So I'm nice to him, and then he just ignores me. Maybe I should just face it, I'm a lousy mum. No, you're not. Maybe she is. Well, hopefully, she'll do a better job with Oliver than she did with crazy Simon, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Do you know what? You are a nasty piece of work. No, babe. I just tell it how it is. Like I did earlier, when you were trying to cause trouble between me and Steve. And like I did the other day, when I was telling you some home truths about the golden boy. Do you know what, Tracy? That's both my kids you've insulted now. Oh, well, you know something, Leanne? Sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah, you know what else hurts? What? A slap in the face. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, what the hell walk. is going on? Fighting. Right, you are barred from seeing my son and you are barred from this pub. It's not your pub, darling, it's this pub. Oh, great, thanks. Thanks for your support, both of you. You just sitting there, thanks a lot. I think it's high enough. 
I think it's too bad. Hey, look, don't your head. Maybe it should be further over that way. Well, clearly not. What do you think, Eva? Sorry? Oh, no use asking her to pitch in. You know how useless she is when it comes to helping her family. Oh, can we not get into all that again? Hey, careful. Looks a bit wonky, that. Don't you start. Look, in case you all hadn't noticed, we're a family-friendly pub now, so can we start by being a bit more of a friendly family? Please. Yeah, we'll tell that to her. She's only thinks she's Tyson Fury kicking off at Tracy. Don't oh, speak to Gemma, me like that. Uh, I take it we can count on your support this afternoon? Uh, no offence, right, but it looks dead boring. Ah, but you didn't know about our special promotion. Hey, what special promotion's that? Well, I thought it'd be a good idea to offer everyone who brings a kid a free half. Oh, well, sick. Now we just need to find someone's kid to nick. Why do I get the feeling she's not joking? Still too high, that. Oh, what are you doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I, uh, I just feel bad about, um, you know, Leanne not sticking up for her against Tracy. Well, what were you supposed to do? I mean, you could hardly wade in there, fists flying, could you? You're seven months pregnant. Oh, I get it. Half an hour before the launch, I have to do all the graft while you two play Jenga. Uh, operation, actually. No way. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hey, I used to play this when I was a kid. Where'd you get it? Oh, just a local charity shop. I also got high face. All <laughs> right, come on. Now you're talking. Come on, let's set it up. I'll give you paste. Uh, what about the launch? Oh, We've got ages, come on. I'm just going to get something to settle my tummy. Yeah. Oh, oh, we need some whipped cream or something. Have we got any left over from last night? Yeah. <laughs> so what's all this about an urgent board meeting? I was looking forward to a few hours' peace up at the allotment. <laughs> yeah, well, Roy's past him. He's going to have to wait. I need you to back me up when I tell Aidan that Ali is not up to the job. I'm not doing that. Who's going to be there for him when I clear off to Spain? Especially if you're handing the business over to him. He can't run the place single-handed. You all right? You'll start without me, I hope. Ah, of course not. We were just discussing uh, current staffing issues, weren't we? Really? What sort of staffing issues? Carla was just questioning whether Ali has got the right credentials to be your number two. I see. I'm only putting this out there because I want what's best for you. And you don't think I'm the right judge for that? Like, why are you even getting involved in all this? You were a sleeping partner last time I checked. Yeah, I know that. It's just that I think that you need someone that has more management experience supporting you. Well, I have. And she's already doing the job, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, well, I think you can do better. What I say All right, all right. Let's not fight about it, children. How about we give it another month or two, see how it goes? Sounds good to me. OK, fine. I doubt even she could bankrupt us in that time. Are you two going to be like this when I'm not here? Well, it depends whether she does what I say. Right, that's it. I'm nabbing your plane ticket and you're staying here with him. <laughs> All right, love, come in. Hi, Todd. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't realise you were in the middle of summer. You're fine. You can save me from refereeing these two. Well, can you check the belt? Those payments are gone through, yeah? I will. Now get gone, the pair of you. Oh, he's all yours. <laughs> oh, silence at last. I thought you were supposed to be winding down. Seems to be getting busier. Didn't have much choice, did I? Couldn't turn me back on the factory while those two were recovering from their operations. So that's all it is. What's that mean? No, I just... I saw Jenny earlier and she seemed in a bit of a tizzy. Ugh, when isn't she in a tizzy? Well, that's not right. A lot of money's been transferred to some account in Spain. Ah. Oh, don't say my card's been cloned. I'm gonna have to get onto the bank. Actually, I don't think you need to bother. Why not? Do you know something about this? You can't tell Jenny I've said anything. Why? What's she done now? <sighs> well, we're not exactly run off our feet, are we? Give it time. Look, why don't you go and, you know, be friendly? Okay. 
No sign of Eva, of course. Oh, will you stop laying into her? She feels bad enough as it is. Yeah, well, so she should, Judas. Oh, hiya. You made it then. Yep. You said a free half with every kid? Yeah, absolutely. This is Brandon. Brandon, hi. Um, do you mind me asking how old you are? It's 12. Oh, come off it. He's got stubble. Well, he's an early developer, same as I was. Well, you had stubble and all. Can Brandon not speak for himself? No, we can't. He's um, got this, like, speech thing. Don't like to talk about it. He couldn't, even if he wanted to. Well, I mean, he's 16 if he's a day. Even if he was, which he isn't, it still don't make him an adult, does it? So you owe me a free half. Oh, I don't believe this. It's fine. Let's just keep everyone happy, yeah? Uh, if she's having one for him, we want another. Just hang on. Hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're not off somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm just nipping to the post office to pick up a parcel. Oh, yeah, of course you are. You just want to wriggle out of helping. It's got nothing to do with that. Are you OK? Yeah, of course she is. She's just being lazy. Look, nobody likes being overrun by screaming rugrats, but we've all got to pull our weight. Yeah, well, um, Simon's here now, so he can take my place. Be fine. Right, an appetite on him for a 12-year-old. Oh, right, so now you're body shaming him cos he's tall. What? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. Can we go home now? All these toys are old. Oh, you can't go yet. Have another game of pie, please. Yeah, go on. I know his face. I'd like to shove a pie in. Well, come on, then. No-one's stopping you. Girls, please, it's supposed to be a family fun day. There's kids here. <laughs> if he's a child, I'm Shirley Temple. Look, this is just a waste of time. Nobody's spending any money. They're just out for what they can scrounge. Yeah, it's more like a morgue than a flipping family fun day. Hey, relax, will you? Things are looking up already. Great. Should know she'd be in here. Hi. Uh, make yourselves at home. There's plenty of free tables. I could go over there, sit with your girlfriend. Oh, here we go. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. Come on, you. Let's go for a kebab. I want to stay here if you paid me. Well, we sorted out the amount of freebies you've had. Maybe we should go on home. Yeah, you do that. Go on, leave Ruby with me, it's fine. Can we have your other half, then? Huh? You think I'd leave her? Will you stay your in? What are you talking about? Obviously, I had a skimful. You what? Hang about. How come they've got two halves each? All right, look, Kev, you can have two halves, OK? But can we just all please just try and get on? Um, I need to see the midwife, please. I phoned the maternity unit and they said to come straight in. It's my baby, I've not felt a move all day. OK, um, take a seat and I'll get someone to see you as quickly as I can. Can you hurry up, please? Newton and Ridley lot get here, won't you? And then what am I supposed to do? Just act like you're happy to be here. Mm. Yeah, I know it's a stretch, but you're an intelligent lad. I'm sure you can manage it. This was gonna be like from now on, annoying kids and miserable parents. Well, you've just described half the pubs in the country. That's progress, my friends. You Gary about is? No, I've not seen him. Must have stayed over at Sarah's, why? Nothing. Can I get a pint, please, Ty? Oh, yeah, cheers, me and all, please, very much. What? Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> nice to see you having a good time and you're over the whole cheating on your fiancé and wrecking your family thing. Why don't you keep your neb out, Izzy? This is nothing to do with you. Don't talk to her like that. Well, then why don't you tell her the whole story? I am fine just knowing about your sordid little bunk up time. Uh, keep your voice down in front of the kiddies. Yeah, I'm sick of you parading around like you're the victim. Oh, I'm playing the victim, am I? So I'm just pretending about what you did to me and making it all up. Well, I'm not oh, the only one to blame you on this, am I? Oh, so you're um, the victim, oh, are you? Uh, oh, leave oh, the hair. Grow up, Fizz. You really want to do this here in front of everyone? I don't care. Oh. No, of course you don't. Well, I, I do. a lovely family friendly pub. Well, it was a bit awkward and sulky before, but now everyone's shouting. Yeah, well, to be fair, I suppose that's most families. So. All right, love, all this will do is monitor their baby's heartbeat. She's normally so active, feels like she's doing loop-the-loops. <laughs> Plenty since yesterday, I've just not... I'll try to relax. I know, easy for me to say. How long till we know she's OK? Just waiting for a heartbeat. Thank you so much. 
sounding very normal. You did the right thing coming in. Sounds like she's giving you the runaround. <laughs> yeah. Either that or a really rubbish game of hide and seek. <laughs> you, missus, are in a world of trouble when you get out. <laughs> Get that down, yeah. You see, whatever stupid way Jenny goes about it, it's because she wants you all to herself. That's it, though. I can't promise her that. However much I love her, my kids have to come first. That's what you sign up for when you become a parent, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you do, but you have to remember. It didn't quite work out for Jenny that way, did it? Oh, it's Eileen. Hello. Eileen. <laughs> How's the cop? Uh, you'll put that away once the Newton and Ridley lot get here, won't you? And then what am I supposed to do? Just act like you're happy to be here. Hmm. Yeah, I know it's a stretch, but you're an intelligent lad. I'm sure you can manage it. So what's going to be like from now on, annoying kids and miserable parents? Well, you've just described half the pubs in the country. That's progress, my friend. Who Gary about is? No, I've not seen him. Must have stayed over at Sarah's. Why? Nothing. Can I get a pint, please, Ty? Oh, yeah, cheers. Me and all, please, please, man. What? Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> nice to see you having a good time and you're over the whole cheating on your fiancé and wrecking your family thing. Why don't you keep your neb out, Izzy? This is nothing to do with you. Don't talk to her like that. Well, then why don't you tell her the whole story? I am fine just knowing about your so dear little bump up time. Uh, keep your voice down in front of the kiddies. Yeah, I'm sick of you parading around like you're the victim. Oh, I'm playing the victim, am I? So I'm just pretending about what you did to me. I'm making it all up. Well, I'm oh, not the only one to blame you all this, am I? Oh, so you're um, the victim, Oh, uh, Lee, oh, the hero. Grow up, Fizz. You really want to do this here for everyone? I don't everyone? care! Oh. No, of course you don't. Well, I do. That's a lovely family-friendly pub. Hey, well, it was a bit awkward and sulky before, but now everyone's shouting. Yeah, well, to be fair, I suppose that's most families. <laughs> All right, love, all this will do is monitor their baby's heartbeat. She's normally so active, feels like she's doing loop the loops. <laughs> then since yesterday, I've just not... I'll try to relax. I know, easy for me to say. How long till we know she's OK? Just waiting for a heartbeat. Sounding very normal. You did the right thing coming in. Sounds like she's giving you the runaround. <laughs> yeah. Either that or a really rubbish game of hide and seek. <laughs> you, missus, are in a world of trouble when you get out. <laughs> right, get that down, yeah. You see. Whatever stupid way Jenny goes about it, it's because she wants you all to herself. That's it, though. I can't promise her that. However much I love her, my kids have to come first. That's what you sign up for when you become a parent, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you do, but you have to remember, it didn't quite work out for Jenny that way, did it? Oh, it's Eileen. Hello. Eileen. <laughs> How's the cop? Thanks again. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Not at all. Like I said, you did the right thing. And please, don't hesitate from getting in touch if it happens again. Thank you. bloke was all right. Me and Ty are going to make a go of it. Won't happen again. Sorry. Kiss. Smiley face. Kiss. Oh, well, that makes it OK, then. Yeah, well, it, it, it never have worked anyway. Right, can I go upstairs now? Yeah, go on. Hey, listen, well done for doing what you did with your kids today. 
It's all right. Everybody hates it when the parents argue. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Si, why don't you go next door, see what Amy's up to, eh? Wait, I'm, I'm go out. I'm not grounded. As long as you're back by nine o'clock, you're out with Amy or somebody from school, not... No, it's all right. I don't hang with them anymore. Right. Go on, then. Jog on. Good lad. Hi, Si. Hey, Aiden. Say hello to Simon, our new intern. He's going to be doing some admin for us. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That sounded like you actually meant it. Good sucking up. Cheers. Look, how will I explain to Summer why he can have a job but she can't? Well, for a start, he can actually see over the desk because he's two years older. Anyway, that's not important. What's important is that Dave Sim loves us, you especially. You know the meeting I went to? Went well. Oh, right, yeah. That's good. Try to contain your excitement, why don't you? Catch you want another one? Uh, no, I'm fine. What is so interesting on that? It's a Miss Carla fever. Oh, OK, you can ring her back. Now, if it's important, she can call me back. Actually, I will have another. Yeah, only four and a half hours. I know, I'm sorry. Right, well, come on, collect some of these glasses, will you? Hiya. Hi. Did I get a missed call of you? Um, no, do you know I think it was? I think my phone was uh, connected and I've, I've just phoned you by accident. That's a butt dial. That's what they call it in America, butt dial. Yeah. Yeah, one of them. SOS. <sighs> no problems, I just started there. You know? So, it's official then. Henry's decided he's going to concentrate on country pubs. Well, kids in the country don't need to go to pubs. They've got the countryside. Oh, well, come on, Toy, if you ask me. I mean, it's for the best, isn't it? And kids are all right and everything, but uh, not when there's wine. <laughs> not when there's wine. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, listen, where did you sneak off to? Because it wasn't the post office. Um, I, I had a bit of a scare with this one. I couldn't feel her moving, but they've checked her heartbeat and she's fine. What, you went by yourself? Well, why didn't you say? Well, you had the launch. What? You know I would have dropped that like a shot. I know, I know you would. I just, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. You're sure that everything's okay? Yeah, she's fine. <sighs> Lee, you've seen me like that, have you? Oh, are you ever going to give up? Yeah, well, it's been a long day, hasn't it? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you the best thing to come out of today was Si. Wasn't he great with them kids? Yeah, yeah, he was. Let's hope we've got our good lad back, eh? Well, let's hope so. Mm. <laughs> that was ridiculous, but I got out wondering. You know, he, he was so strange when he was fitting our kitchen. Well, can we just change the subject? Yeah, but he was Luke's landlord, going to collect rent off Elio, having known he'd shot a boyfriend. That's twisted. Yeah, what about the factory roof? I mean, I finally got the place back open and now the old bill's all over it. I guess you're thinking. What? Well, roofs. Love spaces, you know, it's a great place to uh, hide stuff. You didn't have to come in, I would have covered. Don't be daft. All right, what's everybody saying? Wondering who the bodies are, if there's any more to come out, how much I knew. You. Nothing. She is as sick with shock as the rest of us are, okay? Yeah, of course. I guess you're going to say you know nothing as well. They don't. What? I just want to know what's happening. I mean, we're not going to get anything from the police. Hey, enough! Hiya, Nicola. I expect you want a chat. Yeah, if that's OK. Yeah, come through. So, uh, going for a new job then, Sophie? Finally. Yeah, uh, managing a new restaurant in town. Oh, very swanky. Yeah, I like the bit about you managing a uh, media personality across the uh, North South Atlantic. <laughs> Rosie? Yep, that's right. She's a superstar in her own filtered mind. <laughs> <sighs> Anyone got any miracle cures for a dodgy back? Sprain mine. Dr. Neeson says I can't box like this. I, uh, I'm gonna go out back and make a phone call, because otherwise I'm gonna bottle it. Good luck. What? I hate that. 
Yeah. What else can I do? Fair enough, but how did you expect her to react? What's this job? Well, I've told her so many times, she just needs to put herself out there. OMG. That is a Luca de Valentina. What, the celebrity chef? Well, how many other Luca de Valentinas do you know? Oh, I love him. Do you think he'd mind having a picture with me? Uh, you're not allowed. No selfies, remember? What a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I can't snap it. Oh, you'll thank me when you're in the bath. Imagine working with him. He is so hot. Wasted on my sister. Though Sophie's going to do great, though, isn't she? Yeah, she'll smash it, yeah. Restaurant manager, yeah. I'm telling you, this job's in the bag. Don't count on it. Well, if Sophie gets the job, she can introduce me to Luca. You know, I always took you more for a footballer's wife than a celeb chef. Uh, Aidan, I am a woman in my own right. But for the record, it goes footballer, celebrity chef, zookeeper. Oh, zookeeper? Yeah, I could have a little baby pet monkey. <laughs> well, let's hope Sophie aces this interview. Then you can get your second best choice of husband. Fingers crossed. Right, I'm off to get these knots sorted. Helena, my masseuse, is a genius. Toodles. See ya. Hey, you lose the bet. Uh, I am not taking a selfie. I'm using my phone as a mirror. I never. How did it go? Oh, really well. By the sounds of it. Yeah, I was uh, really nervous, but the guy was really, really nice. So. I've got a good feeling, fingers crossed. Well done, mate. Yeah, we've just been for some cocktails for that. Oh, my massage was a disaster. Helena was off sick. Apparently, her chakras were all out of place. So I had to have this man called Paul, and he had really bony fingers. Anyway, babe, I'm dead pleased for you. <sighs> Me too. Beefy. Yeah, you'll be working with uh, the likes of uh, Luca de Watts's face. Mm. You'll have to get some face to celebrate. Dev's just that pink one that I like. Oh, it's a restaurant. Well, that was quick. That's a good sign. Hello? Yeah, it is. I didn't expect you to ring so soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, now I understand. You've got to make a decision, haven't you? Yeah, if you could keep my CV for the future. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, well, don't worry. You know, there's always mucky windows that need cleaning, eh? Well, I still get that pink fizz. We can... What's the opposite? Celebrate. Commiserate. Yeah. Yeah, baby, we can do that. I'm so sorry. Maybe next time, eh? Oh, listen. Don't worry about it. It's probably going to be over my head anyway. Management job. Why do you do that? Hmm? You always put yourself down. I don't. You do. But, and it stops now. Look fine, it didn't go your way this time. But it will. I mean, is it right that you do Dev's books for the shop and the uh, kebab shop in there? Yeah, I mean, I'm a qualified accountant. Yeah, yeah, he said you're really good. But we're reopening the factory uh, pretty soon. So I was wondering, could you have a look at us? Like, give us an opinion. And I'll pay for your time and all that. Yeah, I can do it now if you want. Are you sure that it is? Um, what's this? Uh, that was weeks ago, and I never agreed to delete old selfies. And my eyebrows look so good in that one. You're crack. You underestimate the strength of my willpower. I once did a hundred crutches every day for a month. Abs of still. Rosa, you will crack. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, okay, thanks. Can I have a coffee, please? Yeah, coffee. It's nice to see you in demand. <laughs> and it's good that things are working out for you and Jude. You're both busy and you're so much better. Yeah. I mean, it's just nice to be treated as a professional. Mm. Well, work is very important to our sense of self-confidence. So you're right. <laughs> Although uh, I sense Jude's, well, I don't know, a bit reluctant to talk about his job. Oh, that might have been me. He was trying to tell me the mysteries of some deep sea creature thing, and I yawned. <laughs> and it wasn't because I was bored. I was just knackered. But he didn't take it very well. So. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, I have a confession. Really? I've signed up for a marine biology magazine oh. subscription. <laughs> so, to help me learn more about Jude's world. Oh. I can lend it to you when I finish with it, if you like. No, thank you. One marine biologist in the family is more than just. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, it's so sweet. All my followers are worried that something's happened to me because I've not posted. Ah, oh, the caring face of social media. <laughs> no, how did I miss that? What is it? Well, you know when I was using my phone yesterday to check my makeup? Rosie, I know that you were taking a selfie. You can't help yourself. Uh, that was an accident. Thank goodness she didn't see it. Oh, no, look! Well, that's the chef, Luca. The one who interviewed Sophie with the girl who was bragging about the job being in the bag. Snogging! So the reason Sophie didn't get the job is because that sleazeball gave it to his girlfriend. It's terrible. Well, you've got to tell Sophie. What, and lose the bet? And not wear makeup for a whole week? Right, well, I mean, I've only had a quick look, but everything looks in order. I'm impressed. I thought you'd come up with a load of stuff that needed changing. You know, that's a great way to create more work for yourself. Well, I figured if I work on the premise that I'm always honest, it will get me more work. I think it probably will. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to take this. OK, well, I'm available whenever you need me. Hi. Well, she might be taking yeah, yeah. a selfie now, but she'd be daft to post it where anyone could see it. No, you do not know oh, no, no. her, Rosa. Taking a selfie and not yeah, posting it's it is like a tree falling in the forest. Yeah, but you'd have to be a bit of an idiot. Oh! Would you look at that? Oh, no. Yes! I knew I was going to win. Do you know what? Scrap the orange juice, I'll have a G&T, please. <laughs> this is so unfair. Yes, well, a bet's a bet and it's for your own good. Is this everything? Yes! How about you and your handbag? No, Sophie, this is just for essentials. The bet was for you to give up makeup. You ain't gonna need essentials, come on. Sophie, this is literally torture for me. Well, I always knew I was gonna win. I just didn't think you would make it this easy. No, I only posted the selfie to cheer you up because you didn't get the job. What, so you lost the bet on purpose to cheer me up? No, have you even looked at the photo? Have you not seen what's in the background? Hiya. You sure it's okay? No, it's fine. You can help explain it to her. Explain what? Oh, I was feeling a bit bad for encouraging you to go for that interview when you didn't get it. Then I saw Rosie's selfie. See? In the background. <sighs> right? The chef that interviewed me, that Luca Di Valentino. Yeah, that's the sleaze who interviewed you, snogging the girl he gave the job to. That's why I posted it, to show you what a creep he is. Look, he didn't stand a chance. It was a stitch up. Right, well, I appreciate the good gesture, but you didn't take a picture of them. You took a picture of yourself and got them in the background. Well, yeah, but... So you still lost? Yes, but I did the right thing. Yes, but you still lost the bet, Rosie. So that's it. No makeup for a week. Now go upstairs and wash your pretty little face. You should make an official complaint. <sighs> what good is that going to do? Well, the bloke's a sleazeball. Exactly, so why would I want to work for him? And plus, I've just booked myself a nice little holiday to see my granddad Bill in Germany. That sounds good, but don't let this knock your confidence. Uh, we're tough as Webster's. Have you not met my mum? Yeah. And Rosie, actually. She can stick up for herself when she needs to. Well, she's been up there a while. She'll be up there all week now. She can't wear makeup. Are you sure you're not being a bit too hard on her? Mm. Mm. Oh. Don't look at me. I just need canal tea. It's of stress. Are you eyeliner on? No, I'm completely naked. Feels totally weird. Come on, then, let me have a look at you. No! Get off me! Oh, oh no. It's my old agent. I can't answer looking like this. Rosa, it's a phone call. She can't see you. Yeah, good point. Oh, hi, Annabelle. Oh, no, sorry. I was just trying a new highlighter with a rosy blush. What can I do for you? <gasps> You'll never guess what. Try me. Right, so my recent absence from social media has created a firestorm of interest. I've gained more followers by not posting, and a leading cosmetics company wants me to promote their products online. Oh, that's such a shame. Have you not told them that you've lost the bet? You can't wear makeup. Oh, no, Sophie, please, I am begging you. Go on, then, beg. Uh, that's begging. Let me see your face properly, though, and then I will. I'll lift the ban. Oh, Sophie, please, anything but that. Come on. See? You look gorgeous. Right! Delete it! Delete it now! I will make you a new deal. I get to keep this on my phone, and you can get your makeup back. Right, Sophie, because you're a Christian, I trust you never to show that to anyone. And you must never tell anyone that you saw me naked. I promise. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> what am I, six? Oh, come on, blow it out. Blow! <laughs> yeah, or we'll give you bumps on. They will. Still got a bit of a bad one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go on, Mark. Hey! hey. 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 hey.
can open your presents. How come Carla could make it? Uh, it's got a meeting. <laughs> Manicure. Exactly what I said. No, it's true. Lexi Holland. She used to put a fair bit of business our way. I, I should be there, really. But you should be here, opening your presents and eating your brekkie. How many times, my love? It's 11 o'clock. It's brunch. <laughs> This has been out of stock for weeks. I don't even know the right people. Mm. Well, do you know what? I wear it tonight. I'm meeting the lads hey. over at Spurfield. Hey. Oh, no, you know those lads take a rain check. Hey. <clears throat> you remember when they said Lexi Holland was on maternity? Mm. Not a breakdown. <coughs> Facelift. No. <laughs> Guardian leave. So she's setting up on her own. And guess when the golden handcuffs come off? End of the month. Uh, End of the week. Uh, midnight. <coughs> she's willing to order. Yes, so long as we can start a production tomorrow. <sighs> No flexibility. Don't eat it. Cos, you're a star and uh, the rebranding's wicked. Well, hang on a minute. No, it's your birthday. What's ten minutes? So much for Carla being a sleeping partner. So what units are we talking about? Could we manage on a skeleton stuff? No, full production. She was dead clear on that. Where are we at? Looks like the band's back together. Mm. Let's hope so, love. Let's hope so. The guy's name's Leo Cartwright. He's a top lad. Like, there should be eight rolls of satin mix and another three balls of lace. Roll calls. Mr C, it's good to be back in the saddle. Hey, and don't be fretting about Tracy. You saw how good she was to lose me. Did I? Oh, fuming. But I said to a Trace, that factory's a dust bowl. They need a trooper who's going to roll the sleeves up. Besides, a full-time job's a full-time job. I mean, flowers are great and everything, but fashion's where my heart is. You've only got to look at her to know that. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I saw that look and I know you're up to your eyes, but I just wanted to give you this. Hey. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's always time to open a present off you. Let's have a little look what we've got here. Ah. Socks. Yeah, because you can never find a pair that match. Well, they'll be easy to find from outer space. You're genius. I'll wear them tonight. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Next time you're schmoozing a new client, I expect to see you wearing them. <laughs> She's quite the fan, isn't she? Eileen's sick of the sound of your name. Uh, sweet kid. You know, she's had it tough enough without all this feeling business on top. I'm treading carefully. In your new socks? Yeah. Good to see the old place coming back to life again. Oh, I've had a shot in the arm. No big order, on one condition that we start tomorrow. Now you gotta grab who you can. Panic stations, just how you like it. Well, Carter's played a blinder. They make a good team. Hope it all works out. Sorry. Hey, the Connor. Hi, Lexi. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, how are you? Mmm, <laughs> 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 enjoy this. The time tomorrow will be back to being a pigsty again. Don't rain on his parade, why don't you? <laughs> right, we need a toast. We need your champagne. Aiden, scoot over to Deb's for us. You never let her talk to you like that. Oh? It's Carla's money, Carla's contacts. I know exactly where I stand. Oh, I should have a good night, eh? All for one, one for all. <laughs> <laughs> right, in here, out there. Where are we having it? You're the boss? Yeah. Yay. Here, give me that. You didn't think I forgot your birthday, uh, did you? Okay. <laughs> you have to get some proper glasses, you know, if you're the boss. Yep. <laughs> He's literally lost for words. Look. <laughs> First time in his life. A hundred percent. The whole business. You gave me a whole kidney. Fair swap. <laughs> so, everybody, meet the new boss of Underworld. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I literally wouldn't be here without you. Oh. Thank you. I'll get that down here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Bless you. Thank you. Love you more. Yeah. Hey. What you can't do, this Carlo is far too generous. Aiden, I always knew I was going to give you control of the place. I've had a right blast getting it back up and running again. But you know, I, I want to do something else now. I am the past. You are the future. One hundred percent of the business, eh? Do you know, Carla, if you need another kidney, do remember to ask me. Because if that's what you guys are, thank you. You can help me up right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm only saying what you're all thinking. Speak for yourself. Hey, you all right, love? Oh, I like your booze, Mish. <laughs> What's up? Have you not heard? No, what? Uh, I need a drink. Uh, whiskey, thanks, Tony, for sure. Yeah, red wine, tar. Yeah, of course. Are you scaring me now? What's happened? 
Haven't you just been to the box? Mm, well, he has. Um, David lost it, apparently. Battered Gary Windass, left him half dead. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah, I thought we'd get out of the way. It's, uh, it's not looking good. Oh, God, poor Gary. Hey, <laughs> look at him. They do, right? What does he look like a man who's just got everything he's ever wanted? Well, I think he's just overwhelmed, love. Yeah, maybe. Is it? Yes, I just used the plunger. So, any big plans when you go over to Underworld? Well, Carla's got the place up and running on nicely again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're not exactly been sat on your backside. Maybe one plan, no office romances. Oh. <laughs> so, where uh, Carla's gifted aid in the factory. Really? Yeah, he's a man of means. He's a mean machine. She's been brilliant, hasn't she? Yeah, she's gone above and beyond. Mm -hmm. I just have to keep doing what she's been doing. It's very generous of you, Carla. Eh? I'm just saying it's very generous of you. Oh, well, you know, give, 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 that's my motto. Yeah, but still, it's all right. I wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for you. Congratulations, Aidan. I'm really pleased with you. You don't need your congratulations. All right, but drop it, Kate, yeah? That's all in the past. Now. And like Carla said, you've got a lot towards the future. Well, I'm just a walking, talking, inspirational meme, aren't I? Honestly, I'm really pleased with you. Ta. All right. Do you want a photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think? Busy tonight, isn't it? Mm. Waxing's losses, are gay. Yeah. yeah, I can't get my head around what's happened to Gary. Mm. Aiden's not drinking tonight because of his big opening tomorrow. Mm. So, what are you doing on your phone? You're sorting stuff out? Stuff? Yeah, you know, signing on the dotted line for that gorgeous little place in Lynn. You really need to chill out. Just because I've had one civil conversation with Aiden does not mean to say I'm going back on our deal. No, I didn't say that. I... Toya, I've made my mind up. So why don't you take the rest of the night off, get your crayons out and draw up some flaming trust? Uh, it's like in a Hollywood musical, when in the first ten minutes there's always a song about, I don't know, you never know what's around the corner and it could be amazing, and then, like, literally something amazing does happen. Well, that's how I feel tonight. Mm. You're not going to try and sing again, though, are you? Uh, are these dead? <laughs> no, they're an art installation. <laughs> well, you know, with the factory finally reopening tomorrow and, and your kids all... Settled again. Well, we'll be able to focus on our move to Spain. Guess you're right. Well, I am very rarely wrong. <laughs> Where's Aidan? I thought he was with you. Well, he's probably just bobbed home. Huh. Maybe he's gone back to the factory to survey his kingdom. Oh, oh. yeah, that'll be it. Make you any money. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Someone a kidney, they give you a factory. <laughs> Whatever happened to normal presents? Socks, a chocolate orange, a key ring. A key ring is a lousy present. Hmm. Then it hurts all the more that you bought one for me Christmas, <laughs> 1992. <laughs> First strings were tight, I guess. Is it too late to apologise? It's never too late to apologise. Well, then forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a shock, this. Yeah, it's a. Uh... It's a big responsibility. You've done it before. You can do it again. Without you at my side. It's your hard graft that got you where you are today. I'm proud of you, son. Look, I don't have to go to Spain, you know. Not immediately. Not if you want some help. I don't feel like I deserve it anyway. I mean, she only done it because I gave her a bit of my body. <laughs> she gave it to you because she believes in you. This is your big chance to turn your life around, make a future for yourself. You'll make a success of this place. Everyone else can see it. Why can't you? <laughs> you need to learn to enjoy the moment, savour the flavour, chill out, have some fun. I swear down, Dad. I won't let you or Carla down. Okay, 
Can I just get a plain omelet, please? Yep. Uh, just uh, orange juice for me, too. There you go. Thanks. Hey, uh, Eva's pulling a bit away, isn't she? Um, no, can't say I've noticed. Yeah, she has. Mind you, you know, I think she looks better for it. Mm. Anyway, right, I'm off to get seen yeah. a bit. Oh. Look, I know I upset you yesterday. Yeah. It's OK. Don't worry about it. Anyway, you'll be glad to know I've signed the lease for the cottage. Really? That's great. Well, not that I'm trying to get rid of you, but I don't think you're going to be able to hide it for much longer. Both Leanne and Peter have noticed that you're putting on weight. No, I know. I, I've just been putting it off. I'm just scared of being on my own, to be honest. Yeah, hey, you'll still have me. And we can text all the time. I'll find excuses to visit. We're in this together, remember? Talking of which, I saw an advert for another antenatal class. Um, it's this afternoon, what do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Make sure you're not late, you lot. Oh, we won't be. We want to be earning. Yeah, we've got overdraft and credit card bills to pay. Mm. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, this one, okay. Right, right, OK, then. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to keep this short, because we all need to get on. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for coming back. And also, well, let you all know that I'm going to be the sole boss from now on. Look, I know you were all hoping uh, that Carla would be running things. Mm. And I don't blame you. You know, it's because of me you all ended up losing your jobs. But I promise I won't let you down again. You know, I'm determined to put Underworld back on top. So, you would all just give me another chance. Well, I suppose it weren't really your fault. Not the first bloke to keep his brains in his trousers. So I'll take that as a yes, then. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Look, now, as you all know, we need to get this order out today. So as a little incentive, there'll be a 50 quid bonus for the worker who produces the most. <laughs> right, without further ado, on your marks, get set, go. Oh, something's wrong. You're not working. Caught with the kettle being off, too. Uh, Kirk, the lights are on. Oh, yeah? I bet it was flaming Eva. I bet she crept in here last night and did some at the evil cow. Don't be daft. It's like Mr Connor said, you know, it's probably just a fuse. Well, how come it's taking so long, then? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't bode well, does it? I think this factory's cursed. I know. <sighs> OK, I think I've sorted it. It was oh. best. Hey! Oh. Or rather, her machine. It's got some fault and it keeps tripping the electrics. Gonna have to use another one. Uh. Oh, I might have known it was uh, causing trouble as always. Wait, watch it, motor mouth. No, all right, all right. Let's not have a punch up on our first day. Keep your eyes on the prize, ladies. Fifty quid, remember. Oh. <sighs> right, we've lost an hour there, so I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to make that up at lunch. Oh. <sighs> After, Leanne will never believe that we went shopping and got nothing. Could force myself to buy a new top. <laughs> I've had everything to work to help for him. You still love him, don't you? Not this again. <laughs> Just admit it, it's obvious anyway. All right, yeah, I do. But it doesn't make any difference because he doesn't love me. He's not going to forgive me for what I've done to him and who can blame him? It's over. I don't change anything to you, OK? OK. Let's get to this flaming class. <sighs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. You have my word. But they'll be on time, okay? All right, thanks. Bye. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Okay, bye, bye. That was Sarah. <laughs> Gary's come round. He's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. oh, he won't be working for a while though, will he? No, money's gonna be tight, Sally. Surprise! Hello, oh. what are you doing here? Well, it's my day off, so I thought I'd pop in. Thought you'd be too posh to visit us. Now you've got your swanky new job. Always got time to visit mates. We're a bit up against it, actually. <laughs> I come bearing gifts. Edible ones. Oh, oh brilliant. Did you get a run? Oh, there is. Yeah, I've got your name. Oh, awesome. Sean, that's really nice, nice but... Oh, and I've got you a vanilla slice, because I know that you're favourite. Oh, really? Because I know that you're favourite. What's going on now? Sean's brought some cakes. Yeah, well, put them back. You can have them after when you've all finished. I've got you on and all. Look, it's very nice, but if you don't mind, you know... Oh, well, I, I, th I thought we could have a chat. But not right now, Sean. Maybe some other time. 
Take more than a few deep breaths to squeeze some at that size out from it this size. I'm telling you now, I am having every drug under the sun. You'll be fine. You're stronger than you think. Babe, I cry when I'm having my legs waxed. It's not like I've got a partner to help me through, is it? You got me. And I'll be there, I promise. I know. I'm sorry, just ignore me. Okay. Let's talk about after the birth now. Those first few moments when mother and baby meet. It's important to have skin-to-skin -skin contact as soon as you can, because that's partly how you and your baby will bond through touch and smell. And I just want to say to the blokes, this applies to you as well, a lot of men feel awkward about holding their baby and talking to her, but don't. You're just as much a part of that baby as mum. Get to know your baby. Bath her, sing to her, have a little cuddle. And you'll feel that bond grow too. Yeah, I know Shatters have a good reputation, but what price are they doing at? Well, we could do it for 10% less. You know, the quality is good for when you used us before. Great. Well, we won't let you down. Yeah, speak soon. Bye. Brilliant. Bob Maynard's back on the client list. Oh, fantastic, well done. <laughs> How's it going out there? Yeah, really well. This rate, they'll be finished early. How's things? Hey, uh, well, we've had a few hiccups, uh, but everything's back on track now, and the girls are working It was flat. just a general how's things. I wasn't checking up on you. I came to give you this. Ah. It goes in there. It's tradition. Thanks. Word of advice, though, only on a Friday, otherwise it's a slippery slope. <laughs> all right. See ya. Well, order sorted. Maynard back on the books and a bottle of whiskey thrown in. Yeah. Not a bad first day, is it? No. Well done, boss. <laughs> so. Hey, <laughs> thought I heard you come back. So. Where's all your bags? Leon said you went shopping. Oh, it was all too expensive. <laughs> really? Well, that's never stopped you before. Mm. Well, well, we weren't really in the mood. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're just, um, just tired, aren't we? Trudging around the shops. <laughs> right, then. I'd better get back to the lost and alone. <sighs> Sorry, that was my fault. I just wanted to get home. Oh, it's all right. I could see you weren't up to it. It was all that talk about dads, wasn't it? Go on, you can talk to me. I just can't stop thinking about Aiden. He's never going to be able to hold her. Or sing to her or do any of that stuff. And I just feel so guilty. Because I remember how excited he was when he thought he was going to be a dad. I just feel like I'm robbing him of that chance. Plus, you still love him. Yeah, well, that don't matter, does it? Because he hates me. <laughs> Except he might feel differently if he knew that you were carrying his child. You have to tell him. What? No. No. I'm not going back on my promise. Oh, if you're having any doubts at all, Eva, then we shouldn't be doing this. So I'm freeing you of your promise. The deal's off. I gave you my word. The situation's changed. Well, not for you, it's not. Look, our agreement was based on you being 100% certain, and that obviously isn't the case anymore. It doesn't matter how I feel about Aiden. We're over. And that might change if you tell him the truth. Or it might not. OK, let's just make this simple. Are you prepared to deny Aidan the chance to be a father? Yes or no? Answer the question, Evie, yes or no? No, but... OK, well, there is no but. If there's even the slightest chance of the pair of you making a go of it, then you've got to grab it. You're making it sound like a done deal. You know our history. If 
you don't at least try, you will regret it forever. This belongs to you. Toy. Take it. Um, oh, I didn't know you were on tonight. Well, I wasn't till Peter rang. You spoken to Peter? Yeah, about 20 minutes ago. Apparently they've got two drivers off six, so he asked me to come in here and cover. Toya, you OK? Yeah, fine. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Um, I'll see you out there. Right. No rush. Right. Oh, never win anything, mate. Oh, you deserved it, Evidence. Thank you. You could at least pretend to be tough for her. Why? Everyone knows she's got the best machine. Oh, a good workman never blames his two old. Oh, speaking of tools, look who it isn't. It's now bad time. You've got a nerve after the stunt you pulled. Look, for the last time, it wasn't sabotage. I just need five minutes, please. He won't give you the steam off his tea. Beth, that's enough. Yeah, I think we should just go. Yeah. Night, Mr. Connor. Uh, night, ladies, and uh, thank you again for all your effort. And don't turn your back on her for one second, boss. She loves me, really. Listen, I'm up to my neck. Uh, make it quick. <sighs> While I'm waiting. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Just let yourself out. Aidan, I'm pregnant. And it's yours. This was taken 13 weeks ago. Did you get it off the internet? I deserve that, but now I'm seven months gone. Seven months you don't look at? Take that as a compliment. And this isn't a trick. Not this time. I want this child to know its father. I want us to be a family. This baby deserves that chance. We deserve that chance. Why are you telling me this now? Because I realised I couldn't run away from it anymore. Well, better late than never, eh? I didn't know I was pregnant for the first 17 weeks, and when I found out, I just thought you'd reject me. Well, now suddenly you've come to your senses. There's nothing sudden about any of this. I thought... I thought that I could live a lie. I thought I'd found a way to move on from this, but... Over the past few months, I've... I've seen you become the man that I fell in love with. This baby needs you. I need you. Or maybe there's another reason. Maybe you've had a knockback. What do you mean, a knockback from who? Adam, you know? The other bloke you were sleeping with seven months ago. Are you OK? Why don't you take the rest of the night off? I can manage in here on my own. Speaking as a woman who has very little shame, that Eva takes the biscuits. Mmm, change the record, Auntie Beth. Evening, Liz. Can we have a bottle of your nicest white wine, please? You mm. certainly can. My please. treat, no argument. Oh, Tarthis. Sorry for being such a bad loser. And I'm sorry for being such an amazing machinist. Mmm, I'll give you that. So, what do you reckon Eva's game is? Oh, I don't know. But whatever she's selling, there's no way Aidan's buying it. I oh, see you say that, but love has a way of lingering around. Surely he can't be that dumb. He's a man. Of course he could. <sighs> Hiya. Hi, Hi, Sean. Oh, Liz, you better make that four glasses. Coming up. Actually, Liz, I uh, will take you up on that offer. OK. Has something happened? No, it's just one of those days. Please leave a 
a message. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hi, it's me. Um, please come home as soon as you can. Uh, it's about Jackie and the baby. Anyway, we need to talk. Let's just say for the sake of argument, I believe you're about Adam. I'm still confused by your timing. I told you I realised I couldn't live a lie. Yeah, but how come you made that decision today? I just think... Go into my antenatal class and... Seeing all those other parents... It just made me realise I couldn't go through with it. Couldn't go through with what? Bringing a baby into this world and denying it the chance to know the best father that it could wish for. Aiden. This baby is, is a second chance for us. Or a last chance for you to jump aboard the gravy train. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. I'm saying it's a bit coincidental that you happen to see the light on the very same day that I become the sole owner of this place. You think I'm trying to fleece you? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Aidan, you couldn't be any more wrong. Prove it. How? Have a DNA test. Well, I can't do that until after the baby's been born. Exactly. Bring me some evidence, then we can talk. But until then, I'm not interested. Off. What time is it? It doesn't matter. Right. Have you two spoken? Spoken? What? You and Peter? Uh, no, he had to work tonight. But um, I'm not avoiding it. If that's what you think, I promise as soon as he gets no, back. No, no, no. You'll say nothing. Nothing. I don't follow. The deal. He's back on. Morning. Sleep okay? Not really, no. Just can't stop thinking about Aiden. He says he doesn't want anything more to do with the baby. I'm convinced it's not his. Thought it was after the flaming factory. I'm so sorry. What did I expect? Him to throw his arms around me and tell me everything was going to be perfect. But you still love him? I mean, how are you going to bring yourself to give up his baby? Maybe you could look after her on your own. <clears throat> what are you doing? Bat out flaming out. Oh, it's me. I've lost my phone. He's just helping me look for it. Oh, do you want me to call you? Oh, no, love. He's tried all that. Right, look, it's not here. I don't know. Well, we should have another look upstairs. Come on, look, there's a fiver in it if you find it. Look at that. Like a trained monkey. Mm. Hey, that. Hey, come here, you. You snuck out of bed before I had a chance oh, to give you a cuddle. Hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> take it easy. You'll be making Eva bring up a breakfast. Don't mind me. Hmm. See you in a minute. Yeah. Where were we? I meant what I said yesterday. The plan's back on. You and Peter should have this baby. Yeah, but it's not that simple, though, is it? I mean, Aidan could tell anyone that you're pregnant. Let's face it, you might have already blabbed. I'll speak to him. I'll tell him not to tell anyone. Got some money on you, because I've got the purse. Oh, who are you? The Queen? <laughs> have a look. Hang on a minute. I have 40 quid in here. How much have you got now? Uh, one £20 note and a 
few quid in coins. Oh, you'd have spent it and forgot about it. I do that all the time. No, but I can't have. I've not actually been anywhere. Good morning, ladies. How are we today? Right, Dev. Uh, no one's handing the phone in, have they? Mm, when did you lose it? Uh, no, it's not mine. It's Peter's. Oh, well, cool. I should uh, keep an eye open for it. Oh. So, when did you last have it? Did you phone him yesterday? Oh, no. What? I left him a voicemail. Saying what? Well, I, I was drunk, I was rambling. Oh, he's done that loads of times over the years. Don't worry, what all day against you. <laughs> I'll stick him over there, please. Ooh, loving the jewel colours. Very classy. Ooh, that red velveteen would look great as a leisure suit. What, like, like a tracket? Really? Mm. Mm. See you in that, I'll, yeah? It'd be dead practical, but slinky and all. Just a couple of pockets for your bickies and Bob's your uncle. Right, you walk around with biscuits in your pocket. Uh, in our house, if you don't bag your biscuits, Kirk, you'll have the lot. <laughs> I'm all right, got it, me. <laughs> You're mad for your custard creams, aren't you, babes? Tell them how many you can fit in your gob at once. Twelve. I'll show you if you like. Oh, no, I don't think I could cope with the excitement. Oh, same here. And you don't want to go and make everyone jealous now, do you? Fair point. Oh, you again. You can't keep away, can you? It's none of your business. Eva, can I help? I just need to see Aiden, thanks. Just leave him alone. Do we want me to run her over? Mm. I bet you assume you're here to see me. Come on through. Oh, you don't think he's going to let her worm her way back in, do you? The bloke, can he? All she has to do is flash her assets and he's a goner. Mm. Talking. Come on then. What big revelation have you got for me today? Is it twins now? Triplets? Have you told anyone? Look, I know I've got no right to ask you this, but can you keep it that way, please? I don't want anybody knowing. You said you were seven months gone. You're not going to be able to keep it quiet for much longer. But it's not your problem. Yeah, and what about when it's born? I mean, until the DNA test is done. There's not going to be any test, Aiden. You were right. It's not yours. It was about the money and stuff. <sighs> you can't blame me for wanting security for my child. Look, just promise you won't say anything and I'll go. So it is Adam's then? Unless you've got half a dozen other baby daddies all lined up as well. Of course it's Adam's. But you can't tell him either. So will you keep your gob shut? Go away, Eva. Well, what's going on in here? You having a jumble sale? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because people are really queuing up to buy used tickets, rubber bands and a, a stinky old sock, aren't they? Ah, what's that doing oh, there? Never mind that. Just uh, help me look for Peter's phone. Well, it's not going to be in the cupboard, is it? No, of course not, but I don't know. Liz might have found it and just put it there for safekeeping. Oh, I need to find it before he does. Right, what was it you said in this oh. drunken rant? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I don't exactly remember. You know what I'm like when I've got one on me. <sighs> well, like I said before, Peter of all people will understand. <sighs> we've been off for ages, but now that we're back, feels like we've never been away. Mm, tell me about it. Back on the hamster wheel. I love work, me. Can't get enough of it. Weirdo. I dream about it all the time. I'm at work, packing boxes as fast as I can. But I've got no arms and the boxes still have to be packed. How do you pack the boxes with no arms? I use my feet or else I pick the undies up with my teeth. You're determined. I'll give you that. You don't really love work, do you? I do. It's third on my list, after birth and dogs. <laughs> Say you won a million quid. I bet you've been the job. You want to see me for dust? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate them people that go... Oh, I'll treat myself to a new pair of socks, some spanners. But other than that, I'll be carrying on as normal. The money should be taken off them. And given to me! <laughs> if I was minted, I'd buy the factory. I couldn't really see you as a boss cook. Oh, no, I stay in packing. Job for life. Can't say fairer than that. You are so boring. No, he's not. He's quite deep on the quiet, aren't you, babes? Yes.
Oh, I didn't know you were home. Um, <clears throat> how did it go? Yeah, he's not said a thing, and he promised he'll keep you that way. Really? He can't stand the sight of me, hon. He couldn't get me out of that office quick enough. Can't blame him, really, after what I did. Well, he's not exactly innocent himself. Well, I've told him that he was right and that the baby wasn't his. Honestly, you should have seen the look of relief on his face. I think he'd rather die than have a kid with me. I'm so sorry. I'm stupid for thinking I could make it work. Talk about deluded. Do you know what? He's no good for you anyway. You deserve better. I've got to move on from this. I can't take it anymore. Which is why I've, um, I've come to the decision that I'm leaving today. I just don't want you to feel pushed out because of Aiden. No, it's not just that. You should only go when you're good and ready. I've spoke to the people who were renting the cottage off and they said I can go straight there if you just sort the direct debit out. Yeah, of course, that's no problem. Thank you. To be honest, I'd probably do the same. It's just doing my head in being around Aiden. Adam too, come to think of it. Everything feels just complicated and messy. Yeah, I know. I just feel like I need to get away, relax. And all this stress can't be good for the baby, can it? I'm literally just going to throw some stuff in a bag, break the news to Leanne and get off. I just got your message. Has something happened to Jackie or the baby? Nothing's happened, has it? No. So then what's wrong? Nothing. Um, she's having a girl. A girl? Yeah, she just found out. Oh, love, come here. That hey, is amazing. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. It's what you wanted, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And you, I mean, are you... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy too, yeah. Hey, how about that, Eve? You're going to have a little niece. It's amazing. Oh, love, you had me worried there. And you, you sounded upset. <laughs> no, um, no, I was just a bit emotional after finding out. And uh, actually, I'd been fretting about something else. Really? What? Yeah, I've had some money go missing out my purse. Are well, you kidding? How much? 20 quid. But you still got your purse? Yeah. So somebody took the money out of the purse and put it back? Yeah, I reckon it must have happened in here last night. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <sighs> well, we don't know that it was Simon. Oh, come on, Toy. Who are you trying to kid? How long's another couple of weeks? Yeah, I, ju I just want to um, get to know the area, you know, have a mooch before it all kicks off. Are you sure you tell me everything? Yeah. Why? Eva, I know what this is. All your mates are back at work at the factory and you're feeling out of the loop and you just want to get away, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got it in one. <laughs> and it doesn't help that you've got all your old boyfriends floating about. Yeah. Yeah, that and all. Oh, Why didn't you say? Oh, Lee, I didn't know whether I was coming or going. I just need a break, a bit of time on my own. Well, don't take too long over it, because I want you back here as soon as that course is finished, right? Yeah. Don't worry. Did Peter speak to you? Yeah, he said you thought it was Sai who took your money from your purse. Well, I didn't put it quite like that, but money's gone missing and it's more than likely someone who lives here, so... Well, then it's likely to be Sai. It was Peter who mentioned the S word first. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna have a word with him later on. Good luck. Hmm. Well, congratulations. What? Driving Eva away sooner than she planned. Excuse me? And you and all, you've done a good job between the pair of you. Is that what she's told you? So you're denying it? That's what she wants to believe. Well, go on then. Stick your two penneth in. I think she's doing the right thing. What you really mean is you're glad to see the back of her. No, I couldn't care either way. But if that's what she wants, who am I to stop her? Now, if I'm not bad, I'll, I'll have a lager, please. Oh. Toya's had some money taken from her purse. Oh, and you think I did it? Well, did you? 
No. She thinks it happened last night. To eight quid. Oh, yeah. That money. I forgot. I took that. Of course I didn't. What does it matter how much it was or when it happened? I didn't take it. Well, somebody did, and it's most likely somebody who lives here. You know what? I'm sick of this. I always get the blame for everything. Look, I want to stop being grounded, so I want to do something so stupid that makes me the main suspect. Plus, I'm earning money with Carla now, so why would I need to nick anything? All right, all right. There's no need to get upset about it. What do you expect? I reckon it's Toya accusing me of this, isn't it? All right, let's just leave it for now, all right? Well? <sighs> Hello, Mr Connor. Oh, Kirk, hi. Fancy seeing me here. What? In packing. Oh, yeah. Good one. Everything all right? Why shouldn't it be? Gold diggers are known to be operating in this area, according to Beth, anyway. Well, tell her not to worry. Yeah? Yeah, Eva just came by to tell me something, that's all. But she wants to get back with you. Sorry. None of my business. No, no, no. It's OK. Um, we just had a... What do you call it? A frank exchange of views. You know, sometimes the right decision isn't always what you think it would be. So, are you getting back together or...? No, no, no. I don't think so. Look, I, I wasn't the best partner in the world. And she deserves better than me. That's big of you. I'd like to think I'd do the same. If that happened with me and Beth. You know really work, don't you? I hope so. Take care of her, Kirk. No worries. That I mean it. Promise me. OK. I'll, uh, keep all this to myself, shall I? Yeah. I think that might be best. Well, I didn't believe them crocodile tears for a start. You think he was faking it? Oh, come on, Lee, yeah. And you think he took the money? Well, I don't see who else it could have been. But what can we do without proof? I don't know. Maybe we handled the mugging badly, you know, letting him get away with it. Yeah, but it's not like we didn't agonise over it. And anyway, what else could we have done after what he did to you? Second offence that has sent him to young offenders? Yeah, but... I know that, but this can't go on, can I it? I know. I agree. Right, well, then, if he does anything like this... Yeah, then, then he's in for it. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, let's hope teenage girls are easier than boys. Oh, sorry, not told you. We're having a girl. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot my charger. Sai? Sai? Right, listen, we're gonna let this one go. Yeah, but you still think I did it? We're giving you the benefit of the doubt here. But you put one foot wrong again, like that Audrey business, and we'll have no choice but to go to the police. All this has to stop, OK? Are you sure you've got everything, then? Passport, tickets, currency. Oh, uh, what's the exchange rate these days? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Well, no, you must have bought some dollars. Oh, I, I do all that at the airport. Oh. Taxi. Right, one minute away. Oh, look, I could have driven you, love. No, you're all right. I didn't want to cause any trouble. Uh, Sarah, let me through. Can I have a word? Don't you think it's time you let her go? It's all right, Lee. Right, uh, I'll carry your bags through, love. I'll just get me coat. I just want to give you this. Thanks. And say I'm sorry for being so violent about the baby. I can't blame you. Look, I know it's none of my business, but it's a shame you can't tell him. Yeah. Well, you're right. It's, um, it's none of your business. But I appreciate you not saying anything. Thank you. I think you're doing the right thing. I hope you find what you're looking for. You take care of it. Try me every day. I'll try. I'm going to be busy on this beauty course, though. Well, every other day, then. I'm going to miss you. Hey, we back before you know it. Take care. I will. Oh, and phone us when you get there. Yes. You behave yourself, right? I will. Safe journey, love. See ya. Oh. See ya. See ya. Oh. <laughs> right, back to the fray. 
after you told my mum and dad that I took the money? I, I said that it was stolen. I don't know who took it, but it's unlikely it was them or Eva. Well, you might have just lost it. Yeah, I might have. But if you told the truth now and again, we could solve this in two minutes. What about you telling the truth? What? About you and Eva. You're hiding something from my dad. About a deal, something he can't know about. So it was you who took it? Yeah. And I reckon it's best all round if you decide that money never went missing in the first place. Don't you? Yeah, I've been trying to get hold of Eileen. I haven't seen her for ages. No, me neither. Really miss her coming in for a milk and a moan. Dev, she's not even answering the phone. Well, come on, would you want to see anyone if your husband's just been outed as a... A murderer. Monster. No. Maniac. Hey, you all right, little Miss Sunshine? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Hi, darling. You all right? Yeah. How's Eileen doing? Oh, she's OK. Now, listen, do you think she might be up for a visit? I don't know. Right, that's £1.62, please, honey. I've only got £1.50. Right. Take it out of that. Oh, thanks. I'll give Eileen my love. Oh, yeah, and mine. And... Tell her if she needs anything, day or night. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. Cheers, dude. Hey, I think you've got a fan there. Yeah, poor kid. Do you think she was doing the shopping for Eileen? You really think she's that bad, just shutting herself away? Oh, I thought you'd gone to school. Yeah, I forgot my headphones. Oh, because they're essential for school, aren't they? Morning. Listen, good news. I found that cash. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant? I got accused of stealing it. Well, Si, you know, with your behaviour lately, can you blame us for thinking the worst? Well, it was my fault, Dizzy Mare. I'd left it in a different handbag. So, I'm sorry, Simon. We never should have accused you. Thank you, Ty. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Si. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. It's fine. I'm going to school. If court's adjourned. Go on. Don't be so cheeky. Well, I don't mind telling you. I'm really relieved. I feel wrong about Si. We apologised. And he has got form. Yeah, come on. Look. Let's not get up on the line, OK? He's trying to turn over a new leaf. You look busy. Is that going to be your war and peace? Cheers. Witty repartee's free. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. Why haven't you been answering my calls? Mm. Mm. Sorry. Is this still about Vinny's mum? Flora, yeah. I feel guilty about her. Vinny's six feet under, so there's nobody there to pay for the home that she was at. Mm. Well, where is she now? Oh, this really grotty place. It's miles away. What, you've been? Mm. This morning. So all the staff that she loved, all the mates that she'd made at her old place, she's just lost them all. Mm. All right, sorry, I'm gonna have to get going. What, what? Uh, one of the nurses from Flora's old place, she's agreed to meet me. I want her advice, you know, see what can be done, if anything. I'm sorry, it won't be long, yeah? See you later. <sighs> so, just had a text from Eva. Just landed in America, safe and sound. Ah, oh, great. Man, I would have loved to have lived in the States. Man, it really called to me when I was younger. Oh, fancy yourself as a cowboy, do you, Dev? Oh. There's no sheriff in town there, Pete. Ah. Goes by the name of Dev. <laughs> Yo, <cool. laughs> hey. Right. Here he is, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. At least I'm not being accused of being a thief anymore. Si, we've all apologised. Hey, how about me and you? We'll go to the movies. We'll tell them you're 18. We'll watch something really inappropriate. Hi. I'm kidding. Yeah, that sounds good, that. Cheers, Dad. Can I get some crisps? Yeah, you don't have to ask. That is the first and last time that I lie for you. I bet it isn't. Hi. 
Yeah, fine. Actually, do you know what? I'm not. Can I come over? I need to take the training more seriously. You look all right to me. Service! Yes, chef. It was barking at you like that. Only when he cooks. So, uh, how often do you train then? Every day. Oh, well, you know, I told you you need your rest days. Ah, no rest days for the wicked, mate. I thought we were having crayfish tails. What? The crayfish tails are in the timble. I thought that were a big drum in an orchestra. <laughs> uh, I think that's timpani. No, timbo's usually a, a dish of finely minced meat or fish with vegetables. Rissoles. I uh, know, I think I'm correct. No, that's what this reminds me of, rissoles. Oh, oh come on, you lot. Hurry up, I'm starving. Why don't you have any crayfish tails? Did he say anything? Just okay. make an excuse to leave me the whole way. Well, sorry, guys, I'm going to have to uh, take this. It's work, so just start without me, yeah? Already have. Now, don't be long. Can we have some bread? So cut the alcohol. I've only had three glasses. Right, bread-wise, it's uh, red pepper and onion focaccia or sourdough. What, no white sliced? Oh, hey, listen, I get into proper trouble if I bring that muck into the house. Look, uh, thanks for taking me shift, Liz. Oh, you're more than welcome. Hey, you know me. I am happier behind the bar earning it than I am in front spending it. <laughs> oh, I hope your mate's OK. Hey, I was just saying to our Steve last night, I think I'm in here more now than when I own the place. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know it's been a bit chaotic recently, but I do appreciate your help, you know. I'm more than happy to. Yeah, we shall have to house ice when we're in Spain. Yeah, as long as we can hire a chef as good as Robert. Uh, I, I am a fantastic cook. It's only teasing. Do you know, I used to cook all the time for my dad when I was a kid. He used to call me his little fanny. Yeah? Uh, after Craddock, no doubt, one of our first celebrity chefs. She was on the telly the whole time when I was young. A woman on the telly was called Fanny. Mm -hmm. I had an Auntie Francis and we all called her Fanny. I believe that the name became even more popular after the release of the James Mason film Fanny by Gaslight. That was about a Victorian gynaecologist. <laughs> You're winding me up. Which well, is about that, but the rest is true. Give her a Google or whatever it is. Okay. What's keeping him? Oh, well, the life of a GP, eh? What about sweet Fanny Adams, Aidan? You must have heard that expression. Uh, well, um, that is an interesting story, is it? It's a young girl in the 19th century was murdered. Notorious case at the time. And then when sailors went to see him, were given appalling rations of mutton to eat, uh, they began to call it Sweet Fanny Adams because it was so rancid. Oh, are you going to put people off the food? Jill, yeah, while you are on quiz shows, I do not know. He's got a man like a computer in. Come and see what's keeping him. Oh, thanks, love you. Oh, no, no, here it is. Fanny by gaslight. <laughs> Told you. Yeah. Mm. I can see why the name went out of fashion. <laughs> Did you ask him about the steroids? No, but I suggested that we do more training together, and that way it'll be easy for me to bring up the subject. And that's it? Just that you're going to go training with him? You could have told me that in there. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't have done this in there, could I? What are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, OK, but you are ridiculously hot. Oh, this is not the time of the place. Yeah, but I like to live dangerously. Robert's about to serve me. I don't believe this. Michelle, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? Oh, well, that's all right, then. What's happened? Come and sit down and have a glass of this lovely wine. Anybody care to take a guess what my so-called best friend's just been doing in the corridor? Can we have a clue? Can we just go somewhere and You want a clue? That? OK. How about guess which one of my sons she was snogging the face off just now? Yeah, yeah, hilarious. Oh, well, do you know what? It's my phone. She told me to back off, so... Maybe you should have listened. Yeah, well, do you know what? We like each other, so oh, there's nothing to be ashamed of, is it? Not the of the place, Sonny Boy. I think it's the Sonny Boy bit that's the problem. I'm sorry I'd like more to leave, please. We've not had our men's yet. We've got the Rovers, old girl coats. Yes, I am. 
enjoyable evening while it lasted. Call me if you need me. Do you know what? It's a little bit late for you to start playing the caring mother, isn't Ali, it? Ali, can you just go and leave us, please? I missed lunch for this. Just a phone call away. Looking face, but beggars can't be choosers. Sorry, it's good to see you too. What has happened? Peter and Leanne haven't twigged them not in the States, have they? Not yet. Well, what do you mean? It's Simon. He knows. If I. Right, concentrate. What exactly does Simon know? I don't know. He's overheard you and me talking. About the baby? Well, it's gotta be, hasn't it? Did you ask? No, I'm not that daft, am I? What am I going to say? Oh, do you mean about the baby? And then he goes, what baby? And then we're right up the creek, aren't we? Hmm. Simon's bluffing. Well, nice to see your psychic powers work, even from this distance. I know him, Toya, too well. If he knew anything more than we've got a secret, he'd have turned the screws already. And I tell you something else, he'd have done you over for more than a few quid and all. But we can't be sure, can we? Besides, what kind of an auntie does that make me? Encouraging him to lie? Teaching him that blackmail's a nice little earner? Simon is bluffing. You can handle him. No, it's all getting too much. I'm lying to Peter. I'm, I'm lying to Leanne. Maybe I'm lying to myself, thinking that we can actually pull this off. Toyo, just pull yourself together. No, I even thought that Aidan was going to tell Adam in the pub the other day. But he kept quiet, thank God. If only you knew what we were going to do, eh? Have you managed to get yeah, just called us on the way over. Ah, oh, this is in. Oh, shaking up, ran us in bits, poor thing. Not surprised. So there's been nothing more bad about it? No, not that she said. Hard to comprehend such things happening in this day and age, but uh, what can we get you? Uh, I'm getting this. Uh, oh, well, if you're paying, I'll have the uh, full works. <laughs> Jenny? Just coffee for me. All right, you. I have this one. And the same for me. Everything all right? Not your usual little ray of sunshine. Oh, is it any wonder all this business with Kate and Ron? Is that all it is? Well, if you must know, it's this place. The cafe? Weatherfield. You know, we were supposed to be settled in our villa in Spain by now, and instead, I'm sat here for the umpteenth time this week watching you stuff a full English down your neck. Do we have to talk about this now? Yes. Look, tell me honestly, have you gone off the idea? What? No. Well, then how come we're no further forward than we were two months ago? Well, what about if we booked our flights? Well, I've heard that before. Well, this time it's definitely happening. After this, that is exactly what I'm doing. I promise. Cross my heart. <laughs> Glad to see someone's happy. Ah, sorry, love. Just finalising our plans for Spain. Hey, you OK? Uh, just about. I'm not with you. Oh, still a bit wobbly. I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah, but is she going to report what happened to the police? I can't see it. How come? Well, no matter how bad she's feeling, they're still on mum and dad. Stuff that. What if they come after you next time? They won't. I doubt they'll come within a mile of us. And if they do, I'll be ready for them. Hi, yeah, mate. Place is looking great. Get in there. Or he'll be once the furniture's in. You have to throw a bucket. Actually, it's about Rana. Well, Rana and Kate. Oh, right. Look, I heard what happened yesterday and I can't get my around it. You don't think they'll try something again, do you? No, I didn't think they'd do it in the first place. Look, I don't mean to be rude, they're out, but I'm kind of up against it here, so. The thing is, it's not just Rana who's at risk. Kate could be in danger as well. No, what's that got to do with me? Look, I know she's not exactly your favourite person, all right? But she's my sister. Imagine if that was Alia. Well, I still don't know what you want me to do. Look, all I'm asking is, if you hear something, or if Rana's parents try anything again, just let one of us know. Like, I need to know my Kate's going to be safe. Sorry, I don't mean to be nosy. What would Rana's parents want with Kate? Yesterday, they tried to kidnap Rana, send her to Pakistan. What? Why? Because they found out about her and Kate. What, Kate and Rana have started going out? <sighs> Not started. They've been out here for ages. Hey. 
Hey, that's not the sunny summer I know. What's up? It's not important. Hey, if it makes you upset, then it is. We have to do work experience for school. You couldn't decide between rocket science or brain surgery. Well, I can decide. It's just the UKSA don't want me. You know, the United uh, Space Agency. I know. I wrote to them too when I was little. Oh, Ask them if they had any aliens. Did they reply? No. Which makes me think they're hiding something. <laughs> so, what was your second choice of work experience? Well, I didn't have a second choice, but I wanted to aim high, like you said. Do you know the female to male ratio of CEOs in Britain? Sorry. Well, it's pretty shocking, and if I want to change that, I need to start now. Well, how about I see if there's something for you over at Underworld? Working with you? Oh, shadowing Ali for the day. Really? I mean, I know it's not a space agency, but... That would be so cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shoot, I am so sorry. Um... <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for dragging me out. Oh, thanks for brushing your hair. Oi! <laughs> Listen, I know it's been tough. Really tough. But we're past all that now. It's just us. I love you. Oh, well, that's handy, because I love you too. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, you okay? Like you care. Sophie! She's pretty cut up, isn't she? Just doesn't seem fair. What's that meant to mean? Like I sat out to her? Oh, but you could have told her sooner, though, sis. Miss Sophie's the one who feels awkward in her local, and she hasn't done anything wrong. We have. Look, I'm not going to go. It's just not as nice seeing a mate so upset. Because I'm such an awful person. That's not what I'm saying. Okay? I'm sorry. I didn't come here for aggro. Rana, are you okay? I mean, after yesterday, have you been to the police? Do you know what, Aiden? All we wanted was a quiet drink. As a couple. In peace. Then I'll leave you to it. Look, thanks for coming in. I've not dealt with dorms on my own before. Oh, they're fine. Apply Chris with enough red and he'll sign anything. Not dead Andy. Being able to pick your brains. You don't need me to hold your hand, you know. You got me for the morning only, and then I'm done with this place. It's your baby. You'll pop in if I need you, though. Well, you shouldn't need me, should you? If your manager's doing the job properly. Look, I've every faith in Alia. She's well qualified. Mm. Paper qualifications are good for darts only. Got a visitor. Ah! Now, this one, on the other hand, will go far. All the way to the kettle, hopefully, cos I'm pa. She's not coming to wait on you lot. She's here to learn. This place runs on tea, and making a decent brew takes practice. Why don't you make it, then? Cos the one you made this morning was like dishwater. <laughs> I wish I'd chucked it in the bog. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> I make a great brew, do I, babe? Depends how you like it, I suppose. Like it's been near a tea bag for a start. <gasps> That's the last brew you get out of me. Can we all then write in, please? And people shut their first door so they can't hear us. <laughs> So, you ready for the grand tour? Uh, yeah, whatever you say. Oh. I'm desperate to raise cash by flogging material for a third of the price that they paid. I wonder they're gone bust. <sighs> Don't you have somewhere to be? No. No, I, and to be honest, I'm quite enjoying my stroll down memory lane. Have a look at the figures. We'd be mad not to take it off their hands. It does look a good deal. Well, I don't think that's right. We have to move fast, otherwise someone else will nip it. Well, have you checked that song? Do you want me to make the call? Hang on a minute. What are you trying to say, love? I don't think that maths is right. Look. V. Oh, come on, we're wasting time. I didn't mean to cause any bother. No, don't worry. Look, it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> sorry? Yeah, you're flaming would have been. Did you use a calculator? I didn't need to. No? It could have cost Aiden thousands. This is the worst deal than a regular supplier's. Look. I don't understand. I think you forgot to carry the ten. And you call yourself a manager. All right, Carla. But we all make mistakes. Is it any wonder I messed up with her on my back? I don't even know what she's doing here anymore. Excuse me. Look, guys, I... just... That's enough. Alia, I don't suppose you can get us a couple of coffees, could you? And if you want one yourself, that's 30. Oh, no, three. <laughs> yeah, it's an easy mistake to make, though. Hmm. It was an easy mistake. I sewed up a leg hole. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it, it was very neat. I made a brow with three cups once. Oh, yeah, I remember that. She wore it as a hat. She looked like a Spitfire pilot. <laughs> Kept my ears lovely and warm. Oh, it could be a nice little uh, sideline for you, that. Are you enjoying the world of work? I'm not in great. I would come every day if I could for nothing. Mm, steady on. Don't be putting ideas in his head. Oh, it's all right. I can't anyway. Billy's coming back tomorrow. Oh, well, that's great news. Which means I'll have to help look after him. Well, if you ever need a reference going forward, don't hesitate to ask. You've done really well. She must have done. Never buys us lunch. Mm. Mm. All right. All right, I'll get around here. Oh, yay! 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 I'd just like to do a proper interview. Let her come in, but I'm just helping the kid out. He'll be fine. Oh, I think it's lovely what you're doing for her, especially after all she's been through. I'm not after a medal. Well, no, but there's not many people who take the time. Hey, I think one day you'll be a great dad. <laughs> Well, I've had a pretty good teacher. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's true. You were a great daddy. Were? Oh. <laughs> Hold up, I'm only going to Spain. I'm hoping to give you unwanted advice for many years to come. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you and also. Um, I saved you this. No, thanks, I'm full. Look, I'm sorry about the mask thing. I should have thought before I opened my mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, Missy. Don't you ever do that again. I wasn't trying to make you look silly or anything. Don't you ever apologise for being smart. Do you hear me? Look, I made a careless mistake and you spotted it. That's just good teamwork. You know, we play to our strengths. I know that you're not after my job. You're not after my job, right? Yeah, not for a few years anyway. Look, I'm not gonna deny it. I did feel a bit daft. If you really wanna make it up to me. Yeah, I do. You can help me out with a little project. Oh. <laughs> there it is. The viral hit of last summer. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me you haven't seen it. It was hilarious. Yeah, of course I've seen it. Why are you watching it now? But I'm, I'm trying to pitch it. Oh, sorry. No, stay. The more the merrier. Workout gear. Active wear, whatever you want to call it, it, is so popular now, it can be parodied. Everyone gets the gag. Oh, um, there's over 9.7 million fitness members in the UK, and one in seven are members of a gym. You notice how I'm leaving the numbers to the expert? And in England, one million women regularly run. And what's the first thing they put on before they go out the door? Ergonomically tested, robustly stitched. It retails anywhere between twelve ninety nine and an eye watering seventy eight quid. It looks like the ugliest, frumpiest old bandage I've ever seen. <laughs> we say that Underworld can change that. New colourways with styles to suit everyone from teens to silver sprinters. Competitively priced to satisfy the active wearer who wants a technical garment and the casual wearer looking for a fashion statement. Paired with seamless, wide-banded knickers in the same eye-catching fabrics, Underworld presents Underworkout. <sighs> Something to eat. Maybe a plate of humble pie. <laughs> we stop banging on about St. Alia. We must see what I mean. I mean, we, we pay Angie to cover the sums, but Ali's got creative spark. Come on, you're impressed, admit it. OK, OK, yeah, she's growing on me. Like poison ivy. Mm -hmm. Right. I know it's in here somewhere. Like, well, you really didn't need to go to any trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. Yes, I was the best. But you're happy Billy's back? Yeah, yeah I guess. Uh, oh, got it. Cheers. <laughs> Aren't you going to read it? Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's very sweet, Summer. <laughs> I mean, you know, I learned so much, so who knows, maybe I'll be working for you in a few years. Well, for that, you're going to need qualifications, so off to school, yeah? All right. Uh, what time is it? It's quite past. My days are going to be late. Not more haste, less speed. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you later.
，拜什么？Strip, and I'm the main character. You? I guess worse. I'm like this futuristic cop called Nadia. That's Aiden, spelt backwards. I wear this long coat, and for some reason, I've got one of those stupid top knots. <laughs> Sounds like an improvement. Uh, it's not for me. She literally hero worships me. Yeah, look, just keep your distance, and she'll soon lose interest. That's right. In a month, she's forgotten all about you. <laughs> Are you alright? Yep. So what? I just blank it from now on. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but maybe just be a bit less friendly. Like, remember, every smile fuels the fire. Is this a bad moment? Uh, no. Nope. We're just uh, catching up. Well, in that case, two words: bleach pine. What about it? Well, that's what our villa's new dining table is going to be made of. It's locally crafted and seats twelve. Twelve. Shall we see how many friends we're going to make first? I pretend you didn't say that. Look, I've uh, got another meeting, Dad. Thanks for the chat. No worries. Hey, hey. Hiya. Won't be a sec. <sighs> I best make a move as well. And remember, I need you to be extra lovely to run. She thinks we're going to embarrass her. No, I'm serious. I still think she's hurting after what Mum did to her. She could really do with some TLC. We won't let you down. You never do. Come on. Now, where are we? Oh, yeah. So, the table comes with a choice of chair styles. Well, so, hang on. Rana's brother is soon to be her ex-husband's partner. Wow. I thought our family was complicated. <laughs> I'm not too wild about it myself, but what can you do? Well, you can stay well out of it. That's what you can do. Sorry? I just meant it's Rana and Imran's business. Yeah, I realise that. It's just making it more difficult to move forward with Zidane. OK, I'm going to change the subject. How was lunch? Oh, yeah, it was fine. Might not sound too certain. Did Johnny put his foot on it? No, no, he was brilliant. He was too brilliant, actually. <laughs> I don't follow. Well, it turns out our warm and loving father has got Rana thinking about her own parents. I think she's missing him. Not the same parents that tried to kidnap her. <sighs> Trust me, I'm as freaked out as you are. She's not tried to contact him, has she? Oh, of course not. She's not an idiot. I'm sure it was just a, a momentary thing, like stress of trying to impress and all that. It'll all blow over. Well, you'd better be right about that, because as far as I'm concerned, her parents are bad news. It's nothing unusual about that. We had one in last week, gave birth in a treehouse. A treehouse? Why was a pregnant lady in a treehouse? Well, this is what we were wondering. Mind you, my sister had hers in a lift. Lifts a ten a penny. We've had more born in that lift out there than you could shake a stick at. She your first? Yeah. I'll let you get that. Hello, again. Hey, so did she have the whole bottle? Yes, she had the whole bottle. Oh. What's she doing now? She's, um, sleeping. Did you change a nappy? Not since the last time you asked me, no. Oh, what did the midwife say? Oh, just hang on. Hey. Hey, uh, Gemma said, can we put Jenny's party off till Monday? Leanne was dealing with it, but yeah, I'm sure we can. Okay. Um, all right, Jackie, thanks then. Bye. Jackie? Yeah, she just popped back to say her mum in Tamworth. She's in the country? Yeah, it's all right, she's fine, but I'm going to nip down and see her. Oh, OK, I'll let me get changed. No, 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 uh, we need you here today. Will the anchor manager, or can I ask Sarah? Oh, darling, they're not going to want the world and his wife descending on them, are they? Besides, there's nothing to see, is there just a bump? Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, I'll grab a change of clothes in case I spend the night. Did, hang on a minute, I mean, how long is she staying? Is she, is she flying straight back? I mean, should she even be flying at this stage? In oh, hey, 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 brilliant, you're back. Uh, Jenny's passing. I'll stay on. Has anyone been in? Oh, I, yeah, you know, my mum, my gran, the girls from the factory. What? I mean, you can't be for all the flowers and balloons they brought. Uh, come in. Eva. Yeah? Snappy, snappy? Do you want your picture taken with your baby? Um... No obligation to buy, but if you like what you see, you can order prints or digital copies. All the prices are here. 
I think I'll leave it, thank you. No props. If you change your mind, I'll be floating around. Just ask for Jezza. Thanks. Well, the sooner we get out of here, the better. I managed to get us an appointment at the registry office before it closes. Already? Yeah, well, I can watch her in the car. Or oh, we'll take her in with us. Look, there's nothing to be scared of. If we can get through today, then we're home and dry. Now, where's my little girl? Because I need a cuddle. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on, my darling. Come on, my darling. Oh, who's my little girl? Who's my little girl? Hey. Have you uh, decided on a name for her yet? Yeah. Hello. Thank you for everything. I'm sure she'll be an absolute credit to you. Yeah. I'll just bring the car around to the front. Yeah, great. Have you got all your cards and things? Um, I just told people lots about that. Yeah. Got to think of the environment, haven't you? All them trees. Yeah, you do right. Plus they clutter up the mantelpiece. <laughs> yeah, totally. Bye-bye, sweetheart. <gasps> Do you ever change your heart? Um, how long will it take? I just don't want my sister to find out. If she thinks it's a waste of money, you know, the age of the iPhone and all that. Don't talk to me about those things. Almost put me out of business. <laughs> Come in. So she's swerving her own party. She's blown in it. Till Monday. Jim has had to rearrange it all, so she's got the ump. Oh, well, it looks like she's not the only one. She was just so cagey. I mean, what's the big deal? Leanne puts on a few sandwiches, some crisps, and our friends and neighbours join us for a drink or two to wish us good luck. Maybe she doesn't like crisps. Or maybe something else is going on. <sighs> Summer? Are you busy? No, no, no. Why is it? OK, um, I feel bad asking. Ask anyway. I've been invited to a party tomorrow night. Oh, get you, social butterfly. Oh, it wasn't his, was it? I mean, his has been moved to Monday. Um, no, it's a joint birthday party at the leisure centre. But I've got nothing to wear, so if I did some cleaning for you, could you give me a tenner? Well, how about you come and see me tomorrow lunchtime, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Bye. They were definitely on to us. You're just paranoid. Did you see the funny looks that registrar was giving me? I think he fancied you. Look, we've done nothing wrong. That birth certificate is completely legal. So as long as Peter never sees it, we'll be fine. Still no word? No. I've sent three texts. <sighs> hey, what have I told you? Use the other door. This is a public bar. Exactly. Which means anyone can use it. No. Yeah. So you managed to turn out tonight, then? Training. What about school? Did you manage to make an appearance there and all, did you? Might have done. You do not play truant. Play truant? What year is this? All right, all right, enough of all that. Just get in the back, get your own work done. I haven't got any. Go on. Hey, is she around? Uh, Toya? No, she's gone to Tamworth, her surrogate's back in the country. OK, uh, I'll give her a call. Thanks. All right. What's all this about the surrogate? Oh, go on. Is that my phone ringing or is it yours? How's that mine? Oh, you don't think it's the registry office, do you? Uh, oh, Angie. Hello? Wait, Jude's not what? Sorry, look, you're breaking up. He's not a marine biologist. I can't get my head around that. Lying about your job for two years. Some people are absolute spoons. What are you doing? I've got it online. How many? Well, I've got a few in case we mess up. Look, only Peter gets to see the fake certificate. For everything else, we use the real one. Are you sure about this? Well, were you sure about it when we printed a fake scan off the internet? Was Jude sure about it when he lied to Angie? Well, what's the alternative? How can we do this without getting into trouble? Well, we could tell Peter the truth. I mean, Simon's halfway there and Aidan knows you were pregnant. We don't want her. We're running out of time here.
Jackie's gone into labour. She what? Jackie, she's, she's gone into labour. Her uh, uh, mum's? Which, she, she's not answering her phone. I mean, I'd go straight down there, but I don't know which hospital. So she's going to be there for the birth? Uh, have you seen me fags? Uh, uh, they're in the drawer. Drawer? <laughs> oh. Double top. Get in. Right, you're on. Uh, you're round. Uh, we said winner pays. We said loser pays. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. <laughs> uh, look, I'll get them this time, but I'll look as you go and see now. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, me too. No way. With four, no, five A's. What should I do? Three question marks. Well, at least he believes us. What are you going to say? I'll ignore it till I call him. What if he phones Jackie? I went into his phone and altered a number just in case. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm laughing. We terrible people or what? You don't want a baby. I do. If that makes us terrible people, then yeah. So we're almost there. Almost. You just need to phone him and tell him the good news. Yeah, he'll want to see her. Um, I'll say that we're at a mum's house in Tamworth. Not so we let her go from hospital after an hour. Okay, well, I'll say we're in the day room. You'll have to make yourself scarce. I'm in America. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? You've got homework to do, haven't you? Well, I've done it. Oh. Well, you told your mum you didn't have any. So which is it? Listen, Dad, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. You're not going to like it. Really? Go on, stun me. It's about Taya. Hello? Hello, Daddy. <sighs> Would you like to say hello to someone? <sighs> oh, my word. This is Susie. Susie, this is your Daddy? What's going on? Look, that's your brother, that's Simon. Jackie went into labour this afternoon, but I'm sorry I didn't want to say anything until I knew for sure. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful and she's ours. Put oh, Jackie on, let me speak to her. Uh, yeah, she's still on the ward, um, but they're going to let her go home tonight. Straight away. No, do you know, I really wouldn't bother because um, it's going to be late by the time we get back. So I'll stay over. Um, my mum's got a box room. And then first thing tomorrow, we'll register the birth. Susie. Susie. Hey. Do you want to say hello? I am. What do you think, Sai? The old the same. There's millions of them. There's Oliver. And now there's Susie. <sighs> Listen, love, I'm gonna tell Leanne, okay? And I'll call you back straight away, I promise. We love you. Love you too. Both of you. You're going to congratulate me? Congratulations. Thanks, Paul. Ah, that's amazing. Right. Dad, what about me tea? We're going to have tea. Lee. I'm a dad again. Oh, she's had it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a dad again. Oh, he's a great oh, oh, oh. We're going we're gonna to call her Susie. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Peter, I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Don't, don't ask me what she weighs. I didn't ask. Right, I'm going to go and ring her. I want to have a look. Yeah. What's the score? Uh, Toy went down to Tamworth because Jackie's back in the country. That Jackie's, that's, that's our surrogate. And believe it or not, she, she went into labour right on cue. Can you believe that? <laughs> Ennis, it's brilliant news. I'm really pleased with you, mate. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, mate. Put it there, mate. Thank you, mate. Go right. oh, on, son. Go on, son. What's that? Uh, well, Peter's just a little girl. Well, I mean, I mean Peter, I mean, like Toya. Well, I mean, like Toya, like, but, uh, you know, like the surrogate. Yeah, say that again. Yeah, I won't worry about it. <gasps> yeah. To Susie! To Susie! Oh, oh, oh,
guys. Listen, drinks all round on the house. Fill your boots. Who's the daddy? All right. I hate being in the next room, trying not to listen to any of that. It'll get more normal, though, I promise. By the time you're back from America, it'll have all settled down. I'm not going to America. Yeah, you know what I mean. We'll sort out the private fostering arrangement and we'll hide the paperwork. Difficult bit's over. Mm. Telling me it was like giving birth to a flaming cannonball. Tell you what, women don't half get the short straw. Do you know, when I saw his face light up, I knew we'd done the right thing. So he didn't suspect anything? No, and I don't think he ever will. As long as you don't regret it. No, of course not. Happy to be of service. I'll never forget what you've done for me. From now on, I am anti Eva. <gasps> Thank you. Look after you. <clears throat> I will. Morning. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Morning. Some of the joys? Yeah, well, Toy's coming back with the baby today, so. Oh, right. I'm, I'm really pleased for you. Just make sure you enjoy every second. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. Hey, hang on a minute. I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah okay. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You and Toya, you're okay, yeah? Well, that's a funny question. Yeah, of course we're okay. Mind you, we've not started arguing about us doing the night feed yet. I'm joking. But we're more than okay. We've got you, we've got Susie. Life's just about perfect. You were going to say something yesterday. You, listen, you, you're not worrying about the baby arriving only. No. You know, there's no. no... Oh, that one's going to have to run for the bus. Thanks. See you then. Is he okay? Ah, oh, he's a teenager. What can you do? I, uh, I wanted to catch up before you went to work. I need a favour. What's up? Oh, it's an inset day, which means a day off for me, though. Mm. Morning, Mr Connor. I was just leaving. Something you should have been saying 20 minutes ago. I know, sorry. To be honest, our Craigie's got an assessment today, and, well, I'm not nervous. He's been playing hell with me inside. Right, I'll leave you to it. So what's this favour you want? Well, I was going to ask if you could uh, take some off into town for a bit of shopping at dinner time. Sorry, what? I don't even know the kid. But you know Billy. Look, uh, she's got this party to go to, but nothing to wear. I had a chat with him and he seems fine. I don't get it. Why is this your problem? Oh, I just want to do something nice, OK? You know, it's our character, I know. Well, no, I never said you were all bad. Well, it's just a bit awkward, to be honest, with Liam being off school. He ain't shopping. Anyway, I promised him I'd take him to the park. Can you not ask Carla or Kate? I was just thinking, well, you're a great mum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're so annoying. Look, if you do this for me, I'll take him to the park. Liam, how do you fancy a kickabout up at the Red Rack? Cool. I'm in the shower, and when I come out, she's already gone. And then there's this thing about moving the party. So why has she moved it? <sighs> she says she's got too much on. Right. Oh, well, in my experience, once your other half starts keeping secrets, you don't need me to tell you. It does not make for a healthy relationship. Exactly. To be honest, it's just one more thing to make me worried about this move to Spain. I'm not surprised. Well, it's none of my business, but I reckon you should just have it out with her. Oh, no. Listen, I better go. See you later. Mm. Oh, thanks, Liz. Everything? Yeah, I think so. Oh, guess it'll take a bit of practice. <laughs> we'll be fine. You sure you don't want me to stay for a while? I could do some lunch. No, I've told you. You've got to go sometime, haven't you? I know, but I also know how hard this must be. Hey, look, I'm fine, OK? I'm doing something good for two of my... Oh, hang on. Eva, why have you got these photos? But 
you sent the photographer away. I know I did, I know. So what, when I'd gone, you went and got him to take a picture of the two of you? I just didn't want to regret not having one. But I didn't think you thought of yourself like that, as a mum. I don't. I don't, OK? I, I can't pretend like she didn't happen. Eva, I've got to ask you, and you have to answer honestly, because it has to be now. I mean, this is it. You're her mum. Right? From this moment, you are her mum. And I know that she's going to be in the best place. And I know that you're going to love her more than... I know that you're going to love her. And I know that you're going to keep her safe. I don't need pictures, OK? I'll destroy him. She's yours. I can't bear this. Yes, you can. You are going to have an amazing life. And so am I. Are you going to get out of here or what? I love you. to give me work, not buy me clothes. Well, then it's your lucky day. I mean, you're great, but I can't employ you. But I would like to buy you whatever you need for this party. And like I said, Maria here is going to take you. But it's fine, I don't need anything. Yes, you do. Yeah, and you don't want to go clothes shopping with a boy. Or take Aidan's advice on what looks good. All right, thanks. And anyway. <laughs> OK, thanks. My pleasure. Uh, <sighs> Why do we get the feeling I'm being rolled here? Boss! You ready? Yeah, ready. Cool. Bye, sweetheart. Be good. Bye. You too. Uh -huh. Right, they're not going to have all the fun. What do you reckon? Park, then something to eat? Pizza or burger? Kill that. <laughs> all right, but I'll tell you, Mum. Deal? Deal. Be sentimental. You could have called a Deirdre. Oh, I'm not sure she'd have thanked him for it. Hey, that's my mate you're talking about. Well, I think Susie is a lovely name and a lovely gesture. And I know that Pinky would have approved. Yeah, well, no. I think so, too. Do you know, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be called Celeste. Hello. She's all right. Thankfully, she doesn't take after either of you. Why didn't anybody ring me? I <laughs> can't imagine. Oh. Oh, Tyre, she's gorgeous. This be a champagne all round. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, look at the state of you. Your mum's going to go ape over all that dirt. She's just going to have a bath. Is your watch all right? Well, after you tripped me up, you mean? Yeah, it's just a few spatters of mud. David Beckham's got one like that. Has he? Oh, Eva bought it for me. It's really cool. That's one back's cat poo. I think one's out. You should try feeding two when they're both screaming in the middle of the night. <laughs> Especially when one's got a gob on them, like our Steve. <laughs> hey, see, you've had have said that. <laughs> well, she's allowed. She's his mum. Mum. Mm. Sounds good, eh? Do you know, I have been called all sorts of things in my life. Some I wouldn't like to repeat, but that's the one I'd always hoped for. Just wasn't meant to be. You're blessed, love. Yeah, believe me, I know. I always thought it was quite difficult. Being an only child, what do you reckon? You know, I like joining a clan. There's people with more hang-ups than I've got. Uh, where's Dad? 
Anyway, I better be going. Amy needs no, to get No, no, just, just, just stay. Five more minutes, Tracy, please. Oh, no, you're not doing a speech, are you? Here he is. Uh, Toya, just come here, love. <sighs> Marry me. What? Sorry, uh, sorry, everyone. Can we just listen? Um, I just want to say that having Susie, well, uh, it's made me realize that it completes our little family. And that's down to this woman. This beautiful, brainy, crazy woman who saved me when I didn't even know that I needed saving. Toya, I love you so much. Marry me. Seriously? And I love you. You love me, we've got Sai. We've got the baby. And everything's perfect. Apart from you're not my wife. So what do you say, eh? We have me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just off out. Seems to happen every time I walk into a room lately. What does? You, avoiding me. Don't be daft. I'm not. Last couple of days, it's been like living with a stranger. I'm just going out, that's all. Out where? Johnny, just leave it, will you? What's going on? Look, I might not be the most modern of men, but I'm not some Victorian husband who doesn't think his wife should have a life of her own either. I want to know where you're going, because we both know that you're keeping something from me. You didn't even talk to me about the party moving. Well, because it was nothing for you to worry about. I think I should be the judge of that. Oh, I don't know. I can't be dealing with this. Are you playing me for a mug? Because I'm too old for that game. You think I'm cheating on you? Come on. Where to? To Peter and Toya. Peter and Toya. Peter and Toya. Congratulations. Thanks, Leah. Hey, congratulations. Are we okay? Don't be daft, of course we are. I'm really happy for you, for both of you. So come here. <laughs> Right, give Liz a hand. <laughs> Come on, Sai. Make yourself useful. Yes. What's happened? Peter and Toya are getting married. Bit selfish to do that on my birthday. I'm joking. Someone else is paying for the drinks. What's not to like? Listen, Sai, I know it's a lot to take in. Your dad marrying your auntie, but, well, <laughs> if I can get my head around it, I'm sure you can. And you know what they say. Better the devil you know. Yeah, except you think she's some kind of saint, when in fact she's... You know what, forget it. No, no, no. If you've got something to say about our Toya, then say it. She's keeping a secret from me. Oh, Sai, come on, we've been through all this. Something else. Look, there isn't a couple of lives that doesn't have the odd secret. It's what makes relationships work. You don't get it, do you? It's something bad. She's having an affair. He's my dad. Yes, I know he is. But what makes you think Toy's having an affair? Because I know she's keeping something from him. I heard her and Eva whispering about it. What, and that's it? Oh, Eva was probably talking about a makeup course that Toy's paying for, and your dad knows about that. So why did she go all weird when I asked her about it? And I found this form. Some to the bank. Form? What sort of form? A direct debit. To this company that rent out cottages. Well, why would she be renting out a cottage? Why do you think? Oh, Sai, look, it's understandable. There's a new baby coming into the family and you're probably feeling a look, bit... Look, I'm not lying, all right? I found it in a car and then I started asking her Whoa, 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 it. hang on a minute. What were you doing in Toy's car? Simon. Me and Tyler took the car. You stole Toya's car? Oh, so that's what you were arguing about. She was there and we got back with it. I told her I knew about the cottage and she made up this stupid story, so I called her on it. 
Well, well, that doesn't mean that she was lying. Why would she cover for me then? Because she was scared. I'd tell my dad what I'd found. Oh, yeah, it was a great success. Got her a couple of outfits. Uh, a couple? Yeah, but they were both nice, so... Of course, yeah. <laughs> We got some pumps and these really cute little. No, it's fine, just as long as she's happy. Yeah, she is. Uh, so am I as it goes. Uh, they look expensive. Yeah, they are a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Feels much lighter. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. So, how was your day? It's cheap. Only cost me a tenner for dinner. We have kebabs. Uh, traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Job, bro. Uh, no, you're all right. Yeah, go on, Liam. Shove your trainers on. Well, I, I can do that. Oh, it's all right. Mm. What I think it is. Eva's engagement ring, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing with that? Well, it just feels right that she should have it. Yeah, well, I guess if it helps you move on. Anyway, thanks for having him today. He'll have had way more fun with you than with me. Yeah, sure. well, and thanks for sorting out something for me. Oh. And for dropping her back at school. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> You know, you should wear them at my dad's leaving do tomorrow. You know, and obviously don't say I bought you them. Oh, yeah, of course. Got a reputation to protect, haven't you? <laughs> All right, come on, you. Say thank you to Aiden. Thanks, Aiden. <sighs> <laughs> See ya. See ya. I don't get why. Please, Johnny. We scattered his ashes over there. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. understand who you. My boy. My baby. It's the um, anniversary. Oh, God, Jenny. Why didn't you talk to me? I don't know. I, I... I suppose part of me just wanted to hold on to the grief for myself. When you lose a child, it's devastating. I can't even imagine. But more than that, it's like this... this deep, deep sorrow that just soaks into your bones until in the end it just becomes part of you. I'm so sorry. I know you are. I know you are. Well... Go and ask her. Oh, we could charm the birds off the trees, this one. <laughs> he just likes to think so, Liz. That's Amy. Hey. I really do need to go. Oh, um, happy birthday, by the way. I didn't get you out. Thanks, T. Charming. Hey. Oh, let me see you. Oh, Toya, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Could you be any more smug? When she's not been sick on me, I've had to change twice. I'm so <laughs> happy for you both. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, so, uh, how are things with Jude? Ah, well, put it this way, I had the bed to myself last night, so... I know people are going to find out sooner or later, but for now, if we could just... Yeah, of course. Oh, let me see. Oh, she's beautiful. Congratulations, both of you. Oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, and happy birthday, birthday boy. Angie told me. No, Jude? No, I left him at the helm of the cabin. He's taken up a new position, and he's doing very well. So he took it, then? Yeah, yeah. And I got some really great contacts out of the numbers you gave me, so thank you. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's get a drink, eh? Are we betting this baby's head or what? Oh, encouraging. No, it's fine, Dad. I don't mind. Not today. Oh, Liz, uh, can we have two more bottles of fizz when you're ready, please? So, have you decided when you're going to get married, then? Oh, my goodness, how <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Double celebration. Lucky you. Too right. <laughs> Say something. No, I can't. Not right now. I deal with it. You've helped me deal with it. 
Help me to cope. Ignored all those who said I was just this crazy lady. I mean, I suppose I wanted to get through the anniversary on my own because I knew I'd be upset. Of course you'd be upset. You'd be crazy if you weren't upset, thinking about your little lad. I know it's not the same, but with Carla needing this transplant, it's made me realise how important it is to be there for your family and to have them there for you. I don't know. But Spain's only a couple of hours away. I mean, to be honest, Tom's the... Well, part of the reason I've been pushing so hard to go. A fresh start, clean slate, where I'm... I'm not Jenny, you sun drowned. If that's what you want. Really? But what about your kids? Well, like you say, I'm not going that far away. I just want you to be happy, that's all. I need to say goodbye. Would you sooner I left? No, no, no. It's a lovely spot. I couldn't put him in the cold ground. Truth be told, I didn't want to cremate him either. I just wanted him back. She's wonderful. I mean, to do something so selfless for a complete stranger. I have to be honest, I couldn't do it. Where was it that you said she went? Dubai. Yeah, it restores one's faith in humanity. Absolutely. And I suspect it's a debt that's never fully repaid. I mean, after all, what greater gift is there than a precious life? Yeah, she probably needs changing. <laughs> Well, I think I'd better get off and check up on my new assistant. I'll walk out with you. She is absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely to see you so happy. Bye. Bye. Bye, Daniel. Bye. Bye. Sorry, can I have a word? Can it wait? She needs changing. No, it can't. Sorry, look, I know this is your day, but I need answers to a few questions. Like what? Well, for starters, why didn't you tell me about size joyriding? And while I think about it, you and Eva were acting weird before she left, whispering in corners. There was no whispering. Taya, I'm not stupid. I need to know what's going on. Are you having an affair? An affair? Are you mad? Well, are you? I would never cheat on Peter. <laughs> I've just agreed to marry the guy. I mean, we've got a baby. We've got everything we want. Why would I? All right, fine. Maybe it's not an affair, but there's something else going on. Oh, look, just drop it, will you? No, I won't. And why didn't you tell me about Si and his mates taking your car? Because I didn't want him to get in trouble with the police, and I didn't think you would either. He's been through a lot of changes recently. It's no surprise that he's pushing the boundaries. Yeah, which is exactly why you should have said something. OK, look, I messed up. I'm sorry. Well, I know about this house you're renting. So I found the paperwork. You reckon she told him it was a surprise for Peter? OK, look. I couldn't tell Sai the truth because I promised that I wouldn't tell a soul, but... It's for an ex-client, Alice. That's who I went to see in Liverpool. The thing is, she's in an abusive relationship and she needed somewhere to escape to. What, so you rented a house for her? Yeah, well, she was desperate. What could I do? And I couldn't tell Peter because he'd just say that we've got enough on our plate. You know, don't get involved. Anyway, that's... that's what it is. Right. So why were you and Eva whispering then? OK, there's no easy way to say this. She's not coming back. Liam? Can you come here, please? Just come and sit down. Can you explain to me what this is doing in your pocket? Aidan gave it to me. He gave it to you? Aidan loves this watch, Liam. It's really expensive. Eva gave it to him, so I don't think he'll have meant for you to keep it. But he did. 
Well, darling, it's probably just been a misunderstanding. OK, it's not a problem, but I'm going to speak to him tomorrow and give it him back, OK? I'm not lying. Liam. <sighs> but Eva would have called. She was just too caught up. Oh, but not to the point where she couldn't tell you. I think she thought that if she told you, you'd try and stop her. And it's what she wanted, to get away. Get away from what? Well, what do you think, Aiden? She was getting over Aiden. There was absolutely no reason for her to take off. No, she wasn't dealing with it as well as you think. She needed to start again somewhere new without any baggage. I'm going to call her. No, ju no, just give her some space. You know, she knows how much you love her. That's why she found it so difficult to say goodbye. Hey, how are we doing? Yeah, um, I've just had to tell Lee that Eva's not going to be coming back. We're doing this. It wasn't my idea. Thanks, Steve. Is that a new dress? Yeah. OK, right. Mm, have a fab time. I'll see you later and don't forget to thank Steve. Yeah, I will. All right, come on then. Oh, thank you. Listen, Billy, how are we not offended? Like me buying that outfit for summer. No, don't be daft. No, I'm grateful, but look, I'm, I'm going to pay you back, OK? No arguments. Well, there's no rush. That's the least I could do after she saved us a fortune the other day. Mm. You're a good bloke. Oh, I've been saying that for years. <laughs> well, thank you. And could you thank Maria for me when you see her too? I think someone's taking a bit of a shine to her. Oh, well. Right. I'll see you. See yeah. you. Sorry. Listen, I've had a word with Tayo and she's not having an affair. Because that's what she's told you? No, because she's not. So she's renting a house because... Sorry, she's explained all that. Please, just do me a favour and give her a break. And stop this vendetta against her, please. For me. Thank you. What day? Um, do you know what? I'm sure Moira would love to be described as that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, everything's sorted. Oh! It's a misunderstanding. We've just been talking about our arrangements for Spain. Really? Oh, that's great. Listen, thanks, please. Not a problem. All right. Yeah. You? Could be better. Come and join us. Nah, you're all right. Hey, listen, we might not have many more opportunities once we move to Spain. Let's talk about the car they've got the crew. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon we can all start looking to a bright future now, don't you? Yeah. Come and have a drink. Actually, I just came in to pick up this uh, rather nice bottle of red that Michelle put aside for me. Mm hmm. No, you two crazy kids enjoy your meal. Then, <laughs> love. <laughs> Yeah, it's all just been a bit overwhelming, I suppose. Yeah, long day. Gonna be a long night and all. I don't care. No, me neither. Isn't it amazing how it all happened so fast? You know, Jackie coming back, the baby being early. Yeah, it all worked out okay in the end, though, eh? Yeah. Isn't it great that you were there for the birth? Yeah, it was. Can you imagine, you know? You go through all that, and then you have the strength to give up something as beautiful as that. Yeah. Right, Jackie, I'm telling you, she's a hell of a woman. Hey, mate. What have you called her? Susie. Oh, look. She's beautiful. Cheers. I'm really pleased for you both. Come on, then. See ya. See ya, mate. Until the slot runs out, but I've had him got very healthy slots. So we're all good. Yeah. Um, all right, everything's definitely now. I think we're swimwear. You know, I always say he's getting quick when it comes to swimwear. What they've got through, I've got up to 30% of uh, their swimwear at the moment. Um, so, you know, it, 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 this is the time to be getting it. It's open. And it's open as well. So, beautiful. I'm uh, very good with it. So, yeah, make sure you have a head in there. Also, jewels as well, so this is kind of getting ready for... Have you got that on loud you enough? Can you hear it outside? Sorry, just switch this off. I can't find a remote. Well, so the T-shirts they've got... Not entirely surprising. Are you ever going to unpack? Oh, so I've got used to it being like this. <laughs> oh, so you found that, then? I would have thought you'd sold that by now. Not yet. Why? It's not like I can give it to anyone else. I mean, I know you're a cheapskate. But even you must know, 
No one wants your ex's ring. <laughs> all, right, all right. Hang on. Please don't tell me you're keeping it for her. I thought... No, 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 no. It's uh, definitely not that. Well, that ship has sailed, like, way out into the sea. All right, then. Let's see what we can get for it. Put it towards a Spain trip. <gasps> tapas money. No, I'm not paying for your tapas. See? What did I say? Cheap skin. <laughs> <Hang> on, <laughs> hey, love. Give her here. Come on, you go back to bed. No, 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 I'm fine. Oh, love, did you get any sleep at all last night? Oh, not much. But I can hardly complain, can I? And I've waited this long. Look at her. <laughs> she rang you yet? No. Look, I really am sorry. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm half expecting an apology from her when she answers her phone. Hey, can we just try and keep it civil, please? Look, we've managed, what, like eight hours sleep mm. between the three of us? Oh, no, I've had a good four-hour stretch until that stupid cat decided to land on me head. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Nice, isn't it? I'm gonna baby. Beyonce? Family? It is, yeah. Even with sleep deprivation, mm -hmm. eh? Oh, I was meaning to ask you, shouldn't we be getting a visit from the midwife or something? Yeah, well, I'll sort that in a bit. Kinda don't want to move right now, though, you know? She's perfect, isn't she? <laughs> oh, she's more than that. She's everything. My reason to get up in the morning. Or off 12 at night. Mm. Yeah. Dad? Peyton. Sorry, um, I, I did call and the door was open. <laughs> ah, Jenny must have left you on the latch again. I keep telling her. You right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I just wanted to catch up before the party and, uh, Give you this. That's just a little something to you, you know. <laughs> Sound to release a golf club membership? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks, son. Must have set you back a bit. Well, that's the least I could do. If it wasn't for me, you would have been retired a long time ago. <laughs> Flipping heck, I don't know what Robert puts in his bins, but it smells ungodly. Hello. Hi. Look, I, uh, I should be going. See you later, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, hey, thanks again. See ya. See ya. It's always off somewhere, isn't he? he? never spends more than five minutes with us these days. <laughs> Dry microclimate, 320 days of sunshine, 320. Well, we've got that here. Mm, I'm not sure we do, Kurt. Well, if there's no sun, it'd be dark, right? So he must be up there somewhere, otherwise it'd be night all the time. You can't fault his logic. Uh, well, you saw a cat. Sunshine, Kirk. Sunshine. A unique, dry microclimate. You've already said that, love. Oh, Jenny's already at level eight on the annoying scale. How many levels actually are they? Well, did they should break the twenties over Christmas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, two seconds. Is, uh, Moira here? Ah, well. I held back that memo on CQC compliance, so it's going to take her about an hour, maybe even two, to come up with a reply. <laughs> going to get you a drink? Obviously. Sorry, guys. Hey, beep, beep, Daddy. It's okay, guys. These are me. You're going to buy her a fetch. It's totally work. He's always been my favorite. Oh, yeah. Don't you be swigging from the bottle. Oh. oh, isn't she lovely? Yeah, well, maybe now, Sal. Three in the morning, less so. <laughs> ah, congratulations, mate. I'm dead sure for both Thanks, of you. Jeff. Thank you. Oh, well done, you. Thank you. Well, it's not like she did much. <laughs> Nine, ten. Eight, she did plenty. You know, surrogacy, it's not an easy process. She took care of everything. I still need to say thanks to uh, Jackie. Yeah, we've got a lot to be grateful for, haven't we? You okay? Yeah. Uh, to Dad and Jenny. <laughs> Look at her. She's almost as bunny as my Craigie. So, have you still heard nothing from Eva? No. 
No, me either. What about you, mate? The one in the cottage? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Um, Paul was just keeping her head down. Oh, you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Hey, someone better phone Tim. I reckon Sally's getting clucker. Oh, God, no. It'll be a while off before Rosie and Sophie have them. No, I just want grandma privileges. Mm. You know, love and hugs, and then when they get a bit fussy, you hand them back. <laughs> Go on, then, Sally. Stop hogging her. <laughs> Carla? No, 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 thanks. Mr. Connor. Uh... Oh, do you know what? I think she's probably due a nappy change. Hey, love. Uh... Oh. I'll do Thanks. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'll come on. Look at the fear on his face. Honestly, men with babies. Oh. Honestly, no, it's fine. It's just a cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get some napkins. No, honestly, Dad, it's fine. Look, I'll, I'll sort it in a minute. What are you doing out here? Over then chucking wine around? Probably the same as you. Escaping from them and all that. Yeah. You, me and you, are more alike than we think. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Mm, won't be so sure. So... Give it as a go. I think so. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna miss this place. Especially leaving you lot behind. Really? Of course. I mean, you do me head in, but <sighs> believe it or not, you kids, you're the thing I'm most proud of. All of you. Really? I mean, after the year I've had? Yeah, of course. Best thing I ever did, being a dad. And I expect you to come and visit as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. And if you ever want to bring someone, Make sure it's just one this time, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Couldn't resist. Look, like I said on my message, I know it's not ideal, but I have to tell her something. So just get it straight in your head before you speak to her, yeah? And we'll... Um, yeah, anyway, look, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hi. 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 Oh, sorry. Uh, the gents are out of paper towels and Peter said that I could come back here and... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's all right. Happened. Oh, I ran into a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, that'd do it. Hey, that wasn't evil, was it? Oh, no, no, it's just a friend. Okay. But you don't happen to know Eva's US number. I mean, there's something that, that I need to talk about, and uh, well, uh, I don't think a mobile's working. Uh, what's wrong? Nothing, uh, just. Uh, well, it's, it's a bit private. Aidan, look, I'm sorry to have to say this, but do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, the whole point of this was for her to get away. She doesn't need any more messing about. Look, I, I wasn't. Do you know what? Maybe you're right. I can wait till she gets back. Maybe it's best, eh? Hey, how about that little cuddle now? What, um... So light. Yeah, it's scary how small she is. She's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I've just got her down. Oh, great. Right, well, can you take over here? I'll go and get Oliver from Steve's. Hey, did I tell you that Steve and Tracy are going to Paris? It's all right for some. Oh, no, tell me about it. Everybody seems to be jetting off apart from me. Talking of which, I'm going to try and get hold of Eva again. Yeah. Hi, Toya. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, just um, sat around in my trackies, living the dream, waiting for the pizza man to come. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's him now. Just hang on, two ticks. 
Um, I'll call you back. see you, obviously. Okay. You okay? Uh, sorry, I, I would have called, but, well, I thought you wouldn't want to see me. Well, so you just thought you'd rock up and scare the life out of me? Sorry. I, I really am. So, not America, then? No, I, I just wanted a fresh start. If people knew I was down the road, did Turn up unannounced and scare the life out of you. Yeah. Sorry. How's the baby? Fine. How did you know I was here? Well, Ty's been acting really weird. And I did some digging in her bag. <laughs> okay, now you're creeping me out. You're turning into some kind of psycho stalker. <sighs> no, 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 like I say, I just want to talk. And don't worry, your secret's safe. Look, no one knows about this place, just, uh, just me and Toya. And, uh, possibly Leanne. Right, you need to go. Look, I, I promise, look, I'll be quick. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for how I spoke to you when I found out that you were pregnant. You didn't deserve it. Well, you've already apologised for that. I know. I just... I still feel bad. OK, well, apology accepted. Is that it? Yeah. You sure? Look, uh, any chance of a brew before I go? Please. Uh, yeah, kitchen's through there. You can make me one and all. Is that down again? Yeah. Can you answer it? No. Okay. Leave me. But before I messed everything up, and I mean everything, this was always when I was most happy. When it was just me and you. Don't. Look, I'm not trying to... I'm just saying it was nice. Me, you, that flipping cat. <laughs> Mm, you only boo out of this, miss her smudgy little face. Look, just answer it. I don't mind making myself scarce. No, if she knew you was here, she... Well, that's what I mean, but I'll go. Aiden, don't! I'll... Hi, Leanne. So that's it, then. You just go in. No goodbyes, nothing. Right, just straight off into the sunset. Tell me your new life in flipping America. So Toya told you, then? <sighs> yeah, she's here with baby Susie. Oh, baby Susie! Can I see her? Oh, yeah, she needs to meet her auntie. Uh, no, 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 no cute baby for you until we get this sorted. I just needed a fresh start. <sighs> yeah, I know, I get that. You need a holiday. What I don't get is you saying you're going for good. Well, it's because of Aiden, isn't it? It's, it's partly because of Aiden, yeah. I mean, she hates him, obviously. But, you know, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> she can't trust herself. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a terrible cough. Can I can I call you back? Who's his that coat? It's my flatmate's Chad. What's that on the sleeve? Um, it's red wine, I think. Oh, oh, so, oh Aiden, sorry, 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 we'll call you back. Okay, bye. Aiden. Yeah. Do you hear any of that? What? No, why? Don't matter. You nearly got the laptop then. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Do you think she was acting weird? Eva? Mm. It's like there was somebody there with her. Really? No. Didn't notice. Mm. I should be going anyway. Aiden. Why are you really here? Why are you, Leanne? No, you should answer it. No, it's fine. It's off. It's gone. But you're excited to see the baby. I have. Seen her. They even got to hold her. She's beautiful. I'm sorry. But hey, listen to me, like I said. I totally understand why you lied about being pregnant last year. After what I did, I deserved it all. I'm watching Peter and Tyre today. How much they cherished her. Just confirmed it. I'm not ready to be a dad. That imaginary baby had the lucky escape. Look, no one would want me to be their dad. Right, stop that now. What? That. 
talking in riddles. Just answer my question, Aidan. Why are you really here? Aidan, please, why did you really come all this way? I just wanted to ask... ...if you'd dance with me. What? That's all. Just... just one dance. I don't understand. Well, we never got to, you know, do our first dance. And if you never come back and... ...if you never see me again... ...I thought it might be a way that we could say our goodbye. Mad. I know, but what do you reckon? Well, there's no music. Well, it's fine. It's here. It's still my favourite song. Yeah, mine too. Sorry. After what I did to you. I don't care. I love you. No. I do, Aiden. No, 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 no. No, this isn't no, what I need to tell you something. <sighs> Dad? Yeah? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I, I just popped out. Hey, uh, two sex, yeah? You want to know the real reason I came? It was just to say that whatever you decide to do with that baby, it will be the right thing. Because you're the best person I know. And you're better off without me. Aiden, please don't go. Bye, Eva. the blue. He said he found the address in your handbag. Oh, damn it. I knew he was up to something. Well, what did he say? Eva? Um, a lot of things. And then nothing? We danced together. Sorry, what? You, you danced together? What? He, um, he told me that he loved me. And I said that I loved him too. I think he might want to get back together. Wow. Okay, um... Taya. Are you okay? He's just got back. I've got to go. Um, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Where have you been? I think you probably know. But don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Yeah. Hey, the, my shoes. Oh, yeah, they are, aren't they? Thanks. <laughs> Look, I've got something that belongs to you. Ah. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Liam must have got hold of it somehow. Just had a big go at him about oh. going through people's stuff that didn't belong to him. It, it's fine. I gave it to him. What? Yeah, I gave it to him. Now, well, I want to get a new one, and I guess it was from Eva, so... Aiden, it's really expensive. Yeah. Look, honestly, I, I want him to have it. No, no, he's just a kid. He'll break it or lose it or something. Well, give it to him when he's a bit older, then. I'll sell it online and buy him a computer game. Are you sure? Yeah, otherwise it's just going to sit around gathering dust. <sighs> ah! The prodigal son returns! <laughs> Sorry, I should... Uh... Yeah, yeah, go on. Hey, thanks. Right, what's everybody drinking? Yo, <laughs> to quote you, that ship has possibly sailed. Yeah, of course, very 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, she is well and truly ahead of you. <laughs> but then I still young, though, yeah? <laughs> Maybe if you base all of me and I need to go to bed. Yeah, but I thought we was all going to make a night of it. Oh, oh, I'm playing. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Oh, oh, away now. Um, yeah, I'll let her turn off. Yeah, probably oh, best. Yeah. All right, Shell. See ya. Thank you. Good night. Bye. So, come oh. on, where were you then? Tactical nap or dirty kebab? Ah, uh, the former. Oh. <laughs> you know me so well, sis. You do. I've been napping my pals. <laughs> Shall we have another drink? She's yes. So are the bosses. Yeah. Better not. Docker's wages. Oh, is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, a bit early for the hair of the dog, innit? Don't you worry, I'm never drinking again. Oh, don't worry, bacon butter at Roy's will sort you out. Hey, is there a war on? You what? What are you doing stood outside like you're on the ration? Aidan's not turned up, or Elia. Yeah, if you speak to your son, tell him to take his time. <laughs> it's not a war on, is that? Lazy article slept in, hasn't he? Jeez. We've been stood here for ages. Yeah, can you try Alia? And I'll give my feckless son an earful. Can you hang on to that? Mm, yeah. It's only for our breakfast date. Yeah, ten minutes, no longer. We're starving. Right. Morning. Eva hates me. Oh, have you heard from him since, well, since he told you that he loves shit? Only I know that he's not turned up for work and, well, I think you might know about, um, well, you know what. Aiden, get up, son. Get a wiggle on. You got a factory full over there, and they need controlling. I've been calling and calling. Went back to mine to get your keys, and oh. Aiden.
Oh God, no, 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 no! Johnny? Johnny, Johnny! Slow down, I can't... I don't understand what you're saying. Say it again. Oh, you can tell Aidan that there's no rush. Look, you can get off if you want, Carla. Oh, I feel cold slaw coming on. What? Do you mean cold slaw or do you mean cold sore? Oh, ark at the word, please, over there. Maybe she's ordered some food in. Oh, have you, babe? <laughs> can I have some? I'm famished. What are you on about? Why would I order food in? You're right, Mrs. Connor. Couldn't help but noticing that's everything all right. Well, everything is clearly not all right. It's Aiden. Has, has he hurt himself? Has he had an accident? He's, um... what? What, what? What's happened? He's killed himself. You do us a favour, Roy. Can you go and get Kate from the bistro and send her here, please? Yes, yes, of course. I'm, I'm very sorry. Hey! <laughs> 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 Professional, yes. This is what they call restocking the fridge. Yeah, might come and work here then. Stay around. Oh, you better not be knocking on Americans' moves. American rough, more like. <laughs> What's the show about? Hey, can you turn it down, please? Uh, no, she's in Birmingham. Birmingham? Yeah, she's got mates in, dude. She'll be back tomorrow. Ah, oh, right, okay, I'll drop her a text then. Well, she's walking by for a while, she's driving. <laughs> You all right, Roy? What can we do for you? Kate, could you come with me, please? It's important. No, I'm actually in the middle of a dance class right now, so... <laughs> please, I, I, I need you to come with me now. What's the matter? What is it, Roy? Tell me. If, if you just come with me... I'm not moving a muscle until you tell me what's going on. Something has happened. Who is it? Is it Carla? No, no, no. Has something happened to my dad? Has something please, happened to my... Please, no. Is it Aiden? What's happened to Aiden? I don't know the details put in. It would appear that he's uh, taken his own life. I'm very, very sorry. Oh my god, there's an ambulance. They don't send an ambulance to protect people. Is she right? 
I'm afraid it's possible they do. What's happened is they've been serving dodgy kebabs. He is gone. He's dead. Killed himself. Roy, is this true? Sadly, yes. I'm so sorry. Me and my mouth. I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? You're just in shock, that's all. It's going to be all right. What are you doing here? Answer an ambulance. What's going on? You better come with me. I've not seen him. No, well, I have. You might still be breathing. He's not, Kate. Oh, I didn't realise you were treating this. I can tell when somebody's dead or not. Mm, listen to yourself. It's OK, OK. This isn't helping, all right? I know it's a lot to take in, but... If he's dead, then why is there an ambulance outside? I don't know. Standard procedure, I don't know. Exactly. I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but was it you who moved him? I thought it might be in time. Can you tell me how your son's state of mind has been recently? Had he displayed any suicidal thoughts or tendencies? He's in there, right? No, 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 no. Oh, so no it's OK for don't. you to go in there. Kate, it's not a competition. You can't go in there, I'm afraid. He's my brother. It must have been an accident. It must be. Why would he do something so daft? Why would he? I don't know. He's had an accident and you're slagging him off saying it's suicide. It wasn't an accident. Is he really dead? Yes. You're lying. Why would I do that? I want you to be lying. Is there anywhere else you could all go? It's going to be a while before my colleagues have finished in here. Yeah, yeah. No! No way I'm leaving my son on his own here. He needs me. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what's going on or what? Because I'm going to just walk over there and knock on the door, you know. Well. Brandy, I don't... I'm really, really sorry, Eva, but... Something's happened to Aidan. And, well, you know, I wouldn't have believed it myself if, uh, if Roy hadn't said it was true, but... Can you just tell me what's going on? Is he all right? You're worrying me now. No. He's not all right. He's killed himself. <laughs> Behave. I was with him last night. You've got that wrong. I'm sorry, Eva. Aidan's dead. Oh, them ones about labour and giving birth. Mm. The midwife seemed dead nice, though. I can see the attraction. Are you attracted to midwives? No. I didn't mean it like that, Auntie Beth. Do you know what? I go to bed and I leave them on the couch watching reruns and then they'll text me at, like, one in the morning going, She's had a cesarean! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it must be one of the most beautiful things in the world, giving birth. Oh, that could only come out of the mouth of someone who's never been in labour. <laughs> yeah, you clearly didn't see him out. Well, you can't beat it, giving someone a gift of life. Oh, looking into them sweet, innocent eyes and thinking, what lies in store? <laughs> you end up working here, that's what lies in store. Mm. Oh, he's got you doing his dirty work, has he? Sorry. Again. He trying to get hold of. Right now. Oh, God, darling. Oh, I, I, I can't believe it. Why why would he do such a thing? A million dollar question. It was an accident, it must have been. I'm so sorry. Where is he? Well, it seems highly likely that Aiden's death was suicide. I'm sure that I don't believe this. Kate, it's true. He left a note. Seeing what? 
saying don't go in the bathroom, ring the police. Why would he say that? I don't know, maybe to protect us. To protect us, protect us. He's failed spectacularly on that one. Hey, Kay, Kay, you're upsetting your dad. Well, that's funny. Aiden taught himself, but somehow I'm the one that's upsetting that. Oh, typical, always the golden child. Hey, I, I know you're hurting. No, I'm not hurting. Just let it out. Right now, I hate him. this time before things got bad we were going out one Sunday going up to Alderley Edge for some lunch see if we could find any footballers <laughs> and I said to him you look nice Make sure you look smart. <laughs> and he came out the bedroom. <laughs> and he was wearing a, a, a pair of trunks and a scuzzy vest. One of my hair extensions in. <laughs> Do you, um, do you want me to call Toya, Pollyanne? No, oh, no. Nobody can know that I'm here. It's my fault, isn't it? No, no. It is not your fault. OK, you can't be thinking like that. to see me last night. I thought he'd worked it out about the baby. He was talking in riddles and... I came back this morning to ask him why he'd give me this. I thought we were going to get back together. Despite everything I've... <laughs> hey, 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 breathe. Breathe. Okay. Just remember, just keep breathing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this now. He chose to do what he did. You didn't make him. Nobody did. This is not your fault. Why don't you start at the beginning? Worked what out about the baby? You can tell me. Honestly, whatever it is that you've done, I can bet you I've probably done worse. No. No, I don't think so. There's times like this I want to find Si, give him a hug. I mean, what a waste. He had the world at his feet, really. And a big dark cloud hanging over his head that none of us could see. Yeah, you're right. Let's change the subject. Oh, we're gonna have to phone Eva. Oh, no. I mean, I know it's awful doing things like that on the phone, but what else are we gonna do? Yeah, and also, you better be quickly before all them professional mourners start pouring their heart on social media. I'll call her. Why are you? Well, well she is a trained counsellor, you know, because it's gonna hit Eve hard. And, you know, after all them things that they went through. Yeah. No matter what she said, she loved him. It's the only reason she left Weatherfield, because he was messing with her head. I'm going to call her now, actually. Well, what time will it be in America? Oh, well, she'd want me to wake up for this, wouldn't she? Uh, I don't know, kiddie. I don't know. I'm just talking nonsense. Yeah, you must be in shock. Yeah. Ignore me. You know when you said that Aidan worked it out about the baby? Do you mean he found out about the abortion you had? How could I be so stupid? What? 
I just remembered. What? Eva? Last night, he told me he loved me. Well, that's good. You need to hang on to stuff like that. He wouldn't want you hurting. Well, there was me thinking he wanted to get back together. But you did say I'd be better off without him. None of this makes any sense. Was he trying to tell me and I was just too stupid to realise? I mean, I know I'm not the brain of Britain, but... I just blanked it all out when I found the ring. I thought, OK. This is good, this is a sign. <laughs> you can see a future. When the whole time he was just trying to tell me goodbye. Oh, it's, it's Gail. She's probably just ringing to tell me about Aidan. <sighs> Hi, Gail. No, he's, he's not. Why would he be with me when he's supposed to be...? <sighs> OK. I'm on it. Um... <clears throat> Look, David's gone walkabout, so I'm going to go and help try and find him. Do you want to stay here for a bit? Yeah. Yeah, is that OK? Yeah. I'm sorry to leave you in the lurch. But I'll be back soon, OK? And we can keep talking. I'm sorry. He was the last person to touch me. Oh, love. Go. Go. <sighs> I tell you. I like to think we look out for each other round here. And without being nosy, know what's going on in each other's lives. But you don't, do you? Not that I knew him that well. Just to say hello to, really. But he was always polite with me. Which is more than you can say for some folk. I hope I'd have listened. If he ever wanted to speak to me. Not that he would have done. I wonder when he did it. When I was reading the kids a bedtime story. When I was getting ready for bed. When I was having some toast this morning. Or was I sleeping? Safe. In here, with the double glazing and the central heating, thinking our problems are bigger than everybody else's. Oh, where are you going? I just need to get some nappies. I won't be long. Oh, I thought we were all right for nappies. Oh, we can't be too careful. Have you spoke to Eva? No, I'm going to try her again now. Right, well, let me know what she says, yeah? Hey, how's the little one? It's hard enough to get your head around as an adult, let alone a kid. I fancy some company. Yeah, go on then. How are you feeling? You know, when you're swimming and your head's underwater and you can't hear anything. You gave Liam this expensive watch of his. I thought it was odd. You seemed unhappy last night. I know. Laughing, joking. Well, as I've always said, suicide's the most selfish thing you can do in the world. Are you for real? You can say what you like, Gina. You're not going to change my mind. Well, until you've stood on that precipice, then you don't have the right to judge. Mm. Gina's right, aren't you, there? It is selfish. 
Imagine how devastated all the Connors are going to be. They might never get over it. He might have ended his problems, but it's going to give them a million more. It is a lot more complicated than that, though. Anyone want a drink? I've got one straight on. Put your phone away, Soph. Mummy texted me last night, asking if I was going to go to the party, and I didn't message back. Now I can't stop looking at it. Well, don't tell anybody that. Not yet. Hi, Sally. What can I get you? Uh, two white wine spritzes, please. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, I know. People don't kill themselves because they want to die. They do it because they're desperate. And they can't see any other way through it. You don't think he's selfish because you're worried about your job, Auntie Beth? That's not it, is it? No! How can you even think that? It's a terrible thing to say. You don't think this will affect us jobs, do you? Eva, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I tried to phone him this morning and he didn't answer my calls. So I came back to have it out with him about last night. I'm sorry. I know it was a massive risk to our secret, but it's the way he was talking. It's like he'd worked it out about the baby. I know it sounds daft, and he didn't say it out loud, but it's like he was giving me his blessing. Yeah, I think he'd worked it out. He said to me, um, he said, your secret's safe with me. When? Well, he held Susie in his arms, and then later... How could he have worked it out? Eva, what have we done? What if he was OK with it? Yeah, but what if that tipped him over the edge? Well, he said stuff to me, like, whatever you decide to do about the baby, he was fine with it. Yeah, but he, he wasn't thinking straight. He was just trying to say goodbye and I didn't realise. Oh, come on, darling, listen. This isn't your fault, OK? Believe me, none of this is your fault. You know, waking you up with the news. I'll have to work out a cover story. What you said, how you reacted. So many lies. I could take you back to Lim, to the cottage, if you want. Yeah, you could come back tomorrow, say that you got the first flight back from America after I phoned. I'm sure you can get Shona to keep quiet. Oh, we could come clean. Tell his family that he came to see me last night. It might help them to know that he... made peace with everything. So what, they think at least he was happy? I mean, he, he couldn't have been. But what good would it do? You haven't got any answers for them. In fact, you just hand them a load more questions. It's such a mess. What he's done, what we've done. Something quite appealing about being honest for a change. I think you should sleep on it. I think this is a knee-jerk reaction. Oh, yeah. That is his daughter over there and they haven't got a clue. I'm pretty sure that when something like this happens, all bets are off. Yeah, I thought you might say that. You think of her as your own now, don't you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I was out of my mind with worry last night, thinking that you and Aidan were going to get back together and that you'd want to take Susie back and... Oh, I must sound so selfish. <laughs> it's also because you love her. <laughs> Is Peter good with her? He's besotted. Get your keys. I'll go back to Lim. I, I just need to sort stuff out. I just need to work out what we're going to do. Well, not what we're going to do, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Is being on your own going to help that? I don't know. 
feel like I'm going mad. Snap. I mean, when she got out of that carriage and I saw how crumpled her dress was, I thought, well, that's got to be some kind of cover over it. And then the, the train, it, it was the length of an actual train. Well, then the, the Emmanuel started to brush it down and I thought, oh, that is the actual dress. Can you believe it? Sorry, I know I'm, I'm wittering on. No, oh, carry on. It's the only thing to distract us. We're, uh, <clears throat> we're going to take Aidan to the mortuary now. OK. Um, are we OK with that? I don't think that's up to us, is it? Johnny? Right. It's his little boy. <laughs> you need to have tapers. <laughs> I turn off love you, you know. Without him, my lad, my boy. Hey, where'd you go for them nappies, my lad? Well, I was on the phone to Eva for ages and then. You mean crying? It's allowed. I know. Oh, love. So, how was she? How did she take it? She's coming back on the first available flight. Right, shall I call her? No, no, she's in a mad dash and she said she'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, she'll be all over the place, won't she? I worked with this girl from New Zealand once. Her dad died. She couldn't get a flight for hours. I ended up sitting up with her all night. She just rocking back and forth. So far away, it didn't seem real. Hey, at least we've got this little one, eh? Keep us busy. She's gonna need all our love and support when she gets back. Yeah. The good thing is, it gets to me a little niece. Yeah. You put a smile on anyone's face, wouldn't you, eh? <laughs> Thank God we got you. <laughs> <laughs> 